Yeah. Those, and I it doesn't like matter shit. how much we piss you off. Yeah. Do not just run out of here. Okay. You have to stay <laughs> until your shit's uploaded. We have the same thing. I get gotcha. the drill. I know the routine. I thought we were special. I thought we had upped it a notch. Not really. And then, <laughs> when I was like 10, I think he called me a slur. I'm not good at picking up like social cues and stuff. My wife commits horrible <laughs> genocide. I've been a naughty boy. Stop! You don't need to kill- boo, boo! She's like, yes I do! That shit ain't cool. I have seen so many hunks. I wanna uh, fuck you. <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter. Put him out and used his body. I didn't really like you back then. So you gotta get a good male autistic. All right, get the hell out. <laughs> like you can just go right now. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey guys, oh, hey, welcome to up? episode 92. I believe. Cuz I remember you did 91 last or did you do 92 last time? I know it's in the 90s. It's in the early We're in 90s. The 90s. And so we decided to bring back legendary guest Aqua FPS. Hey, We're chasing the celebrity. <laughs> Recently, fresh off the tales the of doing face of the nineties. The <laughs> guest, uh, you were the guest for PKA recently. Yeah, I was. Yeah, um, I saw nothing but outrage on their subreddit because they didn't talk to you the whole time. And I said, it, we it need to remarkable. rectify that by having remarkable. him on this podcast it was and not talking to him at all. How little they say. spoke to me. It was actually a pleasure. I just listened yeah. to it. Basically, I, I might. I, it was as if I wasn't there, even there. It's what? not for the it's not for the weak of heart. You got to fight to talk in there. Yeah, it was. I tried a couple yeah. times. It's tough, but you know it's fine. They were all very nice. It was. I I didn't. Let's be. I don't have anything to say. <laughs> not a problem. I don't mind not talking. Yeah. But yeah. It's it also it's also hard on. to bust in there on people that you like don't know. That's true. I had you never know. met any of them before. Yeah. Um, but uh, they were very nice. Very nice. You did the you you went on there, right, Sam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a good time. Yeah. How much did you talk? Same amount. Oh, I, more I fought. Left. I fought to get in, but I didn't talk a, a whole lot. Tough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah it's tough in there. Yeah. <laughs> they they really they just boom 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 and like yeah. before you like before you can say anything, they're on the next thing. That's I think okay. a lot of it is is that it's like imagine going to like a barbecue or something and just trying to like butt into a conversation with three dudes that have known each other for a decade. Yeah. It's kind of like that. Exactly. Scary. Yeah. Scary that's stuff. scary, dude. It's like talking to three uncles and they're, they're also, they've been at it for a lot longer than us. Actually, no, they haven't. No, they think about it. Not me, at least. I've been around really? for a while, I think. Doing podcasts specifically? Or no, like no, just like on online stuff. Like, He's been in so, the game yeah. for a while. Yeah. But the they were all big sphere. when I was starting, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And now the meek inherit the earth. That's us? Or was that just <laughs> Yeah, that's you? us. Yeah, okay, no, that's we, us, right? now we are the podcasters. Yeah. I think uh, the podcast is time. bigger than ours. <laughs> By a substantial no, no, margin. I don't pocket watch, okay? I have no idea. <laughs> it's I not about get, that. <laughs> I got that video specifically in my, like, For You page. And I clicked on it. And then I read the comments, and they were all like, "Wow, another guest! You guys are just gonna steamroll over." <laughs> and uh, you know, we we circle back to this like every couple months, where we'll be like, "Man, it really seems like a lot of people in our comments don't like us." But you look at that that page, and you're like, "Holy shit! Our, we have a bunch of angels. We have a bunch of sweethearts." Yeah, I, and angels. I read through those. <laughs> they were yeah. they, they hate were them. It seems up. like it doesn't I, seem like they like the yeah. the podcast. I'm at gonna all. make a huge admission here. I've stopped okay. looking at my own subreddit. Because the comments yeah, yeah, hurt me. Well, yeah. That's, but then I've mean. started following the PKA subreddit because their mean comments towards them make Motivate me you. feel a little <laughs> bit better. By comparison, yeah. you are beloved. <laughs> you are I, an I don't know what that is. That's a horrible little trait about me. But like seeing other people go through it sometimes makes me feel a little bit better. Your That's viewers human. love you, Sam. You're like their, their like... <laughs> You think cult that? leader messiah? They you have think nothing. That? Whenever anybody things. brings up you, they're like, "Oh, what a little sweetheart! What a little they sweetheart! Just, These little they angels." They call me old. They oh. tell me I have gout and rickets, and like they yeah, tell you're like me a little old frail man that everybody like doesn't want to see fall down the stairs day. or something. Yeah. To be honest, so Apparently, my just arms are too person. hairy now. Let me see those things. I I don't want to show that they're not that bad. This is the oh. hairiest. They're hairier than my legs. Some you want to see someone horrible. hairy? I, I just got this. <laughs> what are you this. about to show me? <laughs> before, no hair on my before arms. Before I see it. Uh, I just, okay, what so am I gonna see there's here? this guy in the Discord. His name's Alfie. 
Yeah. A little bit unhinged. He's a guy. Oh, he's a, in your he's, Discord? Yeah, he's he's a shocker. <laughs> yeah, wow, yeah. okay. He's a long time <laughs> around there. Bit of a, Someone yeah. unhinged in your yeah. Discord? Yeah. He's kind of and a social he, outcast. A little bit. He's even my Discord has those. <laughs> Honestly, the Not Discord mine. is a Yeah, it's a it's a weird place. It's a, it can be a funky place. It brings all types. Yeah. But um for example, this is this is an introduction to Alfie. Okay. I think Lisa came into the call. And as soon as he heard her voice, he instantly takes off his shirt, walks to the far side of the room, and then crawls seductively across his bed back to his PC. Like as a bit? Yeah, like (laughs) because he thought it was funny. I don't know. Mm. (laughs) But look at look at this video. It's the most unhinged video. He he sent it to me today. Look at this. Something in the way. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah. It's a good read of a man. Yeah, I know too much about him now. You're gonna edit that in. You're gonna edit that in, right? Hell yeah, we're gonna edit that Batman in. Batman logo and everything. Dude, the Batman logo, the abs. I don't think uh, those are shaved listen, on. I think this those are natural. This is great. I'm yeah. a big fan of Alfie already. Unhinged, yeah. wrong word. You need yeah. something like he knows. He knows a thing or two. This guy, you can. Now he's unhinged because he made he got Bizzle mad, which oh. is that's a rarity. He made Bizzle snap on a. On yeah, that's Project only for Wonder. us to do. Yeah, that's <laughs> only that's only for me and Poom to do. There's Every a little time. Alfie's bring... been exposed to him for like four minutes though. Yeah, like hard. it was a that's a quick. That's that a, a quick, quick turnaround for Bizzle. Yeah. yeah, he's pretty. He's pretty chill yeah, usually, s- but. Uh, Pretty much every time you've brought up Bizzle, it's been about you making him mad. Like the past couple of years, whenever yeah, you bring recently, it up, yeah, recently I kind of, I've it's been a naughty boy, way, huh? yeah. yeah. I think familiarity breeds contempt, is what it is. Once I get well, too close to someone, the the yeah, look at once us. Once you know the buttons, <laughs> once you know the buttons to push, then you got yeah. them locked in, and you press them. You press, press them all the time, yeah. Press them. I I. You guys pushing each other's buttons. I see like that whole go kart thing. I knew I should have stopped, and I was like, "This is making him mad," <laughs> and I me? couldn't. Yeah, with you, and Whatever. I couldn't stop. I mean, it doesn't yeah. even matter. It's just it like doesn't. a faulty cart. Yeah, I will say the Alfie thing. It is a little alarming that he heard Lisa and immediately <laughs> took his shirt off because she sounds like she's about eight years old. So yeah. did he have the uh, <laughs> yeah, interesting? Uh, yeah, yeah. if Fair I heard point. Lisa, I yeah, I think your child got, got a hold of the mic or something. But I think everybody had their cameras on. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. he heard and saw her, and then mm-hmm. took off his so shirt. The camera was just already on. I, yeah. I've noticed just, like, it's like the most the actively cams on Discord out of anyone I know. That's a weird vibe. Cam on Discord, just hanging out. It's normally five guys staring straight forward with a completely black background <laughs> and i can't tell if they want to fuck or kill me when i go in there it's like always a weird you know it's it funny like it's is... a little disarming because you're like oh i now know what, I, what you look like which is nice but it's but then it's concerning because so now you know what they look like and yeah. it's not <laughs> there's no mystique behind yeah, it. They, yeah. yeah i know how barren and their walls the exact are and... kind of people you would expect to be in there is the problem like they're like you yeah, yeah. Like you, if you didn't have Abby and your kids, pretty much, yeah. yeah. But it, what's Good funny is we were shitting on on Brian's room and everything, but some of the rooms that people have on their cams in like the Rat Room <laughs> Discord are just so barren and bleak. yeah, it's <laughs> like they will just be black behind, and we're like, dude, turn on a light or something. It's just scary in there. They'll turn a light. It's just Rat white. runs across the wall. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just a white room. Like they have nothing. They have. They have no. that PC. That's Quite it. Or like a laptop and a mattress. Looks like, yeah. No. I think a lot of, well, a lot of people, it's just not, people just don't care, which is totally fine. Like, but you get to a point where it's like, I don't know if you want to start getting some pussy, man. You got to put some paintings on the wall or something. You got to really. I am lock horribly it in. disappointed with my room here. I got to redo it. <clears throat> this is a it. fucking disaster. This shit, I hate that. I hate that. Honestly, Sam and both of you guys. Your rooms, top notch, exquisite camera background situation going on here. Sam, you've got like a little, little dojo down there. I'm so jealous of that setup that you've got. Like, like, I don't know which Sam you're talking to. He's so. Probably talking to the guy he refers Obviously to. Obviously you. Oh, oh, <laughs> me. Okay. I, I don't, you guys have met now, 
And then as That's soon true. as you came in, it was just nothing but yeah. So I everybody that once they've met Poop, they call him Sam, and then I get fucking pissed once I'm in the equation. Who does that? Nobody does that. They do um, it in real life because I'm like Omid, Devin, Lettuce. Well, it was Omid and Devin and I have hung out now like enough to like Devin. <clears throat> I've been to his home, you know, enough times where I think he it's okay for him to refer to me as my human name, but. <laughs> Maybe you've no, got some issues confusing. with that. Yeah, yeah I have it's not extreme. confusing when you're <laughs> nowhere near us and you know we're just hanging out at a yeah, bar. Yeah, but or for the the two days that I am yeah. there, yeah, oh, true. that was yeah. It's you know never even really that confusing because they're either looking at me or you. Yeah, if they yeah. were asking a question about like actual stuff, it wasn't towards me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No one's gonna. Where are we? Yeah where, yeah, where are we going? Who are we going to see? Nobody's gonna yeah. ask me that. I but if no they're like, hey, do you have my pin? They're probably talking to you. Are you housing my weed pin, bro? <laughs> yeah, why do I, oh, did you steal yeah. the weed? There was two weed pins on the table. Where did they go? <laughs> Sam? And I go, surely they're talking to Poop this time. Oh, I didn't do nothing. <laughs> yeah, he's such a sweetheart. He really turns on the... He <laughs> the can really charm. fake it. Yeah, the charm. Oh, are you he talking gets. about yeah. this? <laughs> wouldn't be talking about widow this. It's so gross. Yeah. But, um, yeah, this is cool. To meet, it's what a pleasure it was to meet Aqua, you know. Ah, and now we'll all you'll be at uh, TwitchCon, yeah, right? That was nice. Yeah, planning on it. It's gonna be a disaster, dude. It's gonna be a That's nightmare. That's gonna be a little too fun, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Vegas, some people will be able to handle it. Yeah. Have you there guys will been be before? dead streamers. I went when I was like five, so I no. hope not. That is the worst there, time to go to Vegas. If there <laughs> five is a place. years old, yeah. what the fuck did you do in Vegas? Well, I breastfed off a bunch of hookers because my parents couldn't, <laughs> you know, and I was still weaning. Yeah. No, I just I don't even fucking remember it. I didn't even know I had been. One day, my I, think, I have I have a five year old, and that seems like the worst possible thing is to go to yeah. Vegas with a five year old. I think we were just kind idea. of bouncing all around, and we were in the area, so mm. drove in. I have no I, I have no memories of my travels. No. Yeah, I think uh, uh, now that I'm a real man, it's gonna be yeah a tough, a lot better. Yeah, I'm Especially not gonna with, like people like Omid, gamble, I don't think who's like just not only a gambling addict, but like a oh god, like a degenerate overall. He's gonna thrive there, but he's also gonna pull us all down. He's gonna weigh to us say, down. I've been meaning to talk to somebody about that. Like he seems like he's kind of fighting, like <laughs> like when he's away, like, love. No, no, like he's That's like the, the gambling thing. You could tell he was like, like no, he's like a gambling addict. Yeah, yeah he sure. seems like kind we of. We all a, have our vices. Addict. Yeah, but he seemed to be struggling with the loss a little bit more than than uh, the rest of us. What what loss of what what happened? Like if he lost a hand or whatever, he's like, oh man, there's a win right around the corner. Like he had that. Yeah, you I could am. tell he was way more invested that, in it. He looks like my grandma when she's on yeah. the slots. Like he's got that yeah. look in his eyes. He's got yeah. the look. Everybody in his else eyes. loses he, a hand and goes like, ah, oh well. My grandma yeah. still talks no about biggie. winning big in like 40 years ago at a casino. <laughs> like I won the jackpot and they had to bring me. They got, I got a free hotel room. I'm like. <laughs> I can't imagine chasing that high for so long. Like I've never even pulled a knife in CS:GO, and I'm like, you know, I, I, I I've <laughs> yeah, known from a early age like I would be addicted to gambling, so I really try to not. Like when we go to casinos and stuff, like I don't gamble because I just am very aware that I, I would do. very quickly. Yeah, I I try not to. It's like my, it's like the one vice I haven't totally succumbed to yet. So. I need a new vice. That one is kind of like dwindled for me. <clears throat> when actually like gambling in a casino with real money for some reason, well, I even... prefer opening CSGO yeah. cases. No, I lately. do too. Yeah, that's like more exciting guess... to me now for some reason. Well, you get um, to keep. You get to keep the. Well, I guess you get to keep the money. I mean, yeah, but they make that the stuff money, all the time. They don't make those knives and stuff all that often. Yeah, they make I guess money I'm, all the time. Better than money. A you fucking buy liar. A knife in CSGO with the money, though. That's yeah. the thing. Very easily and could have bought could a knife by now. You can even spend it on other things like food or yeah. whatever instead of the money being locked in Steam, unless you use like a weird, sketchy third party middleman freaky. Yeah, but what if freaky, you win big? Website. What if you win big? Yeah, but if you win big, your you don't get. Steam doesn't treat you any better. Oh, yeah, True. you don't get But if you drinks. win big at the casino, yeah. 
all of a sudden drinks you get a yeah well, that, that is what i'm most excited about vegas because every casino i've been to they don't do the like you sit down people bring you free like booze and stuff so yeah for you know vegas they really they treat you well okay i think Maybe vegas they only do that food. if you're dropping some serious money i'll just sit around the guys no, no, you get free money, drinks yeah. no matter what really if you're gambling you can get a free drink yeah absolutely yeah. And that's then awesome. you can tip the waitress or whatever with you, like chips. You can? Can you hit well, on them? That's... <laughs> <laughs> I, they you let you do, they let you give away some of your money <laughs> to the waitress? You like pretty much every other fucking Vegas has it all. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, sweetheart, good. keep them coming. <laughs> hey, touch. <Whoops. laughs> yeah. I'm going to turn into yeah. a real scumbag at TwitchCon. Honestly, we could go to Fremont Street and just like smoke cigarettes with a bunch of like... <laughs> <laughs> just yes. scary. I love that's like the one reason I like a drunk cigarette is the people. It's like such an easy yeah. and great way to just be like, hey, you gotta smoke. And then you start talking, where are you from? Where are you from? And the next thing you know, you got a bunch of like 40 year old friends and uh, you never see them again, but you make plans for the next day. It's always a good time. Yeah. And then you can. Uh, is that is that some comedy? Do PCP you stand later people up on, on plans that you make. That's just a common drunk thing. Like you just. <laughs> yeah. Like, hey man, tomorrow like, meet me tomorrow. here at three p.m. Yeah, we actually we did that in Tampa for like I I even I was like this is like one of the no first times up. this has ever happened because most of the time it's like when you meet a girl or in the area like you know you meet like a lot of waiters and stuff and in Tampa she was like yeah I'm a waitress at like this brunch place you guys should come and we actually went the next day and i was like this is maybe the first time i this has ever happened where we followed through and we saw them working and they were definitely like holy fuck these guys from the bar yesterday are here you know and le like lettuce is with us devin's with us like just a bunch of unseemly looking guys we rolled up around noon it was a, it was a good time but i think she said like one word to us and then went her own way well, but we like, weren't that's... there for her. We were there to eat. No, <laughs> like, you weren't there. Yeah, for the follow-up, I was there. I wasn't there for the initial bar night, but then the next day when you showed up to eat, I was there because I remember her going like, oh, you're from the bar thing last night. She bartenders at you two were different at, restaurants. You weren't at American Social. Wasn't I? Yeah, it was like no. the... No, there was no. like a, a bar restaurant that we ate at I'm where the bartender was like, yeah, I also work at the other place. I'm not trying to like space you out of this memory, but there's no fucking way you were there because Lettuce and Omid were like, it was Lettuce, Om it was Omid, Lettuce, Devin, me. It was just us four at the bar. We sat at a bar and ordered food. It took oh, like no, 50 no. minutes this is, to get food. <clears throat> no, this was this was like a, the semicircle restaurant that yeah, was no, like up is, on the second is... story in Ybor City, and we uh, sat down no, and no, ate, no, and you guys referenced that the. The bartender was from another bar that you guys uh, went to, and she recognized you. So that about. happened multiple times, but, but one time actually had plans. Are you fucking with me? Yeah, but the first time, you're totally <laughs> yeah. getting me off. Yeah, the first time we made plans to go see her, and off. then we I'm actually sorry. did it. You're fucking with me. You're fucking my whole flow up, dude. You're just <laughs> self-inserting yourself in memories. And, <laughs> you don't remember me there? I mean, do we, do we need to split hairs over this? Like, Yeah, because he wasn't yeah, fucking this is a there. Fight now. <laughs> yeah. right. no. now we're going back. I'm not, gonna, I'm not right, I remember because I was boys, there. Boys, calm down. All right, now let's talk about the go -karts. How big were right? her tits, <laughs> if you remember her so much? Okay? I don't what even happened, remember anything about her. I just remembered that the... You know what? My memory sucks. I'm going to believe whatever you say. Where was well, I? What was I doing? You know what I'm saying? Your memory <laughs> sucks and you're like, you're a sore loser about your memory. So <laughs> I was there. I was there. No, you're going to be I, horrible when you get dementia. I, was there. I ate in that place that I don't yeah. remember the name of. The oh, angriest <laughs> man with Alzheimer's <laughs> in the world. I was there. Dude, that's how you've probably had a grandpa or something in your life when they get confused and old they often get angry because they're like my mind could have done this when i was young yeah and now That's and now i'm me. like 30 and i'm like man my mind could have done this five maybe six years ago or something oh. in my early 20s that's when i probably mentally peaked. Oh, my grandpas were very tame really my grandpa <laughs> would forget kind, something and get gentle. angry very angry yeah uh, I, I never knew my angry grandpa so i totally skipped out on that that's nice. I feel like my oh. mental cognizance has declined rapidly in the last few years. Yeah, I don't know if it's like COVID time or 
I didn't actually, I don't think I even had COVID. Um, my wife had it twice. And I was just like right next to her the whole time. No, uh, <laughs> I was just like right next to her the whole time. And I, I, I don't think I ever got, maybe I did. I don't know. But um, asymptomatic or something. Yeah, maybe. Maybe or, um, those anti vaxxers are right and it's making us all stupid. The va- the vaccines. I don't know. I got like fifteen vaccines. I feel pretty sharp. So I don't know. <laughs> Did you get fifteen? <laughs> well, one for each limb and you know, this double is, it up. This is an example. I after the third one, I just can't seem to remember count. anything anymore. Right. I was like, Did I already <laughs> get it or had? not? And I kept doing that every week. I'm like, Am I sure I'm safe enough? Yeah, like Check that dude in Memento who gave his wife all the <laughs> insulin. <laughs> that was pretty messed up. Yeah, it just kind of like that. Was that the final thing of that movie? It was a thing in the movie. That was a was thing. That okay. written down. Yeah. Give her insulin. no, because like I've seen. Okay, I have seen so many hunks of Memento. I've never seen the full thing through. Wait, hold on, I just have to mark five. <laughs> minutes. You're talking about like hot guys in Memento. For we, made, we made about 15 <laughs> until movie talk, but uh, let's open the floor. Yeah, what happened to Memento? Oh, no, I've He's just, like I've waking seen... up and he has, is that the movie with like the post-it notes or whatever? Yeah, and he like tattoos all over himself and he takes okay. like Polaroids and he goes like, yeah. don't drink. He takes a picture of Water coming out of his dick. He goes, "Don't drink that. <laughs> That's it. Tastes don't, like piss. when you when your when your butt makes that noise. Don't sniff big. Yeah. Oh my God, you're really this is not it a all. food dispenser. It's <laughs> shit. Do not eat that. Food and drink. No, he's got a tattooed on his dick. Don't drink. Do yeah. not drink. <laughs> yeah. Don't try but to. Yeah, fit that it. was the you premise can't. of the movie. Don't put it in. I knew the premise, and I. I and I liked a lot of parts of the movie, but I never like saw the full thing. Oh. And now that I know that he just forgetfully just overdoses his wife on insulin. Different guy, funny. not the main guy. Oh. Uh, just another forgetful never mind. dude. Well, then stop. Yeah, because then spoilers. it could, it, yeah, the <laughs> mystery any, like, mystique is still there. Big famous movies that you don't really admit you haven't seen because of like how you'd be looked at. Citizen Kane, I, Casablanca. My like best friend. <laughs> you have like the main ones. In, when we one. were in school, he would like all he saw Biodome. Oh, I love Biodome movie? when I was a kid. Yeah, uh, Polly Shore and one of the Baldwin yeah, brothers. Polly Shore and Stephen Steve Baldwin. Baldwin? Yeah, yeah Steve one Baldwin. of the. I like that movie because the chicks were hot when I was a kid. Well, here's the thing: he loved Biodome. It's and good movie. I, to this day, <laughs> have been lying for like 30 years. I've been lying about having seen Biodome. And like he always quotes it or used to quote it, and I'd be like, "Uh," and I'd like remember the quotes that he would say, and I'd say them back. And I I just lied about seeing Biodome. I've never seen Biodome. I hate that. (laughs) I hate that though, because I know exactly. Like, I have a best friend who said, I was like, remember this? Like, it's so important to him. He's like, remember when we were kids? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do. Oh my God. (laughs) And then I'll just like recite back what he says. I'm like, that was awesome. Like, I have no fucking idea what he's talking about. Be it's friends. Fit in, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to make them think I'm happy. cool and I've got good yeah. memory and have seen Biodome. That's actually what I like about me and my brother is that he remembers different things than me because you know, you're two, yeah, two different fucking he remembers people, when but... he was born or something or what. No, I'll just bring up like, hey, remember when you want to go kick that football and you just full on shit your pants in front of like 40 <laughs> people and then like. <laughs> And, and, and he'd be like, like, I no, totally forgot all you. that. And then you guys <laughs> yeah. argue. It's always no, 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 me no, no, in mental yeah. decline. <laughs> yeah. No, Sam, that was you. We have it on home video. I was holding the ball with my finger, and I moved it like Charlie Brown, and you shit your pants, Sam. You don't remember. <laughs> Instead of falling on He started getting tattoos. Did not shit my pants. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Polaroid picture of a football. It was not brother. Sh- <laughs> Do not kick or shit, or you will shit pants. <laughs> You have it written on the football. <laughs> yeah. Not again, not again. Yeah, my my like big one is I've never watched all of Interstellar and it's like my dad's favorite movie and we've talked about it before and I'll just have to be like it's something too that's like so I know I'd really like it. Same with Dune Part One I watched like forty minutes of. But I missed when all my friends saw it at the theater together. And then I was watching it at a guy's house where he had, like, the overhead lights on. And there were, like, ten guys watching it. I'm like, I can't get into this. Yeah. And now I'm just never in the, like, do I just want to sit down for three and a half hours and watch this? Or do I want to watch, like, 50 episodes of TV? 
and it's hard for me to really commit to like interstellar and dune it's like oh man i got two really big like sci-fi epics it's gonna take me like seven hours to watch both of them i don't know i'm just never in the mood I, I have a stack of criterions that i have like opened two of and you and own all them just and like, haven't seen them i own them that's and I crazy to, yeah i got that's, very, that's like a next level liar yeah, I got like those are expensive too. They're expensive. I, I have well, I got them on sale. You know, they're having like mm. a, a Cyber Monday or whatever. But um, I have like a bunch of Cronenberg movies. I have uh, was that Barry Lyndon? Um, just like just like, like the old, like iconic famous good movies. Yeah, old yeah. famous good movies. And I'm just like I'm really like, I'll never, never in the space to watch that. Yeah, I'm not. Gonna yeah, <laughs> I've never. You I know what's Metropolis funny? Metropolis once. I'm like, I'm good. Yeah, I've gone back far enough. If I've seen <laughs> yeah. the top list, yeah. I've gone back far enough. Watch a lot of Charlie Chaplin movies. You know, I'm good. I watch them every day. I'm, it's a little back for me, though. I'm a more modern man. What's great, though, is to have... Uh, you were talking about having, like, that fail nation or whatever thing. like Fail army. Fail army. <laughs> put that on. Oh, uh, yeah. And my in-laws, they'll just sometimes have, like, Turner Classic movies on. And... I started watching something with Gregory Peck in it, and I was like, this movie fucking rocks. Like, they were like, hey, Sam, are you going to come out in the backyard? We're, like, playing in the pool and having fun. I'm like, oh, 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 hold on here. Like, Gregory Peck's doing some shit. Like, I don't, it was like, I was I so enthralled. I don't even know who Gregory like, Peck is. You're just was, shooting over. <laughs> he's you know, a, he's the guy Daffy from To Kill a Mockingbird. Colgate hour? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Didn't know that. Atticus. Yeah, he's Atticus Finch in <clears throat> Kill a Yeah, movie. he's great. Yeah. God, you guys are really dating yourselves. Okay. You well, know, I it, did watch. Have you seen it the wasn't, before It we wasn't that movie, by the way. It was some other <laughs> movie. Classic. And it was great. Oh, okay. He's just famous. He's just known for that. Yeah. And it, it was both. like, okay. it was like some like four and a half minute long living. shot or something that I was watching in this old black and white movie. I was like, this movie fucking rocks. Like the amount of choreography needed you know. to get all that done in that scene and everything. It was just awesome. And uh, and but I'll never go back and rewatch it. I watched seven minutes of that movie and I'll never. I don't even know what it's called. It's just some Gregory Peck movie. Have you seen like the old Pink Panther movies? Parts of them. Because that's like one where it shocked me. Where my stepdad had him on VHS once. He's like, "Shut up, watch these." Like, I gotta go do shit. Like at his house, he didn't have TV or internet or anything, so it was just like out in the fucking middle of the woods. But he had a bunch of old VHSs. And I watched those, and I was the whole time like, oh, oh, oh. like I remember them being like really funny when I was a little kid. Somehow, I'm like, I thought they'd be. I thought the whole time I'd be like, this is so fucking sucks. It was hilarious stuff. Really, really good comedy. Yeah. Classic. Yeah, shaped me. And then I'd go, and then I'd do the double feature with Biodome afterwards. <laughs> yeah, get, <laughs> really get the whole well-rounded the comedy. Yeah. 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 Also want to be able to go get hit in the nuts and go, oh, <laughs> go cross-eyed, you know, just come classic Polly Shore. Is that from Biodome? I, I don't know. know. I could totally <laughs> see. Yeah, I, I could pretend. I honestly don't remember anything about Biodome except for that those two get sealed in the Biodome and it's supposed to be like, it's sealed for fucking 10 years or whatever. And then there's babes in there with them. And somehow it's like I learned so many comedies from that era. It's like if you're a dumb clown, you can have sex with a hot babe. And something about that shape me where I'm like, okay, like I can get chicks way out of my league if I act like Polly Shore. And, and then I, I you grew like the up and moral. realized that yeah. Polly Shore doesn't even get it. Polly Shore's pussy, a like, <laughs> pervert. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's, like, it's like worse Fuck. than Adam Sandler writing Hot Wives because it's like Polly Shore and he's like, uh, you know, yeah. weird little guy. Uh, a lot of scarves. <laughs> yeah, a lot of scarves a going on. Weird style to him. Yeah. I'll take this off. This bit is done. Oh, well, there it is. <laughs> that was from before we started yeah, this recording. Is, yeah, this is from my my stream. My hands nice and soft though. Now I keep a little Vaseline in there. Were you oh, playing nice. the PGA game? Uh, yeah, I was. Playing? Yeah, I was actually going fucking crazy. It's also because I golfed yesterday. I golfed eighteen, so I had a little bit of an itch. Eighteen. Two pars. What the hell is wrong with you? Yeah, bad. Yeah, my, you know it's crazy. I woke up today. My neck is stiff and my back hurts. My arms are sore. I got like a genuine golf workout, which is like old people golf, like old, old yeah. men. So 18 holes is a lot. Whenever I go, I'm d like six holes. <laughs> that's, six? that's enough. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm no, like 18 so felt over like it. a bit. I could do like 15. I think would be like a perfect amount. 
but that's six holes, way, that's just not enough much. golf. That's not enough Nine golf for a man. It's just a lot. I'm just like an absolute, I can just bomb a drive. Like, I'm just so good at driving. I'll hit it like 350, and then I like 12 putt, and it's over. I'm so bad at it. Sam, I know you don't care about this. Sorry, and the audience no, no. doesn't either, but my short game is just abysmal. <laughs> my approach. I, my I think the audience is on the edge of the probably. Seat. What? What? He's not short because I look like a good putter. I know. Yeah. I used to be. That's where you're getting that. I used to be a good putter. Uh -huh. In high school, it's like all you practice. And now I'm like, uh, I'm Were just you a, on the team? I was on team? probably the worst team in Indiana. And I was the bottom of the team. And my coach threatened. He said, if you don't start, <laughs> yeah, if you don't start improving, I'm going to kill you and your mom. No, he was like, I don't think there's a place for you on this team next year if you don't start improving. And it's so crazy because I practiced every day in high school, but I was like 5'4", and I don't know, like my clubs just weren't built for me or something. And now with no practice, I would beat the living fuck out of kid me, not only physically, but in golf. Like, I can just hit the I, – I just now don't get 12 every time, you know? Like, I, I got a par. I don't yeah, practice at all. Like, like I can just have better hand eye developed, coordination. Developed like body now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a man now. Somewhat, at least. Well, the penis Still is the same. The penis time. and the balls are all the same. <laughs> but that just actually helps a little. That I'm comes more, later. Don't worry. Yeah. I'm waiting I'm not, myself. I'm, I got all my weight in my arms, so I swing like a fucking monster. But uh, get there. Yeah, the the real allure of golf, though, for me, is just like an excuse to get outside, and also it's like the only time you can drunk drive. Because you can drink and drive. Like, driving golf carts, I think, is the most underappreciated facet of golf. Just being able to drive those around. You just jump in and whoo, flying around. You got no opinion on that? You look like you fucking died or something. Okay. No, I, um, uh, no, I was, <laughs> like I was, actually, I was waiting for my moment to interject, but no, I have go, seen just far, me more, anytime. far more golf carts not on golf courses People just whip them oh, around Florida, the neighborhoods yeah. around here. Yeah, yeah they rock. Like a, Honestly, they do, growing yeah, up, they, there was a there was a kid that had a golf cart that just had like a uh, like a like a truck bed on the back. Oh, I don't like know what you call that. Something. Yeah, it's like a gator, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And as kids, like more of his a work dad, vehicle. Yeah, it's basically yeah. a work yeah. vehicle for the the plantation he lived at. And his dad was just like, "Yeah, this is like yours. Like, go go have Those fun, things kids. Fly." Those things go fast. It was a gas powered one, so it wasn't yeah. like battery. Like it, it went. And then not on top of that, like we had a, like it, it was like a dump truck. Like it was, it would raise up the back and everything. We got up to so much bullshit, just like being able to haul stuff around and move shit on our own with Dead no dogs. parents what? supervision. What? what do you mean? What are you moving yeah, around? Like, what were you hauling we around? Cinder so blocks? much wild stuff doing. Okay, so we. This is rocks. the. <laughs> this yeah, is, doing have you work. Ever had they something. you into doing work. <laughs> yeah. That's not Move dirt from Jason's here to there. Mom, yeah. We got her so good when she asked us to like move Mulch. like. Yeah. No, no, we, this is actually one of those things that's like the, it's, it's a great idea to a kid. And then you realize that it's not that great of an idea because like you, you don't factor in just humans being humans, but we, uh, it was, it was me and my friend Evan hanging out at his house and we knew my other friend Michael was coming over later that day. And so we used the, uh, it wasn't a gator. It was something, it was, it had a different name, but we used it to basically carry like these tree stands, like hunting tree stands out into like just the periphery of the woods at the edge of his yard. And we put them up so that they were facing the house. And cause we knew we were going to play hide and go seek in the dark later. And we played hide and go seek in the dark and me and Evan game. immediately job, game. went up the tree stands and we're just like 15 feet up in the tree looking down at him. And he literally walked around in the yard for like seven minutes and then went inside to go watch TV. <laughs> like, hey, it was guys, so we got up to so much trouble in that tree stand, <laughs> Evan and I. We wasted so I much time just like way up there. <laughs> no just the setup was way yeah. too much for like you know a couple minutes of of just him wandering around like an idiot and then he's just like fuck yeah. these guys i'm going it inside sucks when yeah people don't like well, what do you want them to look around for hours like of course you do when you're a kid yeah i want them like, to cry like yeah. ah where did my friends oh, go yeah, that's ah! the smartest friend you have yeah. being like what the fuck i don't know where they are yeah i quit what sucks is from the tree stand we like could that. see through the window, and he walked and inside. Banging Evan's mom. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Evan. No, no. don't look. <laughs> Uh, what sucks is I know he watches this podcast, but this is kind of funny. Oh, I his mean, parents, his parents were divorced, and his dad, his dad lived at this uh, this house. That kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, his dad always had this lady that just like brought groceries in and was like his personal assistant. Oh, and it no. took him, it took him until like high school for him to like finally catch on. I was like, dude, you're. Your dad's banging that lady. It's so obvious. <laughs> he brings her on vacations. They fucking go places together. He's like, no, she's just his assistant. Was he like in a wheelchair? <laughs> <laughs> He's like a fully functioning guy. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. It's weird that people hide mm. stuff like that from kids. Yeah. You could just be like, this is my girlfriend. Yeah, that's like, true. Kids a lot of times are a lot more able to... <laughs> Like, grown up, yeah. Yeah, well, to yeah, be but like, then oh, he's gonna be like, do I call like, her mom? But it's like, no, just you fucking don't, you talk don't to your kid. When yeah. my parents started dating, again, well, my parents had like relationships all when I was growing up, and I was never like, is my dad's what girlfriend my mom yeah. now? No, my mom's my mom. <laughs> Some broad my, sucks my dad's dick, you know? Yeah. We'd high five about it, we'd laugh. No, that that's no, it. Yeah, that's a common thing. Is way, people like, not understanding how mature a child. Yeah, it's can weird. Be. It'd be a lot weirder for a kid to be like, "We have an assistant that <laughs> you take on vacations and a does everything with you." Assistant. Yeah, that's just like a weirder. <laughs> that's what she assists know. me with. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't Groceries? do any work or anything. <laughs> and, <laughs> Groceries and, and uh, making me come and go to um, bed. <laughs> yeah. 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 She tucks me in. She tucks me in. Make sure I go to sleepy time. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's, that's weird. Nice. Our partner for today's episode is AG1. We at Forehead Fables love being athletic and healthy. I gave AG1 a try because I wanted my body to feel different than it normally does. I take AG1 early, before my 9 to 5 schedule, and it makes me feel indestructible. AG1 was designed with ease in mind so you can live healthier and better without having to do a lot. But we at Forehead Fables do do a lot, three episodes a month a lot. It's a simple process with AG1. Just mix a packet with cold water and drink it when you wake up. If you're looking for an easier way to take supplements, AG1 is giving you a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Go to athleticgreens.com forehead. That's athleticgreens.com forehead. Check it out. Now check this out. I'm going to drink this entire thing to prove that we love it. Bon, bon appetit. Down the hatch. <laughs> oh, dude, I came across a, uh, a conspiracy theory recently that I actually think might have some validity. Some legs on it? Yeah, some legs good. on it. It's right, not like it, it. it's not like I don't think it's as concrete as it proposes to be, but I think it does have some legs to it. Hold on, hold on. Uh, it's it called the upon itself. Yes, it's called the dead internet theory. Have you heard of it? No. Nope. It's an online conspiracy theory that asserts that the internet now consists almost entirely of bot activity and automatically generated content marginalizing human activity. And, uh, but like, imagine the amount of, especially with like, I mean, th they say it started happening in like 2017. I was like, that's a little bit early. But now that like chat GPT is out, like how much of those like click hole websites do you think are just like auto generated? No, 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 no. Click hole takes a very sophisticated, funny person to write those articles. Okay. Don't you disrespect click hole or the onion or any. <laughs> No, no, you know, no, no. Click hole sites. the website is a is a like a meta name on the fact that it's it's making fun of click hole websites. Oh, like I thought you were talking specifically no, about click hole. When you pull up like uh, Google on site. on your phone, and then they have like what are you the talking about articles just like underneath like, yeah, all like, these uh, websites that like, like the news this? of the modern day fandom wire. I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, Oh, that's a Tiva website. But there's just like a bunch of like essentially sports. I don't know what the fuck this is. But it's just like a bunch of like little generated articles. I'm like, is someone even writing this shit? 
I don't know. There's there are a lot of people. I mean, you could probably scroll to the bottom and see if there's an author name. Are you saying now is that author taking? Yeah, is that like yeah. GPT yeah. work or the, is you that can say hey ChatGPT also at the bottom put that it was written by somebody <laughs> and then Maybe. make up I the fucking name. I feel like if you name. actually took some time and like looked at the authors and stuff, you might find real people. You know, on like, like LinkedIn posts. and shit, but posts on the metaverse or like facebook or whatever you ever look at those holy <sighs> shit it's the most like humanless brain dead stuff i've ever seen in my life like my family on just facebook like, yeah like my yeah, basic family no, not even them. like that just like the just stuff that served to you for no reason yeah, okay. that you can conceive <laughs> like, wait I, okay so yeah. i think poob immediately had a knee-jerk reaction it was like no of course it's written by somebody Maybe I'm interpreting this wrong. Maybe it's not that this stuff is generated by bots. But it's maybe, interacted with by bots? No, maybe just the average written article and the average thing that's written for the average person is just just seems like something that a bot would write. <laughs> like, I mean, there's a whole other like, fucking oh. world out there the way yeah. people think and stuff. Yeah, and like I'm not putting myself on a high horse of like you know, I'm not some scholarly dude, you know, I'm just like you guys. I'm wearing an Arnold Palmy, okay? But today, I speak, it's funny you say that, like, I went on Facebook today, you know, every once in a while I check in on my crazy family, see how they're doing? Mm -hmm. And it looked like the most bot-written paragraph ever, because my fucking crazy uncle, everyone's had to, like, be like, he's not our family. He tried to, like, do a play on the, like, mm. how people say, like, I was today years old when I found out. I'm like, already, that's like, God, that's so annoying. Yeah. But he just clearly didn't know how to do it right. And he said, I was today old when I found out. And then he said, how many, like, uh, NDEs there are out there? And then someone commented, like, do tell. What is an NDE? Like, it looked like bots talking. And he's yeah. like, near-death experiences. You go on YouTube and look up near-death experience. There's proof of heaven and hell. If you just watch, like, there's thousands of them a day. People are constantly telling, like, I would recommend this title. Like, watch this video. He explains, like, the angels he saw when he died. And people are like, very interesting. I will check this out. And it's like, <laughs> they look like robots. But, like, I fucking know that guy. Yeah. I know I know you, Ron. You're just fucking stupid. Like, he's just I a think crazy... people's accounts do get taken over. And then they like po like yeah, yeah. bots or oh, something sure, yeah, post stuff like that that's this is real ass people though i know these people they're my family like and he's been like this for maybe there's years. some sort of mass what? he he's already a takeover. robot like when we did <laughs> fantasy football when i was like 10 i think he called me a slur and then he drafted the pittsburgh steelers defense first pick went steel curtain baby and we're like this guy's just crazy like this guy doesn't know what's going on and now he's still like he's just up kept and now he's like getting into near death experiences and he's talking about those a lot. Weird. And how old how is he? Old? I don't know. He's my great uncle. He's probably what's a normal age to be that old? 140? Yeah. <laughs> I think he's like <laughs> 60, 60, 60. Probably. He's just a really crazy guy. I've talked about him before. His one, he does have a really he has one good trait about him, and that's at that fantasy football draft, he wore a full fucking uniform, like football uniform. He doesn't know shit about football. He dresses for the occasion, like, so literally. Like, he went golfing with my uncle and my dad once, like, bagger Vance hat, fucking baggy pants, like, striped shirt. Like, he just overly commits to his outfits in a really funny way. And I've always really liked uh, Yeah, like, Legend of Bagger Vance. Like, fucking, you know those little hats? Little Scottish, little Irish fucking cap. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 like yeah. a baggy, and like beret baggy with a little, fucking little, pants. With a little, like, yeah. Yeah. like a yeah. little ball on the top. Yeah, like, like he just wait, he just like does that bit, and I think that's funny. But that's about all that's I've good. ever I taken like from that. him. Yeah. Mm. And every birthday, he's like, "I fucking love you, Sam. Happy birthday!" I'm like, "I haven't talked to you since I was ten years old." <laughs> yeah. no, I've got like, and his daughters are like equally crazy, and they're always like, every time I talk to my dad, I'm like, "What's up with them?" He's like, "Oh God." Don't even bring him up. Like, I don't want to talk about him. He's like, I grew up with him. You only know him, like, through Facebook. Like, I grew up with him. And him and all his daughters every fucking year, they're like, we love you so much. Like, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I don't even know you. You know, it's a weird, <laughs> it's like family, you know, I guess. But, yeah, there's always yeah. that branch of the family that when they leave a family function, you go like, what the fuck was that <laughs> shit? Like, <laughs> Christ. Uh, 
Yeah. yeah. You never want to be that part of the family, though, because you don't know, really. They probably don't. Well, realize. if you know that if you don't have that person in your family, you are that person in you your are family. That first family. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unless there's tears to it. If you're going to tell me right now, there's tears to it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, normal family? I haven't experienced Somewhere that. out there, someone's got like a normal family where everyone just gets along and they're all smart and no. someone. No, I someone in the audience. There's not a single one. <laughs> no, the on, problem guys, is if they others, report so. it, be like, our family is completely normal. That means they're the weird one. They they just haven't yeah. realized it yet. There's a perfect family out there somewhere like in the TV shows. <laughs> the sitcom families out there. Yeah, you, you know what happened to the Duggar family? Never heard of them. They were. They had a TV show. Is that for Merkel or something? What are you talking about? Family no, matters. No, it's the Duggar family. They had like a shitload of uh, kids, and they were like really popular. And they were like a Christian, uh, like a Christian family that uh, had like Kate a, and eight plus eight. Kate. Yeah, basically, yeah. But it turns out that one of the Duggar kids was like raping the other. Oh, kids. I have heard it. Oh, it was yeah, the, that... like nineteen kids and counting or whatever family. Yeah, yeah. that's what it there was. There was like yeah. a lot of kids. Yeah, yeah. there's there's like a, way too many kids. One of them had to be weird. But that's like a, you know, that's, of course, there's going to be a crazy family. Well, they're they not going like to make a kids. TV show about like John and Kate plus one kid, <laughs> and then they well, all yeah, are I'm normal. Saying, though, but they're like, their chances of being <laughs> normal of after having us. 19 children are like astronomically low. Like you're not normal by having that that's many true. children. That's true. You're going to have a, an incestuous rapist if you have 19 kids. I bet like, the dad was, have, I mean, there's already like the theories about that. that. Like the dad knew about his actions beforehand and had it like silenced and Dude, stuff. I'm... I'm a dad to a five year old and yeah, you you pick up on shit. Like I there's stuff that I'm concerned about with my kid. You know, and I keep asking two. about you only morbid have two, stuff. Though. <laughs> yeah, yeah I have two. I guess with nineteen more. Like, you probably kids. forget some of their names and, and yeah. go, like, what is that one like again? One uh, could really slide under the rug. Yeah, you know what's going Give on. Give him a fucking Starbucks gift card for yeah, the birthday. You can have a kill what shack, like. whatever about that how is. How many? <laughs> nine <laughs> What the hell do you want a chair with stirrups and, and shackles for, you weirdo? I don't think I personally know 19 people. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't talk to 19 people. I've been no invited way. to a, a wedding in the family, and there's like a, a guest list of like 200. I was like, name them. Name them without looking at the paper. Dude, I think I could do it. I think I could have a wedding that big. Not really? to brag. It would be a lot of people where only I am grasping onto the friendship, you know, where it's they're like, come on. But... You would invite like Freddie Freddie Wong. <laughs> no, I'm not saying I wouldn't. I would the only people internet like people I'd invite are like you guys and like you would have two hundred people at a wedding. Okay, probably not. Well, with family and dude, my family. Okay, this is yeah, less about family, but my fam, my step families are fucking massive. Specifically, one that's they're Irish Catholic. I've talked about them before. They got a thousand fucking cousins. But I'm just saying, like, I'm just like a you know, I'm a nostalgic guy. I'd want to invite a bunch of my high school friends. I'd want to invite my intern friends. We still talk. I want to invite, you know, this guy I saw the other day at the golf course. This old guy gave me a cigar. Like, I'd probably invite that guy. <laughs> and then just like some of my Discord friends. Yeah. That yeah. probably adds up to about, I don't know, 20. And then 20? I just, <laughs> and then uh, probably my wife will be like a fucking actress or something. She'll have all her. Or yeah, all, all of all like famous yeah. friends. Yeah, pro probably like Polly Shore and like the Baldwin brothers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna Baldwin. marry the I'm gonna marry the actress from Biodome. Me excited about this wedding. <laughs> it's God damn. It's gonna be a hoot. We're gonna it's Biodome <laughs> themed. I saw someone yeah. was it like Hexloom talking about that recently. Yeah, that, he said a couple of tweets recently that like reference weird shit that I like, and I I've been enjoying that. I comment on all of them. I'm like, yeah, that movie fucking rules. Sex it's for some reason. It's literally been Biodome and Encino Man. I think of the, yeah. the two tweets. Two yeah, Pauly Shore movies. another movies. one, I swear. <laughs> He's I, on a real uh, Pauly Shore rip these days. Yeah. Good for him. Have you seen That's that Joe bad. Rogan podcast with Pauly Shore? I, it's like, no, I have no I interest in either of those people, so no, I haven't, but I'm sure it's riveting. What are they? It's sad. It's just like I you're bet. seeing just a man that's just like falling out of time. Oh, yeah. Pauly Shore. He just didn't get it. He was like, he was like, it was weird. Like the studios just didn't like, and the people mm. just didn't like my character anymore. He's a man clinging to it. Well, it would be hard yeah. to be like such a flash famous, like uh, you're in all this shit. And then all of a sudden you're, you know, yeah, not in this. And shit, then all of a sudden yeah. people are like, wow, I'm not 12 anymore. I don't really want to see Polly Shore in a bunch of films. Yeah. So why isn't he in like a new Scorsese or something? Like, I don't know. I feel like all those guys had like a big second wind, you know, like Brendan Fraser. Yeah, like it brings way. a lot of people back. 
Nick Cage oh, back in a big way. Brandon Fraser is always know. a step ahead because the mummy and stuff. You know, he was. You know, yeah, but they always like, they always movie. worked behind the scenes. Is my where's, point. Where's Paulie? You think Paulie isn't Paul? working behind yeah. the scenes? He's out there making moves. What's, what's, he, do do, you what's, mean? He, what's he doing out there? What's, <laughs> I'm you. You guys he, have me gonna look he, up fucking Paulie. He was, Shore he was in an episode of Workaholics, like. Oh, okay. I just want to say mind. a couple yeah, years ago, but this was? is probably like That's eight years ago. Guy. But it was funny because they just had him in a big glass box, and like, and if their office sold enough copies of some shit, they got to party with Polly Shore, and he's just in the box like the whole time, like oh, I was an Encino man, I was in Biodome, <laughs> and everyone's like, oh my god, it's Polly Shore, and they don't get it, and he just has to fucking stay in the box or whatever. <laughs> it's some stupid cameo, but I thought it was funny. He just kind of plays like a burnt out version of himself which He's seems like that is himself. him yeah <laughs> <Always. Burnt laughs> <out version of laughs> like some himself. like loser burnt out version uh, of Polly Shore if you can imagine wait, it so who was he back then <laughs> Dude, yeah. never mind I take it back he's a working actor he's still doing stuff yeah yeah he's, he's probably on great. cameo yeah He's he's probably on cameo that's, that's the guy you could probably get like a $50 cameo from really make Hexloom's birthday that's, That's true. true. Yeah, he totally could. X got us one of Gilbert Gottfried, I think. Oh. Yeah. Talking oh, about he's like. He's gone now. Yeah. That's yeah. rare now. That's a. Yeah, you that's could sell a, that. called Decky Deaky. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! That's actually, fine. no. Sorry, it was uh, shoe nice. <laughs> Remember shoe nice? <laughs> Much <laughs> less cool. <laughs> you go from Gilbert oh. Gottfried, legendary yeah. comedian, to shoe nice. <laughs> shoe nice, the guy who drank glue. Oh, that guy. <laughs> okay. Like yeah. it's like silicone, like yeah. caulk. I saw that one. He took like you know, like construction caulk that you'd use to like weatherproof a window. He just dumps yeah. the whole tube like in his mouth and then swallows it like. How do you That's not die idea. from that? Like, there's chemicals and stuff know. in there. Wouldn't he just shit out like a plug of hardened silicone? Like, is he the ripped one him. or is that a different guy? No, he's not. Where's a light blue hat? Who's the ripped guy that would? Oh, is should I say the fatter one? Yeah. Who's the ripped guy that used to uh, eat crazy stuff? That one time he dunked his hand in a thing of like uh, that shit and like froze his hand. Uh, he did like painful, painful challenges. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, LA Beast, that guy. Yes, yeah, I think it is yeah, LA yeah, Beast. Yeah. yeah. Maybe Shoe Nice. Cameo from him. I think I don't know who who was around first, him or or Shoe Nice, but I remember Shoe Nice eating more inedible objects than anyone I had uh, ever seen before in my life. I'm talking yes. glue, uh, sealant, <laughs> like you were it's mentioning such a, before. Like a brave. Uh, Thing to get into, but kind of like yeah, a desperate. Like terrifying. it's hard to be, be that guy. It's hard to be the jackass guy. I can you know? barely it's hard to take be the... a pill. Yeah, <laughs> like I, mm. I can't. I don't understand eating like glass, all sorts of shit like that. I've seen that this takes video. real. Can barely sound, and like I can't imagine. You know, like really getting in in there and doing the or crazy he would stuff. like slam like giant bottles of like liquor and stuff yeah get like crazy views on youtube before like they would demonetize everything like that uh, you, he was a real pioneer you're t yes. talking about shoe nice still right that yeah. guy the way he drank alcohol and talked over the years if you took like from the beginning of his time if you took like a little section of a speech and then every year get more and more of it he talks like a guy that has melted his mind with alcohol. Like his his brain has just broken down a little bit. It's just the way at the end of his videos and stuff, he's just everything kind of blends together, if that makes sense. Like all of his words. And I'm like, you're not even like inebriated. <laughs> he's drunk. And like, he's yeah, but he's like, I don't think he's drunk at the time. I think he's just drank well, he's enough. He's probably a major fucking... alcoholic. He's probably getting a little yeah, drunk right. before all recordings. <laughs> yes, yeah, true. Brain. Yeah. He's been yeah. keeping that hangover uh, from happening since 2006. He's been I consistently think his drunk. Character, I think his character was just developing. He was just finding his character. Well, his brain wasn't. Now he's some big mush man. And yeah. that's why he called Decky <laughs> Deaky. Can't even read. You guys should have him on as a guest. Awkward, FPS, and Deaky. Yeah. yeah. Well, Deaky. What the fuck would I even talk to him about? Like, hey, drink, like tell us funny. about that time you like ate glue. glue. He's like, glue, yeah. glue don't taste good. <laughs> glue I would just ask him, all your stuff together and make me hurt. Ask him, like, I would what? just have a list of like, how was the shit afterwards for like, <laughs> well, yeah. you never give us a follow up. So, tell how us about shitting you? out like industrial caulking and stuff. 
Tell us about shitting out glue. What's that like? I'd be uh, very interested, personally. How drunk do you get after drinking a fifth of Jack? <laughs> and yeah. then a couple of beers. <laughs> so drunk. Whoa, okay. And uh, <laughs> I'll and, write uh, that down. Yeah. Okay. Four liters most, of Mountain Dew. Most people Dew. would die. Do that, <laughs> yeah. It okay, is impressive in a, like, that's more of an old-timey job, I feel like. That's yeah, that's like, like an old uh, circus freak. Yeah, like, yeah. like this man can drink this. It's crazy to do that in the modern age. I guess there's better like healthcare and stuff, but he probably wasn't. Have you seen those doctor. people that just take a pair of ten snips and they'll like eat a bicycle? No. Yeah, I've never seen that in my life. I've I've seen like a a documentary on this guy that like he's on his own over the like the past twenty years. He's eaten like a, a better part of a plane, where like that's... he would he'll take like. So it's fucking metal, cool. And he'll like bend it up into like a ball and like eat it. That's awesome. He's, he's a world devourer and he's yeah. eating. That's an no, accomplishment. He's, not. he's just shitting no. out hunks of metal no, and it's going the into the day, sewer. He actually eats an entire plane. He's the only man to ever do that. I, like ever. it's definitely a boast, but like on his deathbed, he, he like what's that every icebreaker. I what guess I'd be in a plane. plane. I, would, I would stop talking to that guy immediately. <laughs> I'd old plane over 40 years. <laughs> now I'm empty. I don't know That's what to fucking do. fucking unhinged. I wouldn't yeah. talk to that the guy. the last piece in my colon right now. <laughs> yeah. Propeller oh, and all seats <laughs> and airbags. Yeah, that's... I've no, I've, I don't know how that slipped me. I've never heard of people that eat <laughs> entire things like that. It was... Oh, it was on that is show like where... like a fetish thing or is it yeah, like yeah. just a... Uh, no, no, it's oh. a, it's like a mental Freaky illness. Freaky eaters yeah. or something. Yeah, it was it was oh, one of those things like, where like the same episode or maybe the next episode, the lady was eating like dog food. Well, that's a lot more understandable yeah. than a plane. I've eaten dog food. Yeah, I, yeah. Well, if you had cat food, because that's a little sweeter and it actually goes down a lot it's better. Better. Yeah. Oh, god! They just awoke in a. Uh, when I went to the golf course yesterday, let's get back to golf, guys, what people want. No, yeah. I was in an Uber because I'm like, well, I'm probably going to pound some beers while I'm there. Be responsible. And it was just stroke of luck. Stroke. Golf term. I looked up from my phone and uh, there was a post like, mm, don't want to dox myself in case this comes to fruition, 50 blocks from my house. And it had missing cat. And I only saw it for like. A glance and it looks exactly like the cat I've been feeding on my porch for like a week <laughs> and it said missing cat reward and now I've got to like I fucking forgot today but tomorrow I got to drive over there see if it is and then try to trap that cat get it back and then you know being a hero of course I'm gonna say no reward necessary ma'am just uh just think I'm a good guy and I give them their cat and um, that's probably what I'm going to do this weekend. I don't know what you guys are up to. But. How are you going to go about catching it? It's are actually going to be incredibly to hard. No, it is incredibly skittish. But it's so acute. I'm like, this is no street rat. Because there's two other stray cats, and they both are like, go on, get. Like, they're all mangy, you know. They got, like, bugs in their head. But this cat, is like, it's got, like, these tiny, cute little arms. It's got a natural white mustache on its black face. Uh. Very cute cat. Very distinguishable. And when I saw that picture, I saw black with a flash of curled white. So I got to go back and check. It could be a different cat. But how great would that be for me to save this cat, you know, give it back to his family? But now that I talk about it, I really would be really hard to get it. Maybe I would just call them and be like, you can come stake out my house or something. Maybe I'll like come to them. I, I don't know. Hey, you want to hear like a huge social blunder I had in a very similar situation? Oh, God, you killed a cat you used a bear no. trap or something no, or a coyote no. trap no oh. no it's literally just a social thing because i'm not oh. you know we've talked about it. i'm not good at picking up like social cues and stuff this uh oh. <laughs> no yeah, this, I, I had new neighbors that moved in just down the road hadn't met them yet and they came pulling in or pulling up to my house we were outside in the front yard they rolled down the window and they're like have you seen a big irish wolfhound it just ran away and we're like Terror, like it's gone. We just Those moved in, awesome and like, dogs. and the they're afraid the dog's gonna run away and not like know how to get back home. That you dog know? will be fine. Those are survivors. They, <laughs> they fought wolves before. That'll be, yeah. Well, the uh, well, there's gators and shit down there. I guess that's true. Yeah, but they were basically in tears, and <laughs> I took that time to. My brother was standing there, and I was just like. Oh, you guys are the new neighbors. How you like the place? Like, I, 
<laughs> I was like, they, and they're like, obviously, like, dude, we have to go. Like, the dog just got out. <laughs> and like, I was Wait, like, hold on, oh, hold yeah, on, you're like, up for a about- second. Yeah. <laughs> you want some lemonade yeah. or something? <laughs> about to fire Abby, up the grill. Put it, put the- <laughs> Preheat the oven. We got my company. My brother's like, my brother actually like touched my shoulder. And was like, dude, like, <laughs> <laughs> let them go. They are like on the hunt right now. They basically stopped by to just dude, do like, you keep your eye up. For this stuff. Yeah, you yeah, might I, be autistic or something. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> What's the rush, neighbor? <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> a dog. It's uh, just how like good furniture. Is it today? But, yeah. yeah, but anyways, we ended up seeing it or something, and we ended up going back to their house, and they were like, oh. God, don't worry, we found it. They, so like I had probably, seen it. Your, your social cues, you saw it in its backyard, and you're like, oh my God, I gotta go tell him. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, I think we like saw it like running down a certain way or something, and we went to go like tell him about it, and then they, they had already collected it by those Wrangled people it. at that time. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I never spoke to them again. Although I did see... The guy um, pushing a, a, like a riding lawn or a pushing like a push mower, and he was trying to like push it down into the ditch and cut some long vines and shit that were down there. And there were, happened to be a like a ground hornet's nest in the same oh, spot. Oh god, that's a nightmare. That's yeah, so and scary. so I saw this guy running with a, a like a lawnmower tailing behind him that was still on. And he's just. Doing you're that like, whole come, thing. come talk, come yeah, talk. Thing, like, <laughs> and I, yeah, of course, I stopped him. I rolled down my phone. I was like, hey, dude, how you doing, man? Are you enjoying the new place? Wait, 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 stop running. I got to ask you something. <laughs> and you guessed uh, the game last night? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, geez, these new neighbors are inconsiderate, yeah. hurt people. They're just, they're all, all about brevity. They oh, just, uh, what happened to neighborly behavior? You know, yeah. this is. What happened to the U.S.? We're afraid to talk to our neighbors now. But Where's must my be dog? From can I get big some city. sugar? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you mind? Can I borrow some ingredients from you guys? A couple yeah. eggs, some sugar, some flour, some milk? Uh, oh it's God, okay. I'll, it's okay. I'll wait right here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll wait. I've, I've definitely... Have I talked before about how my... Um, our horses used to run away and like we're the only people in our town with miniature horses. <laughs> horses. So so of course like nine one one would come up and be like, Your horses are fucking on the other side of town, like you gotta get them. Cause like people are disarmed by miniature horses, but they're also like they don't it's like they don't like creature. other people. Yeah, yeah, it's like a weird thing to see in your yard yeah. when you just like it's a town full of people that like don't come like mind your own business. And yeah, they'd always be like, oh my God, your fucking horses are out again. Like they went across the highway. You got to get them. It's miraculous. They were never hit by a car and killed the car. Cause they're like, killed like a whole they, Well, they're like, they're only like this tall. Ow, yeah, that's fuck. like hitting a deer right over that plant. <laughs> that fire. They're, they're like, like, ah! they're like exactly <laughs> yay on. <laughs> they're, uh, I don't know. They're like four, three feet tall, but they're like probably 400 pounds. Cause they're just fat little girls. <laughs> And yeah, they never, never were killed though. Luckily, and uh, my mom also had a pig that was like a problem uh, because it would break. It was like you know, pigs are actually really smart, and it would go to people's houses and those little like basement windows and shit. Yeah. It would like break them for some reason, and it was just like a really nosy pig. <laughs> Dude, you, know, you guys like, sucked as neighbors. <laughs> oh, they're horrible. <laughs> we're horrible. <laughs> Yeah, you had a just, herd it was, of miniature it was horses. One that woman would... with yeah, a bunch of wild animals and beasts, <laughs> and uh, had a yeah, pig breaking and yeah. entering pig. Yeah. And then I was going around, you know, causing trouble. I was, you get loose. Yeah, I get loose. The... Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I you, if I got sure? out of the house, I'm down the road in 20 seconds. <laughs> If you don't put a lead around my face and tie me to a tree, I'm fucking gone. Like, I'm out of there. (laughs) I'm kicking around. I'm breaking into storm drains. They have to tell the cops who's a pig. Like, there's a whole thing. But, uh, yeah, I guess we... urinating on my front door. Yeah, I guess we are. It's like in Malcolm in the Middle when they're like, why is the neighborhood so awful? And then they realize, like... They have a block party every year when they go on vacation because, like, everyone fucking hates them. Like, we are, we probably were that family where it's like, oh, Jesus Christ. Like, you know, once again, one another done. parallel uh, when in the neighborhood growing up, like, we were You obvi- really were a nightmare. Like, you, every story, story you've told, you were just a bad kid. But. They never had a block party the entire 
20 years I grew up there. The <laughs> fucking day we left. <laughs> <laughs> they literally had a block. The first ever block party the moment we left. A parade went through town. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, We're it was insane. Yeah. And like also, the by the way, the whole like escaping animals thing. I had a childhood dog that I thought was great because it's your childhood like 15 dog. 15 pit bulls. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was this asshole mutt that would like... it. I remember we had the Comcast guy come over to like fix the internet and it literally jumped up. It would never growl because then he was like, I don't get to bite him if I growl. You know, oh, they know I'm about to bite. So he would just, dog. he would quietly like just wait for the opportunity. And he jumped up and bit the Comcast guy like on the end of oh. the dick and like wouldn't like oh. go. Like he was just an asshole. But Did you have to put him down? Nah, nah, he's a good boy. Um, we, <laughs> Sounds like a like, great dog. He would sit there and wait at the door. So when you opened it, he would just run out. He would be gone, and you couldn't, like, get him back. And every time this lady would call the house and be like, hey, you're Bert's out again. Bert's roaming the, the neighborhood. And we were always like, who fucking cares, lady? She's like, I'm allergic to dogs, which we knew Don't was bullshit. in your house. She has, like, six dogs that she would walk on, on leashes all the time. Like, she looked like a dog walker. I'm allergic and to she- dogs and fat little kids. Keep them off my yard, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem was he, the dog would like attack people. Like we were those people that. Yeah, that's just, awful. Our, yeah, we our just pig and horses, horses never had, went off on a rampage. No, well, I mean, your, your pig just broke grazed. into. Well, yeah, breaking <laughs> and entering is a lot different than breaking <laughs> in and killing and assaulting, yeah, you know. True. It was just curious. Yeah. Just very curious. Yeah. I just didn't realize until I got older. I'm like, dude, like having a dog just roam a neighborhood. Without a, yeah. a leash or anything. What the fuck? You know, a shocking turn of fate for that pig, I think. A, a free roam pig doesn't do too too well in coyote territory after a certain amount of time. Oh, uh, did it get got? I think that's what I... It was like when I was like six, so I don't really remember it, but... Wait, you never yeah, f- we, finished that. What, what would it do when it broke into a... I think it would just break shit. Like, it would just... It was... I don't know why my mom has like been adamant about like she had to pay for several people like their storm windows or something. Like it had a very it had like an affinity for those like low windows. Like it get in the little hole and just like rah, rah, like break shit and then just run away. It was is just like a nightmare. Like, is this like ba- a big pig in the pig. city no, kind like of a, pig or like a Dark Souls pig? Like it was like a pot belly pig hole. where I think a lot of people like my mom was just known as that chick that's has a bunch of animals. So like if there was like an animal people couldn't take care of or they just found, they'd just drop it off at our house. So um, I think it was probably like a babe in the city pig if it grew up in the woods. So mm-hmm. babe in the woods. Yeah, okay. It's not really fun. We don't have like a farm or anything. Like that's the weird. Also, it's weird. Those horses, they are still very much alive. They still run around and stuff. I'm like these these horses how are probably are 20 years old by now. How old, how long does a horse live? It's like a dog, I right? thought it was like, tw- no, it's like 25 years or something. Oh. But I'm now starting to, like, like they don't seem like they're slowing down. Like, am I going to inherit some horses or what? Like, yeah. actually, it's weird, though. I'm, we- I'm very, like. When does a like, miniature horse start when, looking old? When my parents, I don't know. They, they look older. Like, they're noticeably, they look older. But they still, like, you let them out of their thing. They just went, wow run around they're funny like they're just funny like they don't do anything they don't serve a purpose but i guess they kind of mow the lawn yeah like they kind of they're just like an oddity to have and i've always like now i'm very like if i ever end up living in that house or something like i feel like i'm gonna have to get miniature horses one day or like some odd animal no um you could but i wouldn't try the only time like the only time they ever bit me no, I never rode them. We used to have a little wagon that you could hook them both up to, and we had a trailer for them. But my mom sold them both because she's like, "These we're not gonna fucking take these. Where are we gonna take the horses?" Yeah. And uh, one time I was like showing off to my friends in high school because it's like, it's like all I've got. I'm like, look, we <laughs> yeah. got miniature horses. Like that's weird, right? That's cool. <laughs> so when people would come over, I'd be like, "Check, I bet you never seen these. I sure haven't." And one time I'm like, yeah, they're like my little girls. Like, I love these. I love them. And I gave one of them a hug. And I think I had, like, I it was, like, the first time, like, you know, the girls weren't there for me. Like, my hot friends were there or something. But, like, there was a couple of girls over. I'm, like, showing off. Like, oh, look, my baby horse. And it turned around and just fucking, like, grabbed the side of me and bit me. And I was, ah! like, screamed <laughs> out. And then they run off and shit. And then since then I'm like. We're cool. Like, I don't have to pet you. Like, I, I like you. I like looking at them. 
But one of them got off, the, like, I went and visited, like, two weeks ago. And one of them, like, I accidentally let them out without the lead. And my mom's like, well, you got to catch her. I'm like, that, I think they might fucking kill me. Like, I don't, <laughs> they can still kick. Like, I don't like, I don't like to mess with them. They, they kind of got their own system going on over there. They like my mom. and Horse law. Yeah, horse law. Like, hey, a horse is a hard-to-read animal. They just go back. Uh. They're mad. They just go or up. They're trying there's to go horse. fast. Yeah. I mean, like, what the hell? It is really cute when they ro- like when spring hits and you let them out and they run around and stuff. I, I also kind of want to get a sheep one day. I think I want to get a sheep. And uh, maybe continue this like I think it should be. I think it should be animal tradition. I think it deserves to be continued because like the house wouldn't feel the same without a bunch of. I just had a picture on my, like, Snapchat memories where it's, like, the most active fucking front yard. There's, like, ten chickens, like, three (laughs) dogs and two horses, and I just captured it all. I'm like, this is is right. (laughs) That guy from Dude, Where's My Car with, like... Oh, that's a great movie. Do you have, like, Andy Dick in a cage? No, I don't know. No, it's just... uh, See, the problem is, I think without my mom, it would all fall apart. So, like, if she's dead when I do this, I'm going to be, like, living in a nightmare. Probably. I'm gonna like be like, oh yeah, you just get a horse and you let it off, and they kind of stay on. I don't know why now they know to just stay on our property, but like I don't know if I how to teach that to a horse or a sheep. Yeah, um, like would she do any like? No, we've never trained. No, we when we've, they when they would come back from. It's just all like some it's some sort of weird. That's why people when they show up, they're like, my house is. It's got like a magical feel. My mom's house, like it feels like a fairy garden or something with all the little creatures and. Huh. It's cool, but I think that magic will die when my mom dies. So yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And uh, when I get it, I'm gonna turn it into like this kind of industrial, like metal and gothic Add a and smoke like stack. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, coal mines and shit. Yeah. I'm gonna frack the horse pasture. <laughs> yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna uh, strip mine in the backyard. Yeah. Yeah. There's jewels <laughs> under this house. Yeah, steamroll the house over that she's built her whole life. Crush that down. Yeah, go ahead and get a new foundation. May put up a. Uh, like one of those ten, like ten houses or something. I saw a guy uh, that's a, a holdout. Have you ever seen those? Like like that movie Up. Like there there are yeah. people that like a of city. You've seen Up? That movie rules. A city yeah. that builds around uh, an old residential area oh, yeah. and they refuse to to sell. This guy's yeah. a, a holdout. Cool. That I think his mom gave him her. It's house. really sad when you see those houses. Yeah, but it's cool because it's like. You know they didn't want this, you know, all this fucking development. Like, they were never promised that shit. Yeah. But. This guy's living in one, and he has decided, instead of, like, I don't know, but like, his his version of doing weird shit instead of, like, getting a bunch of animals, is he just did a full-ass excavation of his property, like a, like what a anthropologist would do or whatever. Like, he meticulously, through, like, uh, with little shovels and brushes, tore down his entire he has just like a regular square city lot has brought it down to bedrock <laughs> by slowly bringing out <laughs> so bucket he, after bucket he's doing bucket. the reverse of up he's going yeah, down he's, he's a good down. Digging. and so oh, digger into his, the earth. <laughs> his house is just here and then the foundation just goes down 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 where he's dug down and he's just like I don't That's know, sweet. like the the rock, the bedrock that he's hit is like super uneven, so his whole property is just like an ankle breaker waiting to happen, and he just kind of like digs around in there. Is that, and I'm like, to what end? Yeah. That you just look at it and go like, "That's that he's guy's having fun." Nah, yeah, I was about to say that guy's <laughs> that guy's lost broken. his fucking mind. <laughs> yeah, he's lost his mind. <laughs> I don't know what he's. He already knows of some like gold down there, so he's looking for something. I'd, I'd wait that bastard out to die, and then I'd buy that house and continue fracking and destroying until you find what he was looking for. No, I think I think he's finished. I think it's it's completely like he's removed every bit of foreign soil off of that lot. I wonder what his his end goal was to just make his house look horrible, so they don't want to buy it anymore, and they they quit asking. So I'm not like just looking at my phone. I was gonna try, actually try to find that picture to put in here. Oh, um, of all my awesome. animals running around. Yeah, we were talking earlier about relations with neighbors and stuff, and how I've mm. botched every relationship I've had with any of my neighbors. But um, you're you you were a city boy. Yeah. But now you're in the the burbs. Do you have yeah. a Do you have a good rapport with your neighbors? All of a sudden, now that like COVID is less of a thing we're starting to which is very nice actually 
Um, we went to a little Cinco de Mayo party that we actually were invited to. Oh. That was exciting. Um, oh, they, to be like, human. I, as soon as I got there, they, they like had like this like tail end of like a bottle of vodka that was going around for like margaritas and stuff. And like they just dumped the whole thing in my glass. So that turned into like a triple real fast and like. It made me a bit, a bit, a bit more my drunk best than I like to be with my new like people that I'm trying to impress and not appear to be like super strange around. And yeah, you know, we don't have kids or every or anything. Like I'm most quite... people have kids around. They're like, why don't you have kids? What the fuck? <laughs> What's wrong I with think you? You have a very disarming disme- demeanor anyway, and you don't need to worry about that. You're disarming like in a bad way. Or no, like you know, like way? you just seem. You just like, uh, I don't know, maybe it's because I already knew you or whatever, but like when I met you, I'm instantly like, oh, this isn't weird at all. Like you just are, you just put out good vibes, you know, you just. That's nice. Thank you. So you're just <laughs> a nice guy. I don't know. I, I don't know. How to, I want to uh, fuck you. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know what like, the, the basic like flight or fight responses or whatever, but from Aqua, I get like the most, I, I I feel like if you meet, get on my knees. No, in no, sock. no. Like yeah. the first thirty seconds, you know, like this guy is not a threat. Like he is. There is no chance in well, hell. Now you're making it sound like he's not intimidating at all. But I feel like he's I want to. I want to nasty. Yeah. I want to see like, Aqua strike somebody. I just don't feel like he's got it in him. I struck someone once. Once and they killed that the kid. Strike <laughs> heard around the. <laughs> what did they do? Did they like shoot oh, a dog or something? Was it a John Wick moment? This kid was, it was third grade. There was some kind of weird uh, little kid fight club going around on the, on the, there was like, it was like street gangs, except like no weapons, you know, <laughs> keeping it classy. Yeah. Maybe a stick would be picked up, you know, <laughs> broken bottle. I wasn't really like affiliated with any particular group. I remember, but my good friend was, and you know, I was kind of like doing a ride along <laughs> one day, if you will. And all of a sudden shit went, it went down. You know, there was a brawl happening on the playground, like, out of nowhere. And this kid, his name was Simon. Simon was a real piece of shit. He, uh, he like, got me in, like, a headlock somehow and just started pulling my hair like a fucking oh. psycho. Like, as hard as he could. And let me tell you, that really, that hurt. Yeah, it hurt. I had hair, like, coming out of my head for days afterwards. And uh, I just gave him one, like, you know, it was like, you know... I didn't want to do it. Like I'm a, a lover, punch. not a fighter, yeah, but like yeah. just like one I gave death him punch. A, a serious death punch, like one punch man. I haven't seen that, but it's great. The PKI but, guys were talking about it, but oh, like geez. I gave him one of those in, in his like little kid tummy and man, he just keeled over and like just couldn't breathe for a while. <laughs> and then I got in so much trouble. I like uh. got sent home. Everybody yelled at me. I was like, he was pulling my hair out. Yeah. Look at the hair, like pulling clumps of hair out of my head. I hated I how the, the teachers guy. would show up and just see who was the most hurt, and then whoever yeah, was like the they least always hurt. Defend they the bully for some they reason. always defend the person that was the least hurt. Yeah, yeah. They Who's do the no bully detective when it's work. Me, okay. When they when they say something to me, oh, no, I'm... no, they defend the person that's the most hurt. I'm sorry. Even yeah. if they, if even if the person that got fucked up started it. I'm gonna post the picture. I think finally, Jesus Christ! Sorry that took so long. Right, still play. I got no internet down here. Oh. Look at this breadth of creature. Yeah, it's just like a. There's a lot going on there. And big dog. Wow, those chicken. horses are really small. Horses. It's like also quite a large dog. dog. Yeah, yeah, so it's kind of hard yeah. to read. It's like a hundred and ten pound red lab, and then a chicken is the size of a normal dog. Yeah, chicken's the size of a chihuahua. Dog's the size of a really small <laughs> miniature horse. A miniature horse is the size of a big miniature horse. We actually did used to have a man miniature horse that was the size of a really small pony. He was big. His name was Caesar, but he was ill-tempered. We used to have a game we'd play where we'd get on the fence posts around their pen. And your feet would be like in it in your hands, and you'd shuffle around, you try to make it around the whole thing without him like rap, rap, grabbing your toes. It was fun. He was cool. <laughs> he was a cool guy. But uh, he was trying to bang the the chick horses too much and get them pregnant. Uh, so we had to get rid of them to a happy nice. horse farm. This photo, it would be funny if you just had like a like a little midget in there somewhere. 
like a human, <laughs> like a human midget just standing amongst all the animals. When you said well, man a horse, I pictured like a weird, like a centaur. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, like a, like, well, like we a did just have a couple of satyrs and centaurs around. When I say it's a magical <laughs> place, I'm not exaggerating. It's a, quite the quite the fauna there. They've got mystical of, uh, beings. Yeah. Yeah. Cryptids walking around. And ever since I left there, my life force has been depleting, and I've seen less magic in the world, <laughs> less gnomes and fairies and whatnot. <laughs> now I live in the big city, Indianapolis. That's what they call it. The suburbs of Indianapolis, the big city. One day I'll be with you, Aqua. <laughs> probably in your neighbor. <laughs> probably w- nice. with you, probably in your home. I used to have, uh, I used to have this neighbor in the city that um you got a million she was neighbors maybe the, the craziest person i i've never known in real life like closely yeah. you know and uh she breed. she was like um she was almost like a like a prepper type but oh, like okay. in an apartment sort of thing oh, like she had all these like, like, weird place yeah, yeah. i know like if things <laughs> are happening shelter. like you're in new york city right now <laughs> you are you're yeah. going to be like incinerated instantly yeah, that's yeah. not a that's not a <laughs> typical not prepper location but, yeah no not at all but uh i remember she she had like um she had like this crazy like industrial water filter and then also she had uh like a net over her bed, like a mosquito net, just like huh. a, just like whole, like a, like an actual net, you know, like yeah. not like anything that's like airtight or anything. And, <laughs> Ow, and I was like, like a big like pirate <laughs> net. <laughs> yeah. It was just like a, like as if there like were like a, a million bugs. Net that'd be, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I was like, she like invited me into her apartment sometime for something to like, give me something. And I was like looking at this net and she's like, don't mind the net. Like what? It's what's, hard. What's, not I, to I mean, I, I wasn't gonna say anything. Was She's it like, a? Was it a? It protects me from the Wi-Fi. Mob- no, oh, okay. no, it was to protect her from the Wi-Fi. Oh, apartment. oh. oh she was ahead of the curve on Wi-Fi yeah. and five G. And when she like three G was out at the time, she was like one day five five <laughs> Gs. Yeah. I, um. It was uh, crazy. I she was, was probably my breed. favorite neighbor that I've had back oh. to the. It's not. It's good nice to have event. like. It's good to meet eclectic people like that. She was so like nice. That. She yeah. was like super nice, but she had like terrible OCD. And like I had OCD like that when I was a kid, but like she would be like stuck outside, like locking and unlocking her oh. door like a million times, and like being like, <laughs> she would just like look so frustrated to have to like do that in front of me again. Yeah. And then I'd be like, listen, I had the same thing when I was a kid. Like I totally get it. Like I don't. I don't know. She was super nice, but it, it was uh, it was uh, interesting. One of my best friends has gotten like he smoked so much. You know, it's like you know people that smoke weed. I don't know if it's like with you guys, but like I had a lot of friends that started smoking like really early, and it's like more of those people where it's like back when I would be like, no way, like get that away from me, like I don't know, fourth, fifth grade, and then it's like at a point they hit a block where they hit that like you hear about like they just become wildly paranoid when they smoke weed and stuff and that happened to my friend in college and now he's like out of nowhere it seems like has to do that where he locks the door a bunch and we'll be outside and i'll be like he'll he'll be like do you know if i turned off the stove i'm like dude i've no like you obviously why would you have turned it on like let's just go and he's like no i gotta check i gotta check in the back door and he had to get to the point where he has to take videos of everything. Mm-hmm. So when we're out, he can like check them and be like, okay, I definitely did. It's like a weird paranoia and like OCD about that kind of stuff. Dude, and anytime of, I'd wow. fuck with him and be like, no, dude, I think I heard it ticking. He'd be like, don't say that. Like now I really got to check. I'm like, oh, God damn it. Like I was just fucking around. A lot of those psychological issues, they, they pop up in your yeah. early twenties, like bipolar disorder and stuff like that. And like, <laughs> OCD. Yeah, yeah I've been like, getting You don't some weird see a lot of lately. young kids with OCD. That's that was strange. I had it bad as really? a kid. Yeah. Sorry. And then it became like manageable. It just kind of like went away. I don't know. It just over what time like went like it was honestly so bad. Like I would have to like <clears throat> when I would talk as a kid, 
I would have to like say something and then like re mouth it silently again. Whoa. Or, uh, I don't know why. And like everything had to be like three, three, three. Everything in three. Yeah. People I'd thought like, you had a weird stutter because you'd talk three times. Like, this is no, really but, weird. Like, I, like, you're saying the whole sentence. I three didn't times. say it audibly more than yeah. once, but, but I would like say something and then like. Like I, I, I'd be like <laughs> that's, a, that's awesome. So I'd have to. It sucks. Not dude. awesome My like jaw. that, but like that's just so weird. That's just like a. I love little shit like that where it's just like you're just human. You know, weird shit happens. Oh, it was so annoying though. <laughs> like my jaw would hurt like all the time because of like it, I was just like talking. constantly talking because like I would have to repeat. I know shit what that's like yeah. forever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. It, damn, my jaw is so sore from that talking. That's what's sore from <laughs> in my throat, the back of my throat. Um, yeah. yeah. I The only time I do like weird silent talking, I used to do it more, but like if I'm in the car and someone's like walking across or something, I'm like, go ahead. And I'm like, There's, they can't hear me. <laughs> like I always oh, talk, yeah. but always like it's so such a small, audible that. level where I'm like, no one can hear you. I and it's like sometimes <laughs> when someone does hear you, they're like, what? Like if someone's in the car, so I'm like, oh, nothing. Yeah. Or like, yeah, or if, I, if I'm talking to someone across the street, like I'm not actually talking to them. But like I'll say something under my breath and then I catch myself. I'm like, why the fuck did I say that? I have like a full ass conversation with someone as if I'm, as if they're there. That's like <laughs> while I'm driving. Like if someone starts creeping oh. into my lane, I'm just oh, like, I, like, who the fuck do you think? Like, oh, I get guy's... road rage. <laughs> no, I, I don't get mad, but I'm just like, I'm keeping an eye on this fucking guy. He's, he's going all over the place. Like, I'm just talking to myself as if I'm talking to somebody else. That's because you're guy. like a YouTuber, probably. Yeah. Is that what it is? I'm just I, I reacting, assume. live reacting to the world. <laughs> yeah. You're practicing yeah. for your streams, yeah. yeah that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. This, guy, this guy's like, mabba, mabba, mabba. you're doing little bits <laughs> yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Oh, my asshole hurts. Oh, you get the new <laughs> iPhone? draw his face yeah. on my hand. <laughs> you sketch them say. perfectly, and then you take yeah. them. I own you. Yeah, just normal stuff people do. <laughs> yeah. Are you talking about your childhood OCD? I used to have asthma really bad and then no. when i was thinking about it i was like I didn't, oh, I didn't i didn't have like asthma really bad i think a lot of the times that i would complain about my asthma it was just i didn't want to do athletic shit that my family was trying to get me to do God. and so i got like i got the diagnosis from the doctor and i was like boom <laughs> yeah that was like i don't know if you guys have seen dexter's lab but he gets a uh a gym ex like a I think it's like a gym I think class. I remember that one. Yeah. Ex excuse card from his doctor, and he has it like hermetically sealed, like on a on a little pillar <laughs> and a little a podium. Oh. oh yeah. And like I, I kind of felt that way, like whenever we had to do some long hike or some bullshit, I'd just be like, oh. oh, 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 oh. Uh, look at you now, my, though. You look great. Oh. You've been like working out or something, or like yeah, I don't have any new glasses or something. Oh, <laughs> you got thanks. something you got a good glow going to on. you. You get a blowjob before this great. or something. Yeah. What's going on? I haven't had a fucking What's blowjob in weeks. Uh, what the man. fuck? I'm pissed. <laughs> Well, have you eaten uh, pussy in weeks? Because you can't ask for everything without some <laughs> gift, man. Come on. Uh, no, no. I've, I'm <laughs> Come on, fine, brothers. Man. Out there going, don't be selfish. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, the closest thing to the athletics, I've probably talked about this before because I talked about everything fucking before, but in, I did track and field in eighth grade because it was like the in thing to do in seventh grade, and I didn't do it because I'm like, I fucking, you can go. I hate running. <laughs> I hate like any... I like sports where it's like there's a per like I love soccer, but I don't like just running for fun. I've always been like that's the dumbest sport in the world, but it became like a thing to do where like you can have a hundred fucking kids on a track team, so like everyone was doing it. So I'm like, oh fuck, I'll do it. And I keep in mind in eighth grade, I'm probably four eleven, five feet tall. Like I'm a tiny little guy. Yeah, I was like the small guy too. Yeah, I was, I was like tiny. real tiny. Yeah, and so to get out of running. I joined the discus team because they're like, we need people for discus. And I'm like, I'll do it. And I'm like, not you, but fuck what? They couldn't say no to me. So I went over yeah. and practiced the discus, throw it five feet, be like, cha ching. I was over there with like the cool big guys. And then anytime they'd be like, Sam, like, you're not, we're not going to make, you're not going to do discus at a meet. Like, you need to go practice running. I'd always say, like, I want to practice starting off blocks. Um, I'll be like, coach, I'm really bad at starting off blocks. Can I s practice blocks instead of just running and working you out? To run, yeah. yeah. And I'd, so I'd be like, oh, I'd fake do blocks just by myself for a while. And then every track meet, shocker, I'm wildly out of shape. I don't yeah. know how to start off blocks. 
and I just get fucking creamed where I'm like a fourth of the way through the fucking lap and people are 90% of the way through like really humiliating actually horrible for my self-esteem performances and now one reoccurring gag I've definitely talked about this for my whole fucking life there's some damning photos this actually gets me worked up I can't get too into this because the photos they <laughs> claim are damning there's two of them one of them it looks like this guy and I are neck and neck the other photo it's a side view it's that famous, you know, famous in Sam in the Discord, like that picture of me sprinting. Yeah, yeah. And it makes me look faster. I'm clearly ahead of the guy in the second photo, right before the finish line. This mm. kid's got like a bone disease where he, like, if he falls over, he fucking breaks all his bones. But he's Little got bird bone bones. Disease. Yeah. And people would be like, shit on me so hard for years about like, you got beat by that kid with bone disease. And I'd always be like, He's got bird bones. Like, he's lighter. Like, his steps probably take him off the ground. Like, he's probably bounding. He probably springs. He was flying. Yeah. yeah. And, like, I fucking How beat him. How does he not shatter his I got second last. I got second running. last. Um, I don't know. I don't. I'm not a goddamn I feel doctor. Like, like, cardio like that. Well, okay. Like, high impact there cardio. There were two. It, there, it, maybe I'm. He had a bone disease. But there was a kid in our school who literally had, like, glass bone. Like, that SpongeBob character where he broke bones every year from minor stuff. He wasn't on the track team. So maybe it was like a different thing. Maybe he had a heart disease or something. He has, you know, we're just ignorant kids. We just knew he had something. So you yeah. shit on him. You know, yeah. we're just dicks. You're and then up. I just got shit on. Yeah, I mean, it was in eighth yeah. grade. <laughs> you're and not put together like us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're different. You're different. You know, kids are fucking cruel. Yeah. And yeah. even like four years later at graduation, when he walked across the thing, people were like sending me Snapchats like this kid kicked your ass in fucking eighth grade track and field. And it's like a stain. Like you can ask any of my IRL friends about it. And they're like, oh, that kid with the bone disease that beat Sam in the fucking hundred meter dash. I was just that I'm like that slow. But I don't think anymore. You know, I could How are you that slow? You're you're so long grade. legged. No, okay, this is what I'm talking about. Eighth grade, mm. I was fucking What about now? Do you think I was you could three do years well? out from hitting maybe. puberty? I've I, never lost a I was foot this, race. You've talked about that. You'd probably beat me. I don't think I'm... I definitely, when I did soccer in high school, after that, I lost all my baby fat, and I actually had to work out. And oh, I will claim for myself, okay? A lot of kids, to make varsity standards, there was a cheat you could do. You had to run a two-mile under 15 minutes, and there was a part in the woods where the coaches couldn't see every one of the kids fucking take this shortcut, shave off two minutes. They waited, you know, 10 seconds, make it seem real, then run out. I'd never do it. My pride wouldn't allow me. So it took me like 80% of the first season to make varsity. But I got a lot of respect from that later in life where people are like, I remember you. You never, does it mean anything now? No, I should have just fucking beaten it because everyone else did. And I would have had a lot more fun. But um, no, I was slow as fuck. I was, I've, I've definitely, the goal, you know, I don't know if you guys, do you guys have like a I golden. a joke uh, on no. that gum. Oh, <laughs> I shouldn't have I shouldn't be chewing gum while doing a talking podcast. That's on yeah, me. I, I was about joke. to say, dude. I've been hearing you sorry. smack that no, shit. I'm sorry. I'm like sorry. My minutes. roommate gave me. It didn't it, seem like he was like actively yeah, joking. Yeah. Yeah. That <laughs> thing was like swirling well, the I'm drain. I'm very like, prone to <laughs> choking. I've choked many yeah. times in my life, but this my roommate really? gave me nicotine gum. Yeah, so I was like mm. chewing that up. See what's oh. all about. It's like my fifth yeah. piece. And um, <laughs> fuck. Now I've completely lost my thought. Let me tell you something. In school. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. No, I was going to ask as opposed to question too. Like, do you guys have like a golden god of your school? Like a golden, like he's the fucking best at yeah, everything. He's the, he's the hottest. Yeah. He's the smartest. We, ha we had that kid, 100%. I remember I brought my skateboard to school one time and uh, I was like, I was showing off. All right. I was yeah. showing off. I mean, why a not? Bit. It's a cool thing to do. Skateboarding in the cafeteria, you know. In the cafeteria, were... you're really showing off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah a bunch dude. Of, yeah. yeah, grinding on yeah, the it tables. Was not, it was yeah. it's literally getting the secret tape like yeah. out of the lunch lady's like fucking yeah. little yeah. house yeah. behind the behind yeah. the counter where they live, <laughs> where, yeah. wherever she lives. Yeah, but uh, I was doing some skateboarding, and this kid just walks up, like he was like the captain of all the sports teams and all this shit, like. And like I, he was like, "Whoa, how'd you do that?" And I'd be like, "I just explained it to him, like how to do an ollie." And he oh, just no. stepped on the skateboard and did it. 
instantly. So, uh, I never, I that kid. It took me a year to learn yeah, how to yeah. do it. That's he worse. He literally did it like second or third try. It was so was fucking he nice? annoying. Was he nice? Yeah, no, Can he was I super it? nice. Super okay, cool guy, That is bad, yeah. 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 My like golden kid. Yeah, I loved type. Him. Everybody loved yeah. him. My, yeah. my, my golden <laughs> kid, like, there's nothing I can say bad about the guy. I've always prayed. I've never seen it. It's probably not. I've always hoped he had a small dick. No idea if he does. But he's like, not, he's not only, it Some sounds like I'm in love with wrong. this guy. I'm not in love with this guy. Okay, everyone knows it from our school. He's good. He's the only kid that went to, like, a really good school. He's a doctor Everyone now. Everyone knows I don't He's, actually love yeah. him. <laughs> he was the captain of the soccer team, you know. He was, in worst of all, really nice guy. His parents, super nice. And they're like sleeper mm. millionaires. Like the only people in our town that are like wealthy. Cause, and he was the guy that like got me through the two mile. Because he like sacrificed his own time one time to like stay behind me and tell me stories. And then the final stretch, he was like physically pushing me. And I was gagging the whole time, like the whole last stretch. I'm like, uh, uh, like just dry heaving. And I made it through. And he, him. Was, and he was spinning yarn while he, you were. Yeah, struggling. no, he was like walking, like he was fucking walking. I'm like, like, can you just be an asshole? It'll make me feel so much better about like, what, like, what don't you have? Now he's got like the oddest girlfriend ever. He's so cool. I saw him at the bars a couple months ago. He's doing great. Except for that he lives in Indianapolis. If you can take that as a bad thing. Yeah. And uh, just like a. He's like a philanthropist or something. He's just now. like a millionaire in Indianapolis. Like a, His life probably like sucks. A, yeah. I did get to see him get really drunk when I went out with him, which was nice. I'm like, he's human. Because he yeah. got to the point of drunk where he's like, <laughs> I was like, I'm not even that drunk. So I can. Yeah. He does that. yeah. That I'm also a little eyes, taller just, than him. So he doesn't have it all. You are pretty tall. Surprisingly not, tall. Not, yeah. Don't don't blow my. Good job. <laughs> yeah. If, if Thanks, it makes you feel too. any better. That <laughs> <laughs> we're all pretty tall here. It's a pretty we're tall pretty podcast, tall. Yeah. dude. Honestly, we've lucked out. There hasn't been any short freaks among yeah, us because it'd make me uncomfortable. It would. It would. Like we, <laughs> I've made fun of lettuce being so small, and then I realize he's not small. He's just wide. He's just like he's a, pretty yeah, short. He's, he's like small. five four, five three. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's what I keep saying on my stream because he's pissing me <laughs> off getting into Twitch rivals. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's also he is older than I thought Five, he was. Five three recently. forty, yeah. four hundred pound bench. Bear, have like you that. seen that guy walk up a flight of stairs? He's big. He's got no cardio in his body. <laughs> <laughs> Rolls up his beard. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's got. Uh, I mean, all I'd have to do is hit him in the back of the head with a bat and run. And what is he going to do? What's all that working out done for him? You know, so I got, I got a little bit of car. I ride a bike. You know, I don't know what he's got, but. God. Uh, yeah, he's got he's a better mustache. Several times, like the way the way he works out is so unhealthy. Every like, time he mentions, he is very upfront about like, oh, I am not a healthy person. Like I am, <laughs> I am bad. I've got I'm just meat and bones. Like I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna live till forty. I'm like, okay, man. Like that's horrible. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> I'm big, but I am not healthy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, you seem like, healthy he's, enough. Like he's got to be at least a baseline above. I don't know, probably not. All those pills he takes to get boners and stuff. and Yeah. 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 That weird stuff sand, like that. And that how short sheets. he is. Short people yeah. don't live that long. Or actually, they live longer. <laughs> they live a lot longer. they live longer. I mean, yeah. well, but not out. him, He'll though. A, not him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's lucky his heart's so tiny or so <laughs> compact or whatever short people have, what benefit they have. Less yeah. circulation yeah. to well, go around. Well, then he has ruined it something. by becoming so wide because now his circulation's yeah. working horizontal which isn't good for the body i'd imagine that's not I'm good not a yeah, doctor. i'd have to ask gravity. the golden kid of my school he's a doctor i'd have to ask him what he thinks <laughs> <Of> <laughs> show him a picture a of lettuce doctor. how old will he live <laughs> yeah how old will Is he this be guy healthy the way he works out i do no that's horrible i was gonna say i do wonder if this golden kid you could just have a brain aneurysm or something you know it could be okay that's some, a little yeah a little a little much. Much. i wouldn't wish that on he's actually a really good friend he's a really nice guy Jesus. <laughs> but he could happen. It could happen to anyone. Probably you people know, like that more. Uh, you know, you were talking about how you would just do like the blocks when you, when you were like doing your track. Yeah. Uh, so I remember we had like this like three month unit or something like that. A very long time in like gym class, like in early high school where like it, it, we just went to like the weight room like the 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 school gym or whatever where like the team sports teams would like work out and stuff yeah they just shoved us in there with no direction no anything to do they do that and i remember That's i didn't stupid. i like did not want to spend time in there and participate and i wanted to participate as little as possible 
Classic. So I literally just did bicep curls in the corner <laughs> for like four months straight. And all of a sudden I like looked at my arms. I was like, ah, my, God. Like, my biceps were fucking huge. <laughs> I was like a skinny little kid with huge biceps. Like SpongeBob so... and the muscle, <laughs> yeah. uh, arm muscles literally, walk around on your like... fucking knuckles. <laughs> it was so fucked up. Yeah, that's really sweet. Funny. Uh, you know, I got out of it. I did yoga for three years in high school because you could do gym or yoga. So me and one of my friends just found out, like, you can take yoga. And then it's like us and a bunch of chicks and our te the yoga teacher, she had her own whole drama going on. She was getting her, her husband was the athletic director. He was cheating on her with a volleyball coach or something. There was a lot of she was frazzled and she was pregnant and. You know, very easy to just be like, you mind if we go play tennis? She'd be like, ah, like, I don't care. I don't care. Mm -hmm. So we took yoga for three years and I can't touch my toes because I didn't even do yoga. I can't either. I would just go out and be like, can we go to play tennis? And she'd be like, yeah, it's fine. And we just go play tennis. And it was like the best. It was the easiest. But the gym teacher very quickly caught on and he never, you know, he's like a fucking meathead. I've talked to him about He's like, you know, you got a teacher, you're kind of like. You got like that, like Ferris Bueller teacher. Like you got that dynamic where you're enemies, but it's weird because you're a child and they're a teacher. I had yeah. that with the gym teacher who was also the wrestling coach. Where like he just hated me. He hated my guts for the entirety of high school. Hated my stepdad who was a teacher there. Probably through proxy, two hot daughters he had. I was friends with both of them. I probably pissed him off more. His wife loved me, but like we butted heads all the time. And I mean, probably rightly so. I was like. I was kind of a dick, but he's like the only teacher that's ever had like full on tantrums where they're like screaming at me. He was also like a roid rage dude, so he got he got flustered quickly, he beat red in a heartbeat. But there's several instances where he was like full on screaming at me, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and but like this You're guy could boy. literally just like I wasn't even a bad boy. I was just like being obnoxious and being like, is this guy really yelling at me right now about like like skipping out on yoga to skip out on weightlifting? Like one time, he he called me. He was like, "You are the most sarcastic kid I've ever known in my life. You're the biggest <laughs> smart ass in the world." I was like, "Really? Like I'm the biggest, oh, that's like, how you? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm oh, I'm like, really? I'm like, I really? Well, actually, I'm sure, yeah." yeah. yeah. And he's like, yeah. ah! <laughs> "Like he just wanted to hit me. I could tell. Like this guy just wanted to fucking punch. Through. He could, he could, he could punch right through my heart." And that probably frustrated him because he knew, like, I could rip this kid's head off, like, yeah. very easily. Yeah. I can't because rules. And, yeah, like, one time I went, I was like, can I use your weight room instead of going to yoga? Because the teacher's like, you can't play tennis. I'm like, well, I'll go to the weight room and just jerk off in there. <laughs> and at the end of it, I was like, thank you for letting me use your dojo, sensei. And he blew up about that. He's like, you're the most disrespectful, <laughs> like, maggot in the world. I'm like, dude, chill out. Like, And I'd, like, go to his house every once in a while. Like, hey. <laughs> he did not like me. He did not like me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he, he was just so scary, dude. He honestly is like kind of, he's freaky, but I had just known him since I was like a little kid. Wait, so, like, so he went like, vote, like when you were there outside of school hours, he wouldn't say anything to you? Like, he not would not clock, talk like? to me. <laughs> But he, he would, would just sit there and his yeah. be like, yeah, Chris he, Farley he would be like, why did you guys <laughs> have this guy over? But yeah, he would that, be like, <laughs> get out of my home, get out of my home. No, like, I think he, he's human enough to realize that'd be weird. Oh. But, yeah. He also like famous, he like blew up on my stepdad. who was the art teacher once. My stepdad is like such a fucking teacher that he was like, do you really think that's like appropriate to blow up on another teacher because of a simple question like blah 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 <laughs> and the teacher's like i'm sorry and he's like don't apologize now like i want you to come to my classroom and apologize to me and it's like a fucking it's like a golden age of this douchebag that just rules the school with an iron fist from like oh, i've got a small cock and i'm just a gym teacher and like i gotta get my shit out he had to go to my stepdad's room and he ended up crying <laughs> while apologizing my stepdad's like, I don't accept. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> like, I don't think that helped like my standing with him because I'm like, I don't even really talk to my stepdad, man. Like, we're not yeah. close. But he just was further like, this is a rotten family. A bunch of rotten <laughs> eggs. Uh, it honestly, it seems like it's earned because you have those goddamn horses that are released yeah. upon the town and like that the was pig when I was really young. That We've breaks that into settled. people's houses. No, and... It was before I was even really around, <laughs> like cognitively around. 
Yeah, but it's an. But we're also thing. like you know we're we do a lot for the community and stuff. People should appreciate. Did Not you me. guys have that that uh, milestone like benchmark thing where you had to be able to run a mile in a certain amount of time? Yes. Yeah. And I could gym. never do it, dude. I would sit there and bust my ass. They were like, no, wait, you was yours be able a to... set time or was yeah. it improve upon your last time?" It That's was like a big a, difference. I think it was like if you don't get this time, you need to work on it. Okay. And and it was it, they basically wanted you to be able to do like whatever it is. I think you're supposed to be able to walk like a like three miles per hour and like whatever that is it's not, it broken down for one mile. Yeah. It, sh- it shouldn't be hard. Right. Like a I would a do- mile or something. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, I would like, I would like jog it. Like I'd be busting my ass and I would, at the end of it, I would be basically, it would be like a 17 minute mile. Oh my or God. Some shit. It was so long. Same with me too. Yeah. I, could never do that shit. Like, I'm curious if oh. I could be better at it now, though. Well, you said I, you haven't lost a foot race, and now I'm curious. Yeah. Like, well, I haven't I'm very ever fast ran, so in a burst. I, I bet. Yeah, I, I I'm good like in I short distances. I feel like I could beat you. you. I don't think you I'll could. I'll race you yeah, anytime, Absolutely, anytime. I'd love to when watch. you look I, at I me, will, do you I think fast guy? Film, <laughs> I will time and film that race. I run like Tom Cruise. I go like this, and I just go. <laughs> Damn. That's sweet. I you just so like, there's a fucking steam. bomb it's 20 you're, feet you're behind so, me. You're so, like, like, you're so, like, tall and thin. Like, I feel like, I'm yeah, you weirdly fast. The, you yeah. glide. For a short distance. You wear yeah, one of those sleeked back helmets with a fucking fin on it, and you just... Power sprint. Yeah. Honestly, I bet that is kind of where it started with that teacher in seventh grade. He was he followed us into high school, but he was my seventh grade gym teacher. And the first time, you know, you're in sixth grade, you're a child. In seventh yeah. grade, I mean, I'm still a child. But they were like, you guys got to do a mile, we'll time you. And then the rest of the year, you have to keep improving your mile time. And that bases your grade. And the first mile, like, I just genuinely didn't get, like, you should be trying. So I walked the entire thing just talking to a friend. And I got like a 17-minute mile. And then yeah. the next mile, I was like, oh, this is going to be easy, but I'm not going to make it too easy. So then I got like a 15-minute mile, and then like a 13-minute mile, and then like an 11-minute mile. So I was just getting A's every time because I started on such a uh, low we, baseline. We, like, we had to hit like a nine-minute my like a nine yeah, we didn't have like boys, a set time like 11 something for the girls or something like that uh, and i could never do it yeah <laughs> like, that's, that would do it. I, there's like, no way i could have life been i couldn't run high. a mile without walking a little bit i don't know if it's because i was just like bad at running out of shape because i was like a little i was actually in great shape probably for me because i was skateboarding like all the time I don't know if it was like my heart thing that I had or like, I don't know what, but like, it wouldn't help. I'm curious to know. I'm going to report back. I'm going to try and yeah. do some running. I think you my guys fastest run? mile no, ever was a six biking, something, but like 650 or something. Like, not great. Yeah. It's like seven's kind of the average. I mean, I, I guess my best ever for two mile was 15 minutes. But you know what my problem was? Is I, I got the initial like, I did the, the do the mile thing, and then if I was to improve every year, the problem was when they started doing that, my mom had, had recently gotten divorced, and so it was it a really lot for her. Your running. No, it was a lot for her to, like, uh, you know, like, get the kids up and everything by herself and, like, cook breakfast yeah. and all this, and so she got this thing. There, there was this <clears> dude <throat> called the Schwan Man. And he drove a big refrigerator the truck. the big yellow truck. Yeah, yeah. the big yellow truck. Schwan's kid. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, uh, God, I used to love Chicken Schwann's. patties, fucking He'd always ice come cream, up to yeah. my, uh, my grandma's place too. And then he ran over the corner the of their driveway and broke the corner of the driveway. And my grandpa ran him off. He was like, don't ever come back here again. You fucked up my driveway oh. with your big refrigerator truck. And I was like, the, the Flintstones push pops. No. Yeah, they had some good ice cream options. Yeah, they did. But, but God, my mom would give me this. Sucked. She would get me these like breakfast trays that had. Uh, you take like the little the little saran wrap off the top, and inside there uh, was like three pancakes, some sausage links, and some other like uh, there was like a breakfast dessert bullshit that, that came. That was with an it. option, man. What yeah. the hell's getting shitted on, dude? What the hell? <laughs> but like, in order for it to be microwaved and it not like the pancakes not dry out and everything, everything was just fucking coated in butter. They had like a quarter stick of butter oh, in there. Oh god! And so Sounds every morning I would microwave breakfast. one of those, and I would eat that for breakfast. 
Uh, and yeah, I got so fucking fat from like fifth yeah. grade to eighth grade. It was uh, horrific. I was, I don't think like, my, that was before I got tall. So like Abby started dating me in seventh wide. grade yeah. and I just, I was just one of those insanely fat middle schoolers. Dude, I, I don't I think my body knew what was going on. Cause I go to my mom. So it's like health food, blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, yeah. get your Schwann's chicken veggie patty. I go to my dad's and it's like kid cuisine. Patty? It'd be like it'd be like pizza rolls and kid cuisine. I'd just be like, wah, 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 like scarfed down a little macaroni, a little brownie that they came with, and like candy bars and shit. And I go to my mom. I never had like a stasis point. I think it, honestly, as much as I'm like, I hated how my mom made me eat. Like it has carried over. I don't know if it's it's overall a good thing for my health, but like I have a really hard time now eating junk food. Where like I still don't eat great, but like. I've got that like guilt built into my body. Oh no! I, I felt I, at the restaurant. I ordered a uh, like a fish sandwich, and they're like, "Do you want that blackened or fried?" I was like, "Fried," and you were like, uh. yeah, I, "Yeah." My mom comes out a little bit. Probably. Yeah, you were like, "Do you need that fried?" I was like, "No, I don't. I'm on vacation. Yeah, Fuck you. I'm gonna eat like this a, fried, and I'm gonna like love an it." Eating disorder or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Classic mom shit. You know, it's just yeah. whatever. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get my like, calories Jesus from Christ, my I beer. I left the wife at home. Uh, like, yeah. I need this, dude. So your third Shirley Temple? Are you sure <laughs> yeah. about that? Yeah. Oh, is he drinking Shirley Temples again? <laughs> he drinks something like it had alcohol in it, but it was like, what you, you got? We got some fancy little cocktails at that place that. Uh, but, that, it was right before no, was, we went like, to Crater it was like some Clash. sort of it was some sort of like lemonade bullshit. Yeah, it was. I got like a blueberry one that was pretty good. Yeah. Both times we were together at a bar, Sam, I had to order you a Shirley Temple. Okay, yeah. Shirley and Temple's the raw, like, On the hiking trip, it's like the first thing you got at a restaurant. I'm like, I did not even know people ordered that. I thought that was like a joke. Yeah, I was yeah. like, Dude, I yeah. love it because Bizzle will hang with me every time. Too. He's like, I also want a Shirley <laughs> Temple. Yeah. Make yeah. two. Yeah. Make it two. Make them fancy. Extra virgin. Rocks. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no. I don't get alcohol in them. Apple teeny. Light on the teeny. Yeah. It's from Scrubs. That's what he always ordered when I was a kid. I'm like, that's the coolest drink ever. And now I'm like, that was a joke. I get that now. Oh, that I was so a- pissed off. I found out a Mai Tai is the drink that looks like a jungle, like a Carmen Miranda oh. hat. And uh, and I ordered one, and they just gave me just the fucking paper umbrella. And I'm like, I'm, I oh, felt I like holding up the menu yeah. and being like, dude, I can see right here you got this little bamboo thing sticking it's out. Supposed to be serving a big tiki cop. With um, a, right, yeah, yeah, all that. And, supposed to be uh, on fire, man. What the it was, fuck? It was bullshit, yeah. I do love, like, as much as I just prefer beer, like, I'll buy a frilly little cocktail anywhere if, you know, it looks good. Yeah, I, I don't give a shit. I'll drink whatever. But it's like the hangovers. If you get drunk off those... Like yeah, anything too yeah, You don't drink more than one into or two. Like, well, see, well, that's uh, why I'm called a binge drinker. Those people that drinker, just drink like so back to back to back margaritas, it's like, dude, that's yeah. just like eating like like 150 Skittles in one sitting. That's like so <laughs> yeah. much sugar. Like, what the yeah. hell that's are you what doing? fucks you up the yeah. next day mostly. Like, <laughs> yeah. then the yeah, alcohol. You drink like one margarita sugar. or something. I've been to like a sugar and factory. Then you switch to beer yeah. or something, yeah. which is also <laughs> terrible. I don't know. I get so I, I well no like liquor before beer, you're in the clear. So, but yep. beer before liquor but if never it's been too much sicker. sugar. You wake yeah. up, you feel like a booger or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, nothing good. Red s- sky at night, you know what they say. So, <laughs> I love those little adages, little sayings. Yeah, they're There's telling. These little them. exceptions that are like huge. <laughs> but if there is a blue streak, my yeah. God. If in that sky you see a purple lightning flash, you are dead. Yeah, there's always something that gets you. No, I was like, because. Yeah, what are you like, talking what? about? No, no, <laughs> like, like, uh, especially like in, like in English, like I before E except after C, like all those type. Oh, things. you mean like, like literal like grammar ones? Yeah. Yeah, like little grammar limericks to like remember rules and what have you. I, God, I always. I'm really bad with the effort. Oh wait, no, not effort. Um. What is it? The E and A word. God, I can't remember. Effect and effect. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And there's like a little saying for it. I never fucking remember it. I never so. remember that shit. My I kid's can get starting it right to like 90% spell of the time, but and I have to like, she, she's sounding it out. She is sounding out words, and she's like, "This is how you spell like whatever that word is." I'm like, "That's right." 
except for actually in English, it's all <laughs> fucked up, and there's a bunch of silent letters oh, in sorry. here. English knife is so has a K hard. at the beginning of it, and she's like, yeah. "What the fuck are you talking about?" <laughs> It's like English it's so is super hard to learn as it's a second so yeah, language. I'm glad it was my first language. Makes no sense. Yeah. yeah. I That's wish cool. I had. You're gonna a get second. to do. Sorry. No. You, you get to do homework again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're yeah. gonna get to see how stupid you yeah. are. I'm gonna feel fucking smart for like the first three years. For a little. You know, bit. Yeah. For a little bit. As soon as it's junior high, maybe fifth grade, you're gonna be like, oh fuck. Shit. <laughs> like. They're getting you have basic to, like, algebra. Critically <sighs> read like a paragraph about yeah. something and yeah. like figure out what it's about oh, yeah nice. abby's back in school for something and she's taking algebra and i was looking at her homework and i was just like dude i am <laughs> my mind is gone from this like <laughs> yeah. i cannot i can't even comprehend the math that's going on over well, there you dropped out I haven't... in what fourth grade yeah so yeah. didn't even finish middle school <laughs> tough man i mean it's tough well, when you knock up someone in middle school, you can't, you can't. Yeah, stay there, yeah, so. you gotta, you gotta drop out. And then you give that one factory. away, and then yeah. a couple years later, <laughs> yeah. you're actually ready. Yep. And then that one comes on your, the original one comes on your podcast one day as a guest, and then stays around as a co-host. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I named him after me, so because <laughs> he's my boy, and I'll always be proud <laughs> of him. Like here. I feel like I'm yeah. getting something. Yeah. <laughs> Not Sorry, that aqua, kind of relationship. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not that what kind. Were you, you were saying something, this, Aqua? This is news to me. What yeah, were you I saying? Wasn't, I wasn't saying you anything. Yeah, I, I actually found my long lost son through you on Rust. <laughs> I yeah. forgot to, <laughs> you walked yeah. up to me. I like, lost what's him in 2016. <laughs> I had a child in 2012 named <laughs> Sam. Oh, my God. This could be him. What is, how old is he? <laughs> Four years old. The, Wait, honestly, honestly like, Rust village what, what year were you born? Me? Yeah. 1998. Oh. I could be your father. No. no. Actually, no, I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> if you were no. born in like the mid 2000s, maybe. Yeah, but yeah, I was Like five years <laughs> yeah. later. Although, well, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It took me a while to. For that time, for that how to fake, use any equipment. Yeah. Oh, really? I learned instantly. I had an older brother. I was like, mm. yeah. I was a shameful, <laughs> awful uncle. little boy. I I an uncle and an older yeah. brother. Uncles, so. older brothers. I learned what coming was yeah. pretty young. <laughs> pretty yep. young. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I, I was a weapon. I <laughs> walked around very uncomfortable for a long time. I was too scared to figure out what would happen. Yeah, I was, was right there with good. you. Fear I ruled my life. I was a shameful, fearful little I'm a very, boy. <laughs> I grew up in a very modest fearless. family, too. So it's it fearless. Fearless. Yeah. And my older brother was like, for you. had paved through all those paths, but didn't wasn't like, I'm your older brother. I'm going to teach you the rights and wrongs. He's like, don't come in my room. <laughs> don't jerk off in here. Go fuck off. Fuck around. <laughs> So Sam I didn't really. No, no. Advantage. Like my brother didn't like physically show me. It was just he, like, like held it for you. No, I'd be using the computer playing Diablo or something, and he would be like, "Get the fuck off the computer, mom's not home," and I'm fucking jacking off. And yeah, see, my like, brother, <laughs> we we are all too. He'd pull weird up his and porn private, and then look uh, at me and go, yeah. "Leave." <laughs> and I'd be like, all also, right. how much older is your older brother? <laughs> He's five years older. Yeah, I guess that's close. My older brother's seven years older, but like those two years, they really. That gap, is, no, no, no. Five year difference is insane. Like me and my brother had nothing in common, and he, and it, it was such an insane gap of time that he was just like, I don't want this fucking little nerd around me. Yeah, and also, you sucked. Uh, like, see, the bad yeah. part for my older brother is I rocked, and oh. he was like, I should bring this kid around, but he's just too young. So I can't. Yeah, it's what I imagine. He never has said this, but I imagine he was always <laughs> like, but I loved him. Hundred percent. I always loved him and respected him. He was really cool, but I just couldn't bring him around. Hmm. You know what my dad said to me <laughs> recently? Ooh. I was like, I found all these like old Itch. like videos because like I would film everything That's, when I was I'm a kid on those like mini DV tapes. Yeah, I've got tons I've of got no like even pictures of me as a little kid. I feel like yeah, a lot of them are like fucked up in terms of the audio. Oh. Like the tapes just like <laughs> the decayed content. a little bit. Yeah, my content, but <laughs> it's like showing Get, them to my dad. Like the digital, Convert and he was it. like, "Man, you were like." 
I didn't like you so much back then. Oh <laughs> you God. were like a weird, annoying little kid. And Jeez. I was like, he's like, you're much better now. And I was like, oh, <laughs> thanks, Dad. I thought you like always loved me and thought yeah. I was cool my whole life. Just like but... <laughs> unconditional love, like, I thought is what we had. Yeah, he's like, I didn't really like you back then. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh. oh there there I'm is sorry, phases man. that your, your kid goes through, no, I feel like, where you, you think they suck and you don't want to tell them that they suck. But My dad would never say that to me. We have an really? awesome relationship. I bet oh, you, you if I called have, him my you dad don't have and I said, tapes. like, <laughs> okay, I, I don't did. have these tapes that prove it. But, <laughs> yeah. you know, my dad and I have always been like more friend relationship than parent, son. Mm. Same. So, yeah, it's honestly. Cool. It's cool for us. But as a friend, you know, yeah, like yeah, that's my even worse. Friend. Yeah. I, yeah. You were bad You weren't my guy. son. Yeah. You were bad you were friend. a bad friend. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I never want to tell you this, but you were really, I mean, really bad you friend. You were a really bad like son. You were always yeah. a good yeah. son, but you were a horrific friend. Yeah. No <laughs> common interests. <laughs> no. <laughs> never want to go to titty bar. Nope. Always wanted to play with fucking Legos. No double dates when you're five. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing cool. No cocaine yeah. <laughs> <laughs> before dinner. <laughs> yeah. No nummies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nummy jitteries, yeah. My dad's developed like a really late in life like weed addiction problem. <laughs> yeah. He's like really he's got like a medical card and everything. My dad yeah. is and he's just like <laughs> similar. <laughs> It's like him. He's like me at like seventeen, but he's like sixty. I mean, 66 isn't that years old. funny when you're like talking to them and they're like, "Oh, be careful!" Like, this is a big hit. Like my my dad. Whoa. Like I don't know. He started listening to too much Joe Rogan or something, and now he's like he's all in, but he still gets drug tested every once in a while. So he has to be careful. But it was funny the first time in college, or maybe it was post college, where like I went to a family event. and He's like, "Hey, do you want a gummy?" I was like like candy he's like no like thc gummy it's like what the fuck is going on like instantly i'm like our relationship has just shifted from like child adult to like uh these guys offering me weed and then anytime we'd smoke he'd be like now be careful like one hit off this little one he like this is gonna get you pretty fried i'm like <laughs> like you got more you got some more of that like i'm gonna need about 15 of these dad like <laughs> crush it up i had to be like really subtle at first be like yeah i'm pretty high and then, like, when he go to bed, I'd pull it back out and be like, because <laughs> I'm like, I, how do I tell this guy I've been smoking weed every day for the past four years? Like, I, they, no one knows this. Like, I can't really, I don't want to rip that Band-Aid off yet, so I'll wait till I'm a little older. But, yeah, it was. Oh, really? It was fun. Well, in the college, the jester, oh, okay. uh, you know, if he got me I love the, I love on a fucking yeah. beer can, like, because, like I said, a lot of my friends started in elementary junior high and then a lot of you know the rest caught up in like high school a lot of people were smoking and drinking but i was like a pretty good like goody goody two shoes because my older brother was like went through the whole regimen you know he had some big ones so i was like yeah i'll play cool and then in college it's like it finally hit and i like i always knew like i wasn't against it like for a lot of re i was like i know once i start like i'm I just have an addictive personality. Like, I'm just going to be smoking all the time. And I finally, like, they broke me down and got me high. And I went and sat on my washing machine and closed the closet. And I put on my headphones. And for, like, four months there, we'd go to parties. I'd bring my noise-canceling headphones. It's, like, so autistic. <laughs> I'd, like, someone would have weed. I'd be like, can I hit that? And I'd take my headphones. I'd just leave. And I'd just be like, it was, like, those first highs. So I'm, like, on another That's fucking sweet. planet, yeah. like, listening to music. And just like, uh, oh. What would you like, listen to? What was your go-to? In college, I've gone through so many. I Dude. don't know at that time, honestly, probably a, like some similar rap to what I listen to now. But maybe I'd be like, maybe now I'll understand Steely Dan or Yellow, <laughs> and like I'll put yeah. that on. I'd be like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> this shit goes crazy. <laughs> and yeah, like Jimmy I was Hendrix listening rocks. to Cashmere. <laughs> I'd listen to Cashmere by Led Zeppelin. And yeah. I'd just be like, oh. Like it's an epic guys song. Are on to something, yeah. These <laughs> yeah. twelve-minute jam sessions. <laughs> this must have been recently for you, though, Sam. Yes, right? yeah, yeah. Very recently. I was, I was yeah. actually just talking to Steve about this. Like, he's like, you guys used to mock me openly when I was a teenager because I would smoke and stuff and drink and and because I yeah. was always just like a straight that edge shit ain't kid. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I was like, this body's a temple, you know. Yeah. I just eat constant fast food and shit. <laughs> yeah, and um. <laughs> Yeah, and then I had kids and a wife. And you're like, I need to get high. I'm going to fucking kill myself. I have yeah. to. I, I, without it, I'm nothing. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Z-Chum is like going through a very like 16 year old weed yeah. park right yeah. now. I remember <laughs> trying to smoke with him before and he's like, I get too paranoid. Yeah, well, no, I'll grow it. Like, <laughs> and now it's like, well, you keep growing it. You're going to start smoking it <laughs> at some point. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. He's gotten very like it's so funny all the like classic cliche trope things he's like going through and discovering. <laughs> he, like message me like I got high and watched like Willy Wonka. Or yeah, have you like heard that. of Studio he's Ghibli, like, man? This shit's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like you're Dude, literally I've just me. Seen that that's on, they have like a uh, Studio Ghibli like section on uh on HBO. HBO. Yes. Yeah, it's been there and for a while. It's I am going rocks. to tear through that. They so even hard. have like ambient like I used to put that on, but I'm like, that's definitely copyright. They have like a calcifer fire. From House Moving Castle, where it's like one of these, but he's in it. And they have yeah. like ambient Studio Ghibli nature loop that oh. rocks, like just great throw on your TV or like you're at I've a seen party. The or compilations something. of like Studio Ghibli food compilation. It's like 40 minutes of just people cooking. And yeah. Yeah. No, they've got like a great like nature loop. And it's just like train going through water, birds, flats. Like, oh, yeah. If you, I can't even get that high anymore. And it sucks because. Now it's like I'll take it to like when I got my wisdom teeth out, I'm like, I can't smoke for a week. I made about four days and I'm like, I got to smoke. Like, I don't care if I get dry socket. And that first time, like now it sucks because when I, I get too high, I'm not like, whoa, I'm like, I'm going to order DoorDash and go puff at the same time and eat till I'm like physically ill. <laughs> yeah. And then I just eat and then I green out on my couch to the point where I'm like, I don't know what movies I watched. Because I eat so much, I, like, went into a coma. And, like, it's the only time I ever fall asleep on this. Like, I'll wake up at, like, 5 a.m. and be like, Ugh! And it's like, uh, for a week, my belly's, like, out to here. And I'm just like, Ugh! It's disgusting. It's awful. It's, it's, I've got no control with food when I get really high. I eat, I eat like that normally sometimes. Like, I did tonight. I, <laughs> I, I, go, I, on, I like... go on a mission. I sit there and creep out of my office up the stairs which is near the kid's bedroom, so I have to be really quiet. And I go and I, I have this one little light that shines down onto the pantry. And I turn it on <laughs> in the kitchen. Oh, oh, angels and I go sing. In the pantry, we have a shelf that's just for, like, kids' snacks for, like, the girls. And, yeah, I'll tear up all their... Or those things called the the little uh, applesauce go packets and stuff, and I know you eat them like a like a talking go go squeeze. Go go squeeze. He I got eats one those left. just as a snack, but I think of them as like little. I've talked things. to you know I've, I I've definitely told you about that in high school. My there was a period where like I don't know my parents never packed my lunch, and then I hated school lunch, so I just like yeah. wouldn't eat lunch a lot of times. Like I just couldn't eat the chicken. I'm just like a I'm not a picky eater, but I'm like. I know, you know, it's a champagne taste with that beer bunch. I'd be like, no way. I'm not eating this fucking Uncrustable. Like, uh, I ate one where it was frozen in the middle. I'm God, like, I'm I good. I love that shit. I hated them. And my stepmom, when she came around, she's like the most adult person I've ever had in my life. And she'd be like, when you stay with us, like, I can pack your lunch and I pack your stepsister and your brothers. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> and she used Food to throw a go-go squeeze in there. But when I get to school, I just had a little plastic bag with it in it. And I was so humiliated that one time I got a spoon and I'd go in the bag and squeeze it in, pull it out, <laughs> squeeze it in, pull it out. And one of my friends is like, what the fuck are you doing? And I was like, nothing, nothing. And he ripped, like, what's in there? And they pulled out the go-go squeeze and everyone's like, oh, like this dude's eating go-go squeeze. I'm like, it's not just for babies. It's not just for babies. And like... A couple months ago, I saw it at the grocery store. I'm like, I'm a fucking full grown man. Like, I can eat what I want. Yeah. And it still definitely is for maybe babies, but it's a very convenient way to eat. Because when I was a kid, I'd get a six pack of Mott's. I just house the whole thing, just <laughs> lick it all up. And I'm like, oh, I'm sick. I, get, I always diarrhea. Yeah, diarrhea. Diarrhea. I'm diarrhea. I eat an ass. entire bag of grapes. I just, I love grapes and applesauce. My grandma always had them, so I'd go over there, <laughs> eat six cinnamon mots and a fucking bushel of grapes, and then just like, oh, poof, shoot out your asshole. And then yeah. like now it's like, I'm a man, you know. If I want to eat, a, if I want to indulge in a little go go squeeze, I wish they were bigger. I wish they were like this, like fucking huge. 
but they're I pretty fucking cool. in like super concerned because like my mom knows about all this now and she's like oh i've mm. seen i've seen episodes and like so she good. doesn't say anything specifically but you can tell i think spit everywhere randomly um you can tell she's just like what the fuck are you doing out there but <laughs> and i don't want to disparage her parenting or anything but she watches my brother's kids and you i talked just talked about her yeah i've smacking uh, them around a little uh Oh yeah, she did do that. And fucking she did do that funny thing. Where she, she, she started to fall with with my youngest nephew and put him out. <laughs> yes, put him out and used his body to s- obliterate a side table, <laughs> and it, it fucking it completely just destroyed this well, side. Kid, table. Honestly, though, a kid would be fine. She'd probably break every bone. Yeah, she so would. Uh, yeah. So uh, and, and I and my brother called me and told me about it and I was like, no, nah, surely he's like exaggerating because he does that. And I went over there a couple days later and sure as shit, there was just a deassembled <laughs> side table like in the on the living room floor, <laughs> like they're trying print to, through the fucking. Yeah, they're trying to piece it together. No, but like uh, hair she was, on it. Like, they're, they're trying to potty blood. train. <laughs> blood Skin. and like scalp yeah. pieces on it. God. They're trying to uh, potty train uh, the oldest yeah. one, and uh, my brother has told me many times, he's like, every time I pick those fucking kids up, dude, they have diarrhea every time. And I've gone over there and I've watched. And when you give kids juice, juice is horrific. It's like regular. Like, it's like I never liked juice as a kid, which is weird. Yeah, it's like soda, but without the carbonation. Like, it's so much sugar and everything. It's bad for you. But at least fruits and stuff has the fiber. But they, they would just... She just gives them giant cups of just apple juice all Drink the time. Drink your Sunny D. Shut up. No, no <laughs> water mixed in it or nothing. It's just straight up apple juice. And those kids will drink like she'll go through and like even a, cut it with water. I've never heard yeah. of cutting it with water. No, yeah, you're, for like little kids, you're supposed to cut oh. that shit with with water. That's awesome. Yeah, but anyway, so she Funny. basically like a whole half gallon in a day for like two <laughs> little kids, and these kids are like under the age of like four. Like they're they're young. Oh, and shit, uh, yeah. and and my brother's like, yo, I'll get them back, and they'll just be shitting like just liquid for yeah. you know a day until they get over it. And are they body trained to, or they're trying to? They're trying to body train right okay. now. And my mom was telling me she's like, I I fucking gave up today. I gave up because I was a uh, you know I I put him on the potty to to poop and stuff, and he just runs around. And I don't know why, but this kid never has a solid shit around me. And he's just <laughs> spraying diarrhea on the floor, running down the hallway. God, gross. And then, and then she has mentioned multiple times. She's like, why Like, why don't I get to watch your kids? I was like, dude, okay. it's nothing but horror stories yeah, over there. Every time, he's just yeah. Diarrhea, slip and slides in the hallway, fucking <laughs> using kids <laughs> to batter tables and break them open and shit. No, my parents are no, the I'm potty train. That, man. Put a rubber band twist up a couple times around your penis and your balls to seal it up, and then a cork in your butt. And then only when they have to pee, then they take it all off. They take you. They take you in there. Kinda, yeah. yeah. My take parents actually off. took my really long penis and just poked it in my asshole. Well, so that's it's a closed see, system. See, I, I almost had no penis. They thought I was a little girl for a long time. So originally, my name was Samantha, and that was. Uh, yeah, you know, I my brother that. was actually so fat as a kid. That my mom brought him to the doctor and was like, something's up with his cock. Because <laughs> his cock is so small. And That's then the awesome. doctor, the doctor like pushed on his fat uh. pad. And she's like, it's not small. He's just, his dick's covered in fat. <laughs> and she pushed down on his fat pad. And she's like, look, it's like a stick in the mud. Oh, he's and got she like goes, a seven inch dick down yeah. here. You get past all the but, fat. Yeah. Past all the fat, yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with this kid's dick? Yeah. I don't know. But I wonder, yeah, so, I anyways, my brother's woman, probably gonna listen to this and yeah. punch me in the gut yeah, next time he sees like me. That. Yeah. How's this woman that's horribly mishandling your nephews? I wonder. She couldn't be the same person that raised you guys to be little fat monsters. One of the same. You guys were probably drinking straight and uncut apple juice all the time. We, yeah, it went, childhood was weird. You don't realize how weird your childhood was until you start raising until kids. You're an and then, adult. No, yeah. Until you start raising kids. Never mind. I guess yeah. I got a couple of years until I realized. Oh, because you like handle situations and then you go, like, how did my parents handle them? Yeah. Uh, oh, God. My mom <laughs> used to give me so much chocolate. Oh, right. It was like Augustus Gloop. <laughs> like, Jesus it's, Christ. I wasn't like overweight or anything, but I ate a lot of fucking chocolate growing up. Uh, like an obscene amount. That's weird. 
Yeah. The only chocolate I could <laughs> ever have fuck, was Robin? like the richest dark chocolate where I'd eat it and be like, this sucks. Have some chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> I'd eat it and be like, oh, I, made I, for I like don't baking? like chocolate. Yeah. Or just like no. just some pretentious health chocolate where it's like, this is good for you. I eat a little bit of this with some red wine. You're fine. No, it would be like, you know, she'd make like pancakes on the weekend, chocolate pancakes. Uh, dude, that is like. Make me like much. a chocolate no. milkshake to go with it. Yeah. She was like trying to like get me to gain weight because I was like a skinny kid yeah. and like I guess I like chocolate, so it turned into a lot of fucking chocolate. I, I was a Let fat little kid, but then not. Uh, I was just born fat up. though. I was born like a chunky little, beautiful set of hair, black hair, beautiful. I had my eyebrows. I had hair on my back, which I somehow lost, and just like a real stallion. And but I was pretty fat and. Yeah, my people were worried about me a little bit because, no one, like, I don't know, we've got this weird, this health complex where it's like every, you know, it's probably creating some stigmas and shit about fat people for me. But my older I've brother. I've noticed your wants, open contempt for fat people. I hate them. I hate them. Yeah. I no, I've got no <laughs> problem with fat people. I just have, like, my own, like, I can only eat this little piece of pizza. I don't want both pieces of pizza. What mommy think? My older brother was because they used to carry me everywhere too, in the little baby thing in the front or a little strap thing. And he like went up to me. My bottoms of my feet were fucking little balls. And he's like, if you don't start letting this kid walk, he'll never be able to. And they're like, shut up. Like, he's like eight years old. But he's like, eh, he will never be able to walk if you don't start like putting him down because his feet are too fat and he'll just roll around. And now I've got flat feet. So I don't know if they really no, set no, me down hard great, or something. Dude. I think when they. Plop me down, my little balls popped, and uh, wait, you had, and wait, your wait, feet are deflated, dude. You had like balls in yeah, your well, feet. I, just, I was just a fat little. My little bottoms of my feet were just little fat baby feet, but it's like everyone's so worried about all this health shit. Like I was just a normal little fat baby, but yeah, it was a big concern growing up about my fat little feet, my little that little wrist mark. Or your wrist or fat looks a little rubber bands yeah. around your wrist. Yeah, it looks like you have yeah. a sleeve of. Yeah, it's just skin. I'm just like the chunkiest. I'm still like the fullest person in my family, probably. Like everyone's just all uh, ghastly, gaunt, <laughs> ghastly. Yeah, but like my dad's just like a bigger guy. My dad's just like a bigger version of me. So like I got you know some of his shit too. But. Everybody in my family is morbidly obese. We're about there. I'm the I'm hands down the smallest person in my family. <laughs> yeah, and the tallest. I'm tallest and thinnest. They 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 That's are like, awesome. dude, you're like That's a little awesome. beanpole, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like a stick. Yeah, he's That's like a Sam. stick. <laughs> A hundred percent serious. I'm a hundred percent serious. I've heard that from multiple people. Damn, your skin and bones. Dude, my uncle, my uncle looks like Shrek. All right, these people are just round, round people. And so I'm over six feet. I'm not 350 pounds. Oh, I got yeah. some, get, get more meat on those bones. You might get sick. Yeah. Holy shit. Look good. You look healthy. Yeah, look good. That's awesome, dude. My mom would have been fucking frightened by you, and your mom would have probably fed me a bunch of butter or something. Well, they should they should have done one of those like switched at birth little like TV show nanny things. Oh my god, that's awesome. A little bean ball. Yeah, man, you know, you know, so oh, good. A green bean skin. sprout. Look at him. Oh, that's hilarious. And yeah. you're but you know, it is, it is funny though game. that it's like. <laughs> yeah. But those people have a. It doesn't matter how much weight my brother loses, he will never have, like my build. If that makes sense. Yeah, he's just like a thick. He's just a fuller. Yeah, he's just like a like little barrel chested guy. Like he's built like a little dwarf or something. And then like everybody in my family has that same aesthetic, or they're like thin little like little mountain hillbilly type people, like that are yeah. like five foot three. And I'm like, there's there's where the fuck did I come from? Is the the weird question. You were left on the doorstep, yeah. for sure. My mom probably fucked somebody. Probably a <laughs> fucking giant. <laughs> yeah, probably like <laughs> just the like a regular. Thinnest, yeah. Giant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you fucked a big cigarette and you were born. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I and then I mixed with her big old I fat lady jeans. I just wanted to see what happened if I could smoke a cigarette with my pussy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Seven months later, you were born. <laughs> yep, that's me. Oh. Seven months later. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Fifteen months later, <laughs> yeah. there you were. <laughs> The fattest baby. That's so funny. How tall is your brother? He's like five ten. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, like a dwarf. <laughs> yeah, he's like dwarf stature. No, I, I just yeah. meant dwarf because yeah, like, like, you know, just like short that. arms, you, short I, legs. I do know a guy that like, he just beard. looks like a stretched out, like he looks like a fantasy dwarf. He's yeah. a bald guy in our family with a big fucking red beard and he's got like that pudgy nose. Yeah. He's just all pudgy. He just looks like a literal like Lord of the Rings dwarf in real life. But he's like five six, so he's not like fully there. But every time I see him, I'm like, at least since I'm a little kid, I'm like, this guy looks straight out of a fucking fantasy book. Like he's, we he's I had weirdly a guy like proportioned. That, too, that would this guy? I've never seen a beard like this. This guy would shape his beard to be a shoot. Oh. And so he would just, awesome. yeah, he would sit down at the dinner table and his beard, like before he made his plate, his beard would just go like into his plate and just like rest on it. Like he just went for it as a shoot. Yeah, this uh, this guy had like gold rings in his and a big axe on his back and stuff. <laughs> yeah. like braided parts of his beard. Yeah, cloak. Yeah, <laughs> cloak, a little party of little hobbits and stuff. Yeah, real weird guy. Apparently he's like a total douchebag, which he, I could believe it. He looks weird. I look at him. I see him once every couple of years. I'm always like, the guy somehow still looks not the same changed. age. Yeah. 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 He's he's just thirty forever. There's people like that, and then one day they're like seventy. I was about to say, I the guy with the shoot beard and my uncle, they were, yeah, they were just like hardy little. I work with my hands, dudes, and then all of a sudden, my in back. Like, yeah, five years. All of a sudden, they go from like that to just like I'm broken, my body. <laughs> This body of mine is gone. Uh, blue collar workers. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. My blue back's collar, broken overweight from blue collar in my, my podcast chair. <laughs> yeah, I know. Every time my dad's like, my hands are rattled from the, I am getting electrocuted in my back. My back hurts. I'm like, oh, fuck. Like, yeah. My back hurts. Shit. Yeah, my back hurts. I tried, too, to, uh, I tried to go get a massage recently oh, because like, I, well, not only am I like a gamer, but you know, sits in the chair a lot. You're a golfer also. Goblin. The golf thing, yeah. I haven't been playing recently too much, but I went for the first time. Anyway, I uh, I have, like, residual, like, muscle pain from, like, all that medical surgery stuff I did. Oh, yeah. And it, like, still hurts in my back. So, like, I tried to go <laughs> for a massage. I, like, went to, like, an official massage place, right? Like, where you, like, go in, sign a form, like write down all this medical shit about you, like, and it was like, you know, you know, you're have you had surgery in the past, like so and so long, and I like fill out the form, everything, hand it back to the people, are like, okay, great, uh, just have a seat, and then your like person will come and get you, and I was like, okay, great, so then, I, so then she comes, gets me, we go into the little massage room and everything, and it's like the type of place where like. I hate doing this, by the way, but like I really felt like it would help. Where it's naked. type of place, you know, you get all like n- like undressed, like down. They're like put on this robe, take everything else off underneath. I'll leave you alone for a little while. And then she comes back in, and I'm uh, I've got like a towel on or something because that's what she said to do. And uh, I'm standing there like with my shirt off, and I have like this big like scar here now, and. Uh, <laughs> She's like, all right, so, like, what's going on? Like, I explained to her, like, yeah, I had, like, you know, heart surgery, this, that, and my muscles and my back are still sore. I wanted to, like, <laughs> just, like, come here and see if it would help, like, you know, like, get, like make everything kind of feel a little better, like, relax my muscles. She's like, okay, yeah, no problem. So, like, uh, and she's, like, looking at my chest. She's like, when did you say you had this done? <laughs> and I was like, oh, like, two and a half months ago. And she's just like, all right, get the hell out. <laughs> like, you can just go right now. You can't be here. What? Really? And I felt so rejected. I was standing nude, there yeah. with my shirt off, and she was just like, leave. Uh, <laughs> I was like, oh. Why? They, is there, uh, okay. <laughs> they don't want to damage you? It's against it. Yeah, I guess. It's against their, like, all, like. What the fuck? Insurance. It would be funny if she reached yeah, right in and opened you yeah. up and grabbed your heart. Or something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I felt so just yeah, <laughs> it's presenting like, myself. Yeah. You're so bare. You're like, so. Yeah. Exposed. I was like meekly like, can you roll my back? And she's like, no, <laughs> get out of here. I'll little... pop your heart. Get out of here. Go on. <laughs> it's, that yeah. sucks. I, I once went so to. Now a... my back still hurts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, was, I was fucking denied. A nice Did they say massage. when you could go back? My doctor said I could go. Oh, weird. She was just, just like, like a, no. They're like, go we don't in there with a doctor's order. 
No, I'm just yeah, going to go would, to like... <laughs> that would be pathetic. Like, to... you show back up, doctor says you gotta... Please, 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 please. <laughs> like you with your asthma note. Yeah. <laughs> I um, uh, I once had a wart on my foot, which is about the grossest thing my body's ever done. And it was on my toe. And I'm like just already like a serial procrastinator. And like I can't set up appointments or anything for my... I can't... I'm like just always debilitated with like common things to do, like humans should do. And so it took a while, you know, like I saw it getting bigger. I'm like, oh, this will be fine. Like it will probably just fall off or something. And it got to the point where it was like, like that big coming off my toe. And it was like, it was like the size of my little toe. Was it on the toe. side of your big toe it by was, any chance? It was on the side of like one of my middle ones. Oh, I had one like that on my big toe. It looked like another big yeah, toe. It was coming gross. Out of my, it was awful. And it yeah. started getting to the point where I'm like, Okay, this is starting to hurt. And I went to a yeah. CVS clinic because, like, on their thing, they were like, one of their things they mentioned were like, we can freeze warts. And I was like, well, shit, maybe I'll go here. And I went in, and the like doctor were talking for a while. And they're like, all right, let me like take your shoe off. I take my shoe off. And they're like doing their own thing. I take my sock off, and I'm there. I'm like, okay, I'm ready. And they turn around, they're like, oh my God. <laughs> and, and I'm like, what? And she said, we cannot, like, this is way, you need to go to a hospital. Like, we can't deal with this. This is too far gone. Like, we can't <sighs> freeze this off. It's the fucking size of your pinky toe. And I was like, whoa, like, that's not good. <laughs> and so I didn't go to a hospital, and I just went home, and I'm like, well, that was a big bummer. Because, like, I don't, like, I don't know how insurance works and stuff. Like, I don't want to pay for a doctor. So I just, like, left it for a couple more months, and it got to the point where... <laughs> It started like getting pretty tender and big, and one night I just like, mm, mm, and I fiddled with it enough that I pulled it out, and like I got the roots, and then there was just a hole in my toe, and I just wrapped it up, and uh, you know, uh, years later, there's no markings or nothing. You just so, you just pulled it out like a fruit. To mine. I fucked with it enough until it got you like a loose tooth. Plucked it, and then yeah, I think uh, there, I did like, it. Well, I. You could have got one on your hand or something. I'm or clean. I mean, like, well, I, then I immediately went to jerking off. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> woo, popped that up. <laughs> yeah, I uh, yeah, I took a bunch of Snapchats of it and sent it to my friends. I put it on my desk and I was like, whoa, like. And every time I the <laughs> updates, anytime I'd be like, it's getting a little bigger. My friends would be like, please stop yeah. sending me pictures. It's so fucking gross. <laughs> I don't want to see. And yeah, eventually it just work. kind of disappeared. And uh, uh, it's just kind of how I deal with a lot of medical, where I'm like. Yeah, Come just on. push like it to a the witch's back. nose. Yeah, and uh, it's uh, good. I actually haven't looked at my feet in a long time. I don't know. <laughs> to check the, it's, it's back. Covered <laughs> yeah. in and one, two, three, four, five, six toes. Like, oh my god! Yeah, I have I no had idea. One as a kid, like that, and I was like playing with like a cart, like a little kid play oh. cart or something, and I like ran it over. <laughs> I was my, and, like my ripped extra it off. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and I like my mom was trying to figure this ward out for like a while, and like the doctors didn't want to do anything to it either. Like, we removed and, it, uh, he could die. It was like it was like half ripped off, and my mom saw great opportunity. She went to fucking work on that thing Ugh. and performed at home <laughs> surgery. Oh, and God. uh, I th it, it didn't come back. She got the root. Yeah, I wish I had my mommy kept there. It in a little jar. Yeah, it's a good thing to keep. I honestly think I just like flicked it on my desk, and then like a day later, I'm like, oh shit, where the? She has my know, dog teeth. ate it or something. <laughs> yeah. uh, actually, you your teeth? Your teeth? no. We have the uh, we had so. the umbilical cord from oh. uh, from Madeline, and it Turned like black. dried up into like a little piece of like jerky, and then it, it fell on the floor, and Gwen ate it. Ew. <laughs> Dog ate Ew. eight humans. Who's got that taste up? For like, humans. how do you? You're just like pulling it out. Like, look, we still got. No, uh, it, okay. So it was in the. Okay, so you have a kid, and then they have a dresser, but they can't open up their own drawers for like the first year or whatever, because they're. So you actually just keep things used for children in their dresser drawer. Well, yeah. then eventually the kid got old enough that she was like opening up drawers and like going through it, like trying to find her clothes, and she would pull out like. I don't know. Like we, we would have like uh, uh, the things that you use to like baby proof a room and, and so like all the extra shit we would have in one of those drawers and including memoirs. And one of them was a Ziploc bag with an umbilical cord. And she's like, what's this thing? Oh, it's like a little black thing. <laughs> and I was oh, like, that's your dude. umbilical that you we left on you. And then it fell off when you got home. 
And, uh, and I was like, don't mess with that. And so I put it on top of the dresser because she was like ah, going crazy doing something. <laughs> And I was like, don't mess with that. And I put it on top of the dresser. And then I'm assuming Abby went in there and like knocked it up against the wall and it fell behind the dresser. And and mentally, I was like, her umbilical cord's right there under the dresser up against the wall. I know exactly where it is. And then uh, when I went to go get it later, it was gone. Gone. Ew. Dog ate it. That's the only or, thing I could think of. Or she ate it. Or Abby ate it. Yeah. Or maybe it came to life and <laughs> yeah. inched away yeah. like under, yeah. under the fridge that, or something. There's a third option it's... there that we were ignoring. Yeah. That is so gross. I wonder if I'll keep shit like that when I have kids. I'm like a very nostalgic, like pack ready. Like I keep a lot of yeah. like mementos. But yeah, that I think seems that one little... I'm like cool with. Did you guys eat the placenta in a big pie? <laughs> no, I uh, I don't see the point of that. There's like I feel like it's like Himalayan salt where they're like oh it's got like a it's pink so it's got extra and I'm like I think it's just an excuse to eat something you'll yeah. never be able to eat again I like I don't believe in the the positive medicinal aspects of it I think you're just eating like basically just garbage like what do they say that it they does? say it helps nutrients with like that yeah it has all this like baby nutrient bullshit and it's supposed it's supposed to help like women jumpstart their breastfeeding. Or something. It makes your tits grow. I'm gonna make my wife eat two of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, filling them with milk. Some fun. lady came in and was like, "Do you want to donate that, or do you want to eat it?" Oh, like, really? Yeah. Donate it to what? Do someone a lot of else people do that? It? No, no. You, you. Well, I mean, like if you save it, usually what people do is you don't fucking eat it like a giant jellyfish. You send it off, and they 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 reduce it down to make it into capsules, pills, and then you take what? a pill every day. Yeah. And, um, well, that's, that's still, better. Oh, that's yeah. better, but that's still weird. Like, no, I if I was a, to eat it, I would fuck. I'd eat that bitch. Like I'd eat it right out the pussy, dude. Yeah, that's what I'd, I'm I'd saying. Eat it. I'd, I'd be eat waiting it. on the ground. You don't while get the baby's opportunities to eat human too often. Yeah. I don't think. A human um, byproduct like that, where it's like, what a weird, like, oh, so if I drink a big gallon of piss, I'm a freak. You know, yeah. I eat a big shit. You know, on a plate, I'm a monster. But you can eat like placenta, and you're healthy. You're new age. Yeah. yeah. That's weird. weird. But and I opted to just, I was like, let's just donate it. Like, what the fuck? Donate to who? Oh, yeah. they, there's a shitload of stem cells in there. They use it for like research. So if like someone well, loses their well, ear or can whatever, you, can you can, get like, it in stem cell? Can you get like stem cell injection? That's true. Yeah, that would be, that would be cool. If you I would take one it. of those. I don't really yeah. know what those do, but I'd take a couple of those. I think what they, Peyton stem Manning cells, got them, I think. So I'd take some. Uh, if I That's remember an correctly. Hero. Stem cells can mimic whatever other cells you want them to be. So you can like, if you if you need to make brain tissue, you can use stem cells to like make brain tissue. What if and you need so, to make like penis skin, I was gonna say like penis can I longer. Uncircumcise can I get, like, myself. Can I cut the end of my cock off and then put stem cells on there, grow some shaft, and then put the head back on. I keep it on ice, or just <laughs> grow out. Like a really long tip. Oh, That'd yeah. Be like, cool. Uh, uh, it looks like an old like medieval a lance. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like a real long, yeah. pointy one. Yeah, that'd uh, be awesome. That would be cool. If you could put some stem cells on any part of your body, what would too. you do? That'd be sweet. Neck. Would you put your stem uh, neck. cells? I think it would be funny to have my shoulders at the bottom of the frame and the neck, and then oh. you just see my <laughs> eyes like up here. I do it on my yeah. little tiny hands. I get, I get another thumb. I grow another thumb that way. I a could thumb be, right here yeah, that'd would be, awesome. be insane. That would, yeah, that would be. I'd, yeah, I'd, you could grab so well. Out of that the would air. go crazy. Yeah. I'd get a oh, you could like Xbox choke controller. someone and put your fingers in their eyes at the same time. You could. It would be insane. That is insane that you just yeah, thought of that. <laughs> I, you know, just for that. I, yeah, I want the thumb thing. I'm going no, with the double mine. thumb. The thumb thing. <laughs> no, is a good one. that neck. Uh, to, no, no, no. You have to get a long neck now. I get two extra arms like Goro. Oh, that'd well, be, I, well, really, I thought you said extending an yeah. already existing part of your body. Well, I didn't think uh, you should grow extra. Out, uh, I'm breaking the I rule. thought we already I talked about this. Boom, if we would add uh, uh, arms at our knees. Oh, yeah. That, uh, yeah. We did talk about that for yeah. some time. Yeah, that was like years ago. Yeah, have an extra set of arms at your knees, and then you could kind of like haul ass Roll. in any. Yeah. You'd you be like a, a really good mechanic. You grab someone else's legs while you're fighting them, and then you can fuck them off. And so you grab their arms with your arm legs and all sorts yeah. of stuff. You could probably climb way like crazy. Yeah, climbing. Dog legs that came out of here that, yeah. like, hinge this way. Yeah, so you should, awesome. like, just, like, when you need to go really fast, just tip over and just start booking Bounding. it. Like, 
Yeah. Yeah, and just ah, and like with your arms out front, that'd be awesome. What I've done I used with to Baby think, Duke, I need to get him lower. Yeah. I used least. to think medical advancements were a lot further along than they actually are. Like people get their arms cut off and like machinery accidents and they get them reattached. I'm like, that's insane. And then I realized that they reattach them, but they really can't use their hands and shit. Like they're just there kind of as well. Yeah. No, they're there for looks. And they're like, not. look, it's basically my ha- hand. See, there are I'm some like, medical marvels where it's like, that's insane. Like, I mean, I don't know. They went into aqua. They went into them. Yeah. They did stuff to him, And now he's still here. Like, that's true. Go back some not that far in time. They would have cut him open and botched it. Was it was pretty routine. Yeah, they <laughs> my botched my it, dad though. had like a quintuple bypass or whatever, which is I think as invasive, but they there's more cutting involved once they're in yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he said he's having Still like the same like access point. Yeah. yeah, he he had like a lot of nerve damage to his fingertips and stuff. Did you have any of that? No. No. Oh. I've got like this weird pain that like goes up my neck and like into my head a little bit. But aside from that, no. Yeah, his goes up his neck and then down his arm. And he's like, he's like, my, this finger's numb. And then this side of my finger's numb. And then the side of this finger's numb. He's like, I have a hard time typing and stuff. Oh, no. Surgery's scary. Surgery is horrifying. Yeah, surgery is very. How long ago did he have it done? That was like five years ago. And and they say, they say that there's like, you can only get like so many centimeters of nerve growth a year. And he's like, I'm hoping that nerve like reconnects, like whatever they cut reconnects. So I can get some, my goddamn feeling back in my hand. He's like, some of it is coming back a little bit at a time, but I come from a non doctor trusting family. If if I ever need a surgery like that, I'm just gone. I'm out. (laughs) I'm dead. My 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 family's been so insanely trusting. I've ever done. I hate like kind of don't have a choice. Yeah, no, it, it points you down, but yeah. yeah, but also, what else are you gonna do? Have your friend do it or yeah, something? No, like, you just die. Yeah, like no, a that, man. That's an option. Yeah, as well. like a man. Perish. That's some that's some pussy that gets heart surgery. And yeah, leave your around. channel to your friends, like a yeah. man. Just like, yeah, come on and you know, set an auto raid on your Twitch account and just go go into the long dark. Auto raid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, Oh, that is, dude, just like the wisdom teeth was the first time I've ever been on anesthesia. And that was, I hate being like, that was just, a weird I did experience. it in college. Like, I hate blacking out. Like, I hate being yeah. where you have to just ask like people, like, what did time. I say? I hate being out of control of my body. That's why even some psychedelics were like, once I'm like, oh, this will be fun. Then I get into it. I'm like, I hate being this, like, not out, out, out of control. Like, I don't like not having my basic, like, Without my mind, what am I, you know? And when I woke up, I just don't remember being there. I don't remember, like, my friend took me into a room and we talked to the doctors. I don't remember any of this. And then, like, next thing I kind of remember, I look at my phone. I've played him, like, four songs on Spotify already. I don't even fucking remember. I played him, like, a meme song I've been listening to. (laughs) And then I, like, kind of remember him coming home. We went to a CVS that felt, like, like, not real. Like, it was in an alley. And then I just was in on this couch, like uh, watching TV. <laughs> and I talked to him like that. Like I was so worried before it. Like I'm gonna shit my pants because uh, what happens when your body's out of sleep? Like I wore very light colored jeans. Do you just piss your pants and shit? Like when you're that like because they gotta put know. tubes in you and stuff. I'm like I don't know what's gonna go on. And the laughing gas wasn't working, so I was already like nervous because they like turn they crank that shit up, and I'm like uh, I don't feel any anything. And then when they did the anesthesia, I was like, how long do I have? And he's like, I don't know, maybe 40 seconds if you fight it. And I was like, I'm not going to fight it, but, like, this is weird. And then I'm on my couch, and it was so weird. And I was yeah, so worried I... about shitting my pants before it that that's the only question I asked them. My friend said when I got out, I was like, did I shit my pants? I'm like, no, you didn't shit your pants. I'm like, oh. And that was, like, my only qualm. And then I'm home, and then I, then I get. For you. I'm like, wow! I actually have some like pressing medical questions about follow up, but I guess I got my one question, and uh, I didn't like <laughs> it. Yeah, I did. I, yeah, you're fine. Like, I don't know. And that's what my mom wanted to take me. I'm like, I, like I just know she'd be like, "What's your channel <laughs> now?" Like while you're, <laughs> and I told her that she's like, "God, I wouldn't. I didn't even think about that till you said it. Like, I wouldn't do that." Yeah, sure. She would. Uh, yeah, I'd call her a slur or something, and I'd be like, "Oh my god." Where? I was just so nervous, but 
I survived. Yeah, it's not it's not great. I remember being like, Are we starting now? And then like, I woke up when it was done. Yeah. And like, fuck. Dude, he missed that is a weird uh, well, feeling. I, we yeah. have like completely like incomparable surgeries. Like obviously yours is uh, much more intense. But he did miss my vein on my right arm and he was digging around and the laughing gas hadn't Ugh. was doing nothing. Like I don't know if it's because I just I swear I just have like a weirdly high tolerance with certain like shit like that. And they were cranking it up. And she's like, okay, we're on max. Like, if you start feeling like you're in a tunnel, let me know. I'm like, I was so excited for the laughing gas. I'm like, this is gonna be like, I don't know, like whippets or something. I don't know what it's gonna yeah. be like. And then he started, he was I was trying to act tough for doctor, you know, he's just fucking feeling around i'm like oh i don't like needles and he's like does it feel like i'm digging around i'm like yeah I fucking hate that. like are when you digging like, around does he's it like, feel I like i'm it. fucking yeah. up at my job yes it does. And he's like, let's it, go on the other crazy. arm and then he got one it was like the smoothest like i'm like is that what it's supposed to feel, feel like nothing they really did a number on me over here he's like you don't have any that. surgery things is they they it's so routine for them it's yeah. this is the most traumatic yeah. day of your life yeah i know they and were like, so my like, oh, surgeon, sweetheart, it's fine. They're like touching my hair and stuff. Not, not that. Like we saw our surgeon yeah. before. The, I know like, not that is what you mean, but they're yeah, so casual. Man, like the, the person's fucking eating a sandwich. Like the yeah. surgeon like came in and was just like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so uh, we're going to go in there <laughs> and uh, it'll probably be like 30 minutes, 35 minutes or whatever. And we'll be out of here in no time. And uh, and then they're just like checking their phone and they, I see they have like angry birds on their home screen. I'm like, you're just like mm. too much of a person you're just a person you're just yeah. a goddamn just person like, like yeah. motherfucker pay yeah. attention like stop looking at your turkey sub and look at my wife like there's a person in there you're trying to get out there's a real yeah. person in there you're a doctor be a doctor <laughs> yeah save be my a goddamn human. cold calculating surgeon yeah. and don't be so yeah, honestly that people it. shit on the good doctor yeah. i think i love just a fully autistic doctor that's just oh, yeah. only interested in i want like a medicine. monk like not like a monk, but like the show monk. No, monk, yeah. Yeah, like a like an autistic doctor type. I take guy. a That's house. Like, yeah. Nah, he's he's, he's too kind sassy. of an asshole, but too sassy. I know he'd get the job done in the end. I'd yeah. also take a John Dorian of sorts, or maybe a Doctor Cox if you're more. Well, of a I don't scrub. know. John house, Dorian would, would be fun. John Dorian would yeah. get me right, or I'd be one of his like one every once in a while sad episodes where a patient dies, and it, if I then I'd further the story along though, and I'd really. Yeah. I'd help them grow as doctors, which I'd be okay with. I would not want anybody from Grey's Anatomy. No, Ab they'd be Abby fucking in Abby watches that a lot. Well, yeah, I'm they're, well, my they're never, like, <laughs> concerned about the surgery. It's yeah, always, there's, there's some there's bullshit something going other on. drama, yeah, yeah, going on. I'm like... Fucking each other, or somebody's yeah. cheating on somebody else, and it's like... I've got a tooth you gotta get out of my mouth, okay? <laughs> this is life or death. Stop Their head isn't around. in it. Yeah, yeah, no. They're off in the well, there's way too many scenes where it's like, uh, the, what's her face is the main lady, uh, Gray, whatever her name is, something Gray from Gray's Anatomy, and she's like in the middle of surgery, and she'll just have like a, a like narration going on of what she's thinking about. It's never the surgery; she's daydreaming while she's elbow deep in somebody. She's always I'm like, "I wonder what hunky doctor's weekend. doing right now, and is it gonna work <laughs> out with this person? My roommate isn't whatever." And I'm, I'm like, gonna put on makeup after this and go shopping. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like blood yeah. squirts yeah. out, like hits her in the eye. Damn, bitch, pay attention. Yeah. Oh, uh, so you got to get a good male autistic doctor that yep. just gets right into it. Doesn't worry about it. No, no doesn't have any social anything going no, on. No, he's in not his life. fucking any nurses <laughs> back nope. there. He's just no worried pussy. about. It. Yeah, he does that. Goes home, plays like <laughs> Operation. Operation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, My buses. favorite ah, fucking shit. game. Yeah. Buzzes. He pulls out Honing an eyelash. His skills at ah, all time. Gotta punish. Yeah. yeah, he could get the wishbone out. And everything. <laughs> yeah, that's. I forgot I about Operation. That the game rocked. The game sucks. Yeah. Dude. What? It's He's cool, it's cool technology. <laughs> it scared admit, me. Yeah, I, I it wasn't good at too. it because I got shaky little hands. So, just, ah. Don't really have you it. seen what? that, that alligator upsetting. game that you're supposed to like, oh, yeah, push the, down his teeth? teeth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he clamps on you. What about Hungry but, Hungry Hippos? That's a real game. You guys ever play that? Oh, yeah. All yeah, the marbles. That, that was, yeah, that was a good. That was a game of an luck. unbelievable choking hazard. Yeah, yeah. I oh, yeah, that is. Yeah. God, all of my toys as a kid were so fucking dangerous. I remember I had like, uh, it was like Easy Bake Oven, but for uh, boys. <laughs> it wasn't the like creepy crawlers thing. Oh, creepy like crawlers this, is dope. I, lo I love. It that was thing. sick. Yeah. But I had this other thing. 
it wasn't creepy crawlers. I wanted creepy creepy crawlers, but my parents got me this like metal shop thing where you literally like take a bunch of BBs, melt them down into molten metal, and pour them into like molds, like a you skull make, with like, wings lead, on it, or lead figurine. Yeah, and shit. like a yeah. little lead figurine, yeah. but with molten metal that could have. That's sweet. But it's very dangerous. They yeah. got you like a, a my mini, little kid body, just yeah. a mini refinery or something like a little. Yeah, like it was so you to be crazy. A factory worker. <laughs> you just like unlock something in my head where I had a science kit, but it was from like the 1950s, and someone gave it to my mom to give to me, and it was like a microscope, and then like 50 little vials of unmarked like powders and liquids and shit. Oh, I, I had that too. I was just like, what the fuck do I do with this? Like, there was no instructions. You eat it, obviously. Yeah, you eat all instructions it. are long gone. Yeah, but like, I just remember being like, I don't think I should fuck with it. I was very, like, yeah. I wasn't really yeah, like a eat anything. dumb shit kid. Like, I was pretty, not to, too, too, my, yeah. not to suck my own kid penis, but like, I was pretty, you know, just like, my dad always said I was like an old little man when I was a kid and I was putting on a front, but <laughs> I was very, like, you got to be careful. This could cause bodily harm. Like, you know, I do some dumb boy shit, but. I was always like, I don't really want to get like irreversibly damaged. Yeah, yeah, like I'm not gonna open up any of this stuff. Like I don't Sense know, fucking anti. It was like in a little wood box. It was like splinter it up wood. I'm like, I don't think yeah, this is a toy. Yeah, I don't get the kids that were like that. Yeah. These kids that would just like I'm gonna eat this glue. Put everything yeah. in their mouth. I wonder instantly, if they're, they're like, like stuck it on water bottle caps, just like you were yeah, talking like, about the water hungry, bottle hungry on the hippos bus and stuff. Being yeah, a you danger. Eat those little I things. had this. I had this game where you had like a big cherry tree and then you would, I forget what you would do. You would like hang the cherries on the branches and I shoved so many of those hard plastic cherries up my nose that we had to go to the Why? doctor and they <laughs> like had I, to, uh, you were that I fucking never had, to, like, <laughs> they had to use long tweezers to pull uh, these fucking things out of my nose. So yeah, it's such a weird You're like a kid instinct. Real for, genius. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, real smarty. Let's get, let's get a science kid. <laughs> <laughs> kind of no, nah, they they kept that shit away from I me. Was dude. Putting little powders down. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting superpowers and shit. Really yeah. developing oh, that my was mind. Called polonium, apparently. I, I was. I they do. I am like an adult baby genius. Like I was quite a boy prodigy, but then I stayed at that level forever. But boy I some, genius. Yeah, had great experiments in that lab and sorts of things you guys play mousetrap dude we nobody what ever set, set up, up mousetrap and played what it correctly in my family we would just set up the rube goldberg machine and yeah. then just let it go yeah, yeah. My dad no and I one play actually it all the played time and it was, well, i played it but yeah it really you you, you knew the rules uh when i was a kid yeah what the like what the my fuck dad and I would play we play i mean really i i yeah. never actually played a game of mousetrap we just yeah, had it was a fun I, game we really? never had it, but my cousins did that we would see all the time, and they were missing like half the pieces. <laughs> and I was so fucking stoked every yeah. time to set up Mousetrap, uh, even though it never worked right. All the pieces were missing. It's such never a cool idea play. for a board game. I was all about it, though. It's a little bit yeah. of work, but. Oh, you know what was the, my favorite toy at somebody else's house was uh, in, um, in Star Trek? What's um, uh, Harrison Ford's ship? Dude, come on! Don't Star don't play dumb like this. Or Star Wars, Star Wars. The the, the Millennium Falcon. Falcon. Millennium Christ. Falcon. He had a Jesus. giant Millennium Falcon that had pistol grips under it, and you yeah, could shoot right there little discs. 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 The little oh, discs. Yeah, and then I it, had that. He had like a two story house with like a like the second story looked down on the on the living room because that's like where the bedrooms were and stuff. And we would yeah. have these. He had two of them, and he would have like these. We'd have these fights where he would be like launching the little disc down on me and oh, stuff. That's sweet. I used to love going over there and be like, "Where's that fucking spaceship Where's thing?" Where's Star Trek toy? Yeah. And you'd be Where's like, "God, Star this Trek kid toy? fucking sucks." Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> he's Captain Kirk ship, and he's like, God, Jesus. I love Picard. Mom, this kid has to keep fucking coming over here. Dude, and, uh, okay, Star the Trek and Star Wars are very similar names. Don't even act like they're not. Um, not it, even. The, the only reason I fuck it up is because it doesn't hold any place in my heart. Like I don't. Yeah, like, but you know, you've talked about watching. I know Star. Star Wars I know movies. which Star Wars is, and I know which one Star Trek is. But like, then why would you say yeah, it? Then why? Because off say the Star cuff, Trek? I'm not gonna remember which stupid show is which because I, I don't. <sighs> I don't care that much about him. Yeah, because you were too busy shoving shit up your nose and being a yeah. little fucking <laughs> diarrhea bitch, little yep. fat fucking idiot. While scientists <laughs> boy. around here watching Star Wars, 
the less time you're playing with your 1950s like yeah my oh and you're in your lead refinery or whatever the yeah. fuck you were going with yeah. your parents yeah. were trying yeah. to take you were, to be a, on a, another level a blue collar parents boy. were trying to kill us yeah you couldn't even <laughs> fucking play m- mouse trap or whatever i feel like yeah. there was like very minimal rules to it like it wasn't that Ruba crazy actually was Jimmy Neutron a boy genius, yeah. boy prodigy, With until the, he did the wrong yeah, experiment? Until I blew up look. in my face and put a mustache on me and shattered my brain, smoothed it <laughs> complete. Do you yeah, guys remember those shame. shows where they would uh, people would build robots and then fight them? Yeah, yeah, battle bots. Battle yeah, bots. Battlebots, yeah, I remember when those those came out and they were on TV. I wish they and, were visually cooler, but sorry, go I know, right? Like, I wish they were like. <laughs> Right. They're like a little no, no, the Roomba. first seasons, like, the first yeah. seasons, people had some wacky ones. Okay. And then they really became meta and they were like, it's. Yeah, they got to hunt what's the low most to the ground. Streamlined. Yeah. And it has a little flipper and that's about it. Like, that's like. Maybe if you're really exciting, a big hammer comes yeah. down. Oh, sometimes, yeah, they would be like, come yeah. on. Like, I'm here to have a show. It's going to be a big we'll get the crowd ice pick going. or something. Yeah. Yeah, flamethrowers. Love the ones that like shot the fire. Yeah, the flamethrowers. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is I, that? I saw a couple do, that right? they just had like circular saw blades all over it, and like the people would put it down like, <laughs> like holy <laughs> shit, this thing's horrifying. <laughs> Surprised you didn't lose don't, limbs while don't making turn it. Turn it on until yeah. I set it down. But I remember watching yeah. that as a kid, and I was like, dude, I gotta make one of these. Like, those are so cool. And and uh, so my mom is just like. You know, once again, parents are divorced. My mom's just like, whatever, like, shut up. <laughs> yeah. And so she brings me to Barnes and Nobles and I get like this, like, uh, like building like little robots for dummies book. <laughs> and then I and then I ride around on my bike uh, finding I'm trying to find stuff to build a robot with because my mom's like, <laughs> I'm not going to bring you to a robot store and drop yeah. hundreds of dollars on robot shit. Like, where am I even going to find that stuff? So basically, I rode around and I found someone's like satellite dish that they had thrown out on the curb, <laughs> and I put that on the back of my bike uh, and I yes. brought that back home. And uh, I you never really a wood plank to it. <laughs> <laughs> I never <laughs> understood. <laughs> See, now you're under. Now no, you no, get no, why. Either. Like I had such a, a a fondness for Ed and Eddie. Like I, yeah. I kind of yeah, lived a little bit of that. Yeah, I'm just dumb. Yeah. I'm just that's why I like codename Kid Next Door, okay? Yeah. Cause well, they had 2x4 technology. I hadn't yeah. unlocked that yet. All right. Yeah. They were actually doing shit. Ed, Ed, and Eddie, they were always ending in failure. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I never really figured out that there needed to be, like, stuff working like inside. Robotics. The, yeah, robotics. <laughs> that that whole part Circuitry, of the tree, yeah. That eluded well, that's, me. a lot for a kid. Like, that's a lot <laughs> yeah. for an adult yeah. to, like, Well, I was, like, 14, I think. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. I was, I, was, I was a little youngster. I was a youngster. <laughs> Probably were like twelve. <laughs> I, drove, I drove my car over to the dump. Yeah. And filled it up with the Technics. Oh, here we go. Electrics. Yeah, put this I in just there. couldn't understand why it wouldn't Power go. Power outlet. Put that on there. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. were you like big into I an extension my, around it. My house was being like built around me as I was growing up. So there's always like loose construction shit around. Like they just throw like planks and stuff. Were you like big on like like, I was such a, like, cool phase when you are a kid where you just go off and, like, build shit. Like, I'd build little wooden things, like little castles or something for my knights to plan. Or, you'd, like, just tinker up weird little, like, found garbage little things. Like, I would uh, um, I would do stuff. a lot of, like, putting 50 nails into one 2 by 4 Jesus Christ. You were a <laughs> fucking kid, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, I, dude, genius. I could put the nails in there, dude. As <laughs> many as you kid. wanted in a one, two by four, I could put them on there. And did he like to use that hammer? Oh, dude, I could, I, I could almost hit the nail every time. How, how are you as smart as you are now? With how fucking stupid every, every like. I had no goddamn plans, foundations so. for life. Oh, all right, wow. I. Oh my God. <laughs> I had to build myself up. Dude, no one was like teaching me this shit either, but maybe I wasn't watching as much Ed, Ed, and Eddie or something. Yeah. And I was getting like, okay, so plans can work. Yeah. I was, you know, I was watching a lot of Johnny Bravo strutting yeah. around. Getting no, babes. you have no idea how much like um, uh, being supportive uh, to a little kid. I'm sure your parents were like, oh, go on, you do it, honey. Uh, well, no? I just more do it behind their back type of deal. I don't no. think they would. Yeah, let me. I was like, I would like burn stuff a lot. <laughs> like, I was one of those kids. A couple episodes I talked about this, but I did a lot of like I would find like uh like weird like anarchy recipes online 
Yeah. And then I would, ma- kids. I would make them. Yeah. And so I did go through like a Sid from Toy Story phase for a little bit. Uh, I didn't even get that far. I was just like getting like toilet paper yeah. and like bug spray, uh, putting them together and lighting it on fire and being like, holy shit. Oh, like, do you remember free- the recipes of just cooking shit in the microwave? Not like actual food, but like take a CD or re- re-recordable CD or whatever and like put it upside down in a microwave and microwave and you see all the lightning go everywhere or tinfoil and stuff. If you cut a grape in half, but leave a little bit of skin, do not do this in your microwave, dear viewer. Uh, But it makes like a little like plasma arc between them, but it also like emits um, like some, the gas it gives off makes, it's very bad. You should, you shouldn't use that microwave to eat and after it. But my friend and I did that a lot. And like grape grape. skin. It's like, uh, we did it for like a. This makes like me want Bush not League. want to use my microwave ever. No, like it was like for an experiment we were doing for like a class. We we like found it on something. And we're like, well, this is cool, but like we had to buy like a microwave from Goodwill to use it with because there was some sort of like in the video that people were like, and don't be doing this all the time in your regular microwave because either there's a risk of something going wrong in it, or I'm pretty sure it's like, I mean, I guess I could probably just Google it. <laughs> And that way I could have like a real maybe answer, but, or the people were just fucking with me and I bought a microwave for nothing. Then I'd be did the people Sam, that though, told you to on. buy a microwave, did they own a microwave store? No, I bought it from fucking Goodwill. <laughs> yeah, microwave store. Kid, come here. You want to hear some <laughs> grapes? You got grapes? I got a whole bushel of grapes. I love grapes. And he's like, come here. Eat them all. Yeah. In one Don't, you can't do this in your microwave. home microwave. You got to get one of mine. Uh, and <laughs> get diarrhea. <laughs> No, but that putting a CD upside down in a microwave is badass. It would, for like half a second, it would just go like, wah, 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 and do lightning everywhere. And uh, and that, those were back in the days when, like, my mom would buy, it was just a bunch of CD, recordable CDs, so you could make, like, mixed. Oh, yeah. yeah we had a big it. stack of those, too. Yeah, but she would buy one, and then, and like, a week later, that stack would be down to, like, here, like, 10 CDs left, and she'd be like, what the fuck? Like, where are they going? And <laughs> part of it was my brother had mono, and so he he was making mono mega hits, which was like these mix C- CD mixes for like him to just listen to music while he had mono in his room in isolation. And then part of it yeah. was me microwaving about forty CDs <laughs> because <laughs> it, I got like one second of satisfaction. Uh, but yeah, leaving like little little boys alone at the house that was not a good yeah, idea. Yeah, it's not. It's bad news. Yeah. They they're destructive. I was always cooking up some shit. Yeah, yeah it makes a plasma fireball, but I, I'm not seeing anything now where it's like. Honestly, I bet it was just our parents being like, "You can't do this in my fucking microwave." Yeah, and then we just had to get a microwave for it. But we were we were doing that all the time. It was cool. Like it, it does make like a you can YouTube it. Like it makes like an interesting little. Like, but you have to leave them attached. The skin has to be attached between the two halves. It's uh. And know. what if you like microwave food at after? I you say it like I'm, that's like yeah. Bad I'm not or something? seeing no. That's what I thought, but now I'm not seeing anything about that. So maybe that's totally good. <laughs> yeah, like our parents just being like, "Don't fucking burn down my house." My mom was a big like, "Don't stand in front of the microwave." Yeah, person. same. Yeah, or like. Give it a couple seconds when it's done. Don't open that right away. Yeah. Or your head will I don't drop. trust like, those things. Yeah, I know. I, I think all those that stuff where things. it's like, now if I Googled it, I'd probably be like, that's ridiculous. But that stays with you when you're an adult. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I'm very Indeed. cautious of a lot of things where I'm like, I know, it's probably pseudoscience, but whatever. You know, I'm not going to change. Me and Brian I'm not had this pop video that, open. that we would watch. We watched it for like two nights straight. We would sit there and just laugh at it. And it was that kid microwaving the glow stick. Oh my god! You, your shirt, your beautiful shirt. <laughs> yeah, and he rocks. takes it out, and he's like, look, he has it so close to his eyes. He's like looking at it, <laughs> and it just like, blows up yeah. and sends <laughs> piping hot radioactive goo into his eyeballs. And it, and he gets some on his like dress shirt. He's wearing like a shirt like you're wearing, but it was buttoned up like all the way. And his dad yeah. rushes in there. His kid's eyes are just like, <laughs> ah! and the dad immediately goes like, well, what did you do? Your shirt, your awesome shirt. <laughs> you got it all over your awesome shirt. I'd really like to see that. That's a, that, that video <laughs> fucking rocks. That, 
That's up there. By the way, it was around the same time that you used to always quote that like that damn ass rock video. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just like another legendary That's a classic. Yeah. yeah, just like two aliens <laughs> trying to figure out how to Holy like shit. Look at like uh, <laughs> kids like that age shit. rock, dude. Yeah. Look at like fifty six seconds pee on it. Yeah, what a pee on in it? this video. Like a minute is when it goes off. But I don't know. They got music too. Whoa. Yeah. Wait, when did you say a minute? Yeah, go to like 56 seconds and watch it for like five seconds. Dude, the, does the a little music one at in first this and... is hyping this up way too much. Yeah. Well, it's Dude, pretty crazy how big it gets for just a fucking grape. <laughs> Maybe yeah. it is, yeah, you're not supposed to eat the grape or something. It's infused with radiation. Yeah, I don't know. That's how Fuck, Godzilla I, was honestly, made. Honestly, now I am starting to think my parents probably watch this too once we're like you cannot do that in this fucking yeah they microwave. probably just had like a built-in microwave and they're like don't fucking break oh, yeah, my microwave is, yeah. just again the wall you ever put a you ever like catch a bee and freeze it and like tie a no, string no. to it i could never it do like freezes yeah. and flies around on a string I'm like i did that once i was always like the guy if my friend smashed like a bug i'm like you fucker like what are you doing like my, I know. my mom's I'm a like big that animal now my mom's i, a I can't kill bugs anymore yeah. And my wife commits horrible oh. bug genocide every single I'm like, stop, you, you don't need to kill it. She's like, Yes, I do. And then she just like slams it in the most brutal way possible. Yeah. It's awful. It's probably the most mad I've ever been at my like best friend is when we were kids. He had like a real like serial killer streak. Probably wouldn't like me talking about this because he was like not yeah. like this at all anymore. But like there's these cute little toads. Oh, man, I have to pee, dude. dude I My have to piss pretty bad, too. But, uh, I do, too. I've been holding okay, it Okay, let's just while. take a pee break real quick, then. Okay, all right. <laughs> that works way better. I, I've been holding it for goddamn 40 minutes. I'm back. A little tip. If you push when you pee, you get to get back faster like me. Damn, dude. Yeah, but, but here's a little <laughs> Linus tech tip. Here's a little, actually, not a tech tip. It's a warning. Stalt told me a horror story, which he'll probably tell it better than me because, well, he's going to listen to this and probably be like, you're telling my story wrong. But he, uh, he was like, I was pissing one time and I was like pushing, you know, trying to get finished sooner. I don't actually push by the way. Oh, really? I was kidding. I just, <laughs> I like kind of just do a full body <laughs> relax after he told me this, this, uh, horror story. Uh, uh yeah. he was pushing hard and, all of a sudden, he fucking, like, dislodged a kidney stone, and it, ah. like, went, like, just instantly the sharpest pain he's ever felt. And he said he said his knee buckled and then hit the fucking porcelain bowl, and he just, like, collapsed in agony, like, ah! Uh, that is terrifying to me. Yeah, and, oh, and he said, God. like, maybe, you know, if I hadn't pushed, it would be a more gradual, like, something hurts, and I need to go get it checked out. But, uh... I don't Who like that. Knows? Yeah, I've never yeah, had. I don't, a I don't stone. actually push. I just. And I'm scared because all I drink quick. is like sodi pops and like sweet tea and shit. It's not good. You don't drink water. I'm cry. Yeah, that's mostly what's in this. That's mostly what's in sweet tea. It's <laughs> just like coffee's dirty water. made with water. Yeah, it's all just dirt water. Yeah. Kidneys flush all that shit out. Turn it into little stones, I guess. <laughs> I just have uh, I'm making some pearls. I'm sure I just haven't. They, none of them I... come to fruition. My family likes sweet tea you way could, too much for me to not have something in me yeah. mounting because I don't really drink, drink a lot of soda. Sweet tea up there? It's yeah. Uh, I, we've talked about it. my a lot of like our comfort food is like this. It's southern food. Oh yeah, because like, they're all like Kentucky. Kentucky. It's not even yeah. really the South, but it is like Appalachian people. It's all sweet tea, chicken and dumplings, fucking biscuits and gravy, all that shit. The good stuff. Fried chicken. It's, I mean, it's, yeah, it's like fucking delicious, but it's, it's awesome. not good for you. It's horrific. It's, which is funny because it's like, oh, we're so healthy. My mom says and then my grandma eats like a fucking, like out of a pig trough, eating all her goddamn gravy and butter, and she's got no <laughs> problem with that. And then it's like, I can eat that, so I can drink sweet tea. It's like, it's not healthy, but it's like such a, it's like a stigma against that. Like, I don't know. I've got a weird. It's like so sweet. I've, I it's love crazy. it. Too. Well, I, Dude, because you I was raised. have like a, you've. 
voiced your hatred of sweet tea before i feel I like don't, don't you not that. like it i like vaguely remember a conversation about this but i like kind of don't remember I it know now lettuce really does not like it and i'm like you, you realize you don't have to put that much sugar in it right you can sweeten to i like it pretty sweet it's not like every it doesn't have I, to be like mcdonald's sweet tea you know i have like an uncapped sweet tooth though because i couldn't have sweets when i was a kid so, so then when you're unleashed on the world you just like I see it now in my little sister. It's so sad. She can eat a cupcake in two seconds yeah. because it's like you can't have that stuff. And it's like we're all Let's... just like little candy fiends when we get it. But I know I can control it. Like I don't drink soda. Really? I'll have a Diet Coke once a, <laughs> once a while. Dude, so good. Coke. I don't drink soda, really. That's awesome. I'm I'm uh, kind of on juice right now, oh, though. Yes, I like I don't juice. Have juice. I got either. this like cranberry raspberry oh, juice. Cranberry juice oh my was like, god sparkling to drink cranberry that, are you kidding yeah, me ocean spray that's oh, that good that's shit good damn shit. i'm like a little kid again i love Probably juice is good for you is it good for your kidneys or is that like a i don't know it's like a diuretic or something oh fuck it. Yeah, i don't it need is. to piss Let's anymore go, yeah. dude i'm i'm already like scared how much i piss when i start drinking you stuff. do kind of I piss a lot. You I piss. piss a lot, dude. I do more now. It's like, awesome. I can't. Well, make I know, it but I'm not like, your fucking old, anymore. dude. Like, uh, not, I'm yeah. not saying like you're old. I'm saying I'm not as old as you. Oh, I am. And I'm old. I pee one hour on the dot every stream now, basically. Yeah. He pees a lot. And I'm you guys have that problem where, like, you're, you're like, I, I don't have to pee, but you find yourself dribbling all over yourself? Just out of nowhere? Just out of nowhere. Nope. I like, can just, just, I just hold my pee for a long time, so I probably will. You ever just you ever just like get up? Sometimes from, I from like I smell poop and it's and just, just like in my butt. Yeah, it's just falling out. Of <laughs> yeah, it's just like poop all in my chair. I'm uh, like, no, I don't just leak into. You don't my just own like your, your penis and just leak every now and then. After I pee, I'll tell you this: this is a new development in the past couple of years. After I pee, there is some like leaking dribbling going like it's not like it's a hard cut shake. off anymore you know like there's a lot that like, know, it's like you really myself, gotta ring that thing oh, out oh yeah. yeah or i'm not it's gonna like, wear khakis to ah, function like i got yeah. shit to do Dude, i remember a couple of years ago i described to you instead of the shake i've developed a new method and the new method yeah, was got, in response to the dribble problem yes and yes. so now We've i grab it from the before, base yeah. and i just go yeah and i yank it to the end <laughs> And it ring pulls. out your penis. <laughs> okay, yeah, I give you it an Indian to. burn and fucking get every little <laughs> yeah. dribble out of there. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you just do it like a tube of toothpaste. You know, from the bottom all the way to the tip, you give it a fucking. Getting the old one on is my a stream nightmare. told me yeah. you have to like comes for us push all. this spot like underneath, like in in the like gooch area. There's like <laughs> you like fingering his ass in, in order to get all the pee. Yeah, so there's this thing, the like, prostate. I'm sorry, I don't and, have time uh, to fully take my pants off and start fucking digging around in there. You know, I'm not gonna do that. You know what my oh, no, the toilet? Fuck it. <laughs> my digging great pee shame is. I have like stuff to do. <laughs> like I can't do this every hour. My like, uh, I want to say it's like. For a long time, it was like my probably most heralded secret, but I, I mean, I've talked about it on my stream. I've probably talked about it on the podcast before, but like my whole <laughs> life, I was like, I'm a freak. Like I'm a monster. Cause I'm like, I can't piss next to someone if I, like, <laughs> if I'm yeah. not comfortable, like I literally, I get so in my head about, it's like exactly like waiting where it's like, I don't hear, like I. I overthink it so much where I'm like at a yeah. urinal, a guy walks next to me. I'm like, why doesn't he hear me peeing? And then I'm like, well, now it's been a little long. Like now it's been like five, 10 seconds. Like I would be peeing by now if I were a normal yeah. person. So I tuck it in and I leave. And I've had so many instances where I'm like, I walk out of the bathroom. I've got a full fucking tank or I'll just like, that's why, you know, stalls just man's best friend. Yeah. But like in high school, oh my God, it was a nightmare. Cause it's just like, it's weird too. Cause it's like, I don't care if someone just like looks at my penis like that. It's like, that's not the fear. It's like the, it's like this psychosomatic. Let that, yeah. Let that muscle go. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm just like, yeah. and one of the worst I ever had was I was at the wedding of the daughter of that meathead. And I was in the bathroom, three urinals. I'm at the far right one. I'm like, somebody, please he God, take the in. far left. He comes into the bathroom and I'm like, I haven't started yet. If I, I know if I walk into a bathroom, I'm like, I've got about five seconds to start pissing. Or, like, if someone walks in, I'm fucked. So I'll run yeah. over there. I'm like, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. What about, and, what about the stall? Can you yes, use the stall? I can use the stall much easier. But still, okay. sometimes if it's, like, too quiet, I'm like, 
he would still be like, why is there, why is any peeing? I don't, I don't any hear any pee in there. Yeah. And <laughs> so I'm like, oh God. And he walks and he goes to the far left urinal. I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm like, hey, how's it going? Oh God. And then my principal from my high school wa- <laughs> walks in and he takes the middle one and they're like best friends. And I was just like, uh, come on. I like tuck it in, fucking wash my hands. I'm uh, got no piss on them or anything. I got no piss anywhere and walk out. And like, it's haunted me for so long where it's like my, I'll be going to the bathroom. My friend's like, Oh, I'll go with you. I'm like, I'd rather you Don't. not. Yeah, I'd rather yeah. just go by, but I've always had to be like, I was always so sneaky and subtle about it. And now finally, like all my IRL friends, I'm like, dude, like I need a minute. Like, just <laughs> hold up. Like I got this <laughs> complex. Get the hell yeah, out. Or like, yeah. uh, some of them still don't know and if there's if there's sufficient walls it helps oh, yeah. no, because absolutely. then you can kind of like focus in yeah, if and i like, can dial in but if i'm just yeah. pissing there's a person directly next to me or even three over i'm like yeah no i have that too actually i figured you would and that's why i brought it up it's a certain type of man <laughs> has this yeah. issue yeah, it's, we're we're i, a, I just never dozens of us attempted dozens to of like us. dozens use a urinal in a public restroom that didn't have like a lock on the door like if i'm going into a public bathroom i'm using the stall i just so but could you use the urinal i don't know i've never really tried that's sometimes impossible you feel that like, you've never used yeah. a sometimes, urinal sometimes no, no, I've used Sometimes them, it but feels it's like, like you have to use the urinal. It's like, why don't you use the urinal? Yeah, because well, yeah, no, because yeah, for? like, because it's like and I'm not I taking like a I shit. I have to use the I'm urinal, the... and then I can't do I it. I know what you mean. Yeah, it's a problem that's <laughs> yeah. haunted me my entire life. What's wrong with you? What are you hiding? Yeah, I'm like, why <laughs> you know? would I be going in the stall? My friend knows I had to piss. I just said uh, it, and I go in there, I blow my nose a little. Is anybody still out there? The golf course I went to the other day, fucking two urinals, smack dab. I'm like, I'm gonna run in real quick, my friends. I'll join you. <laughs> and I go in there. I'm like, actually, I'm gonna grab some concessions real quick. It's like my dirty secret. I don't secret. need to go anymore. Yeah, I'm like, I'll grab. I'll meet you in there, and then I buy my concessions. Yeah. I'm I'm like, he's still fucking in there, man. Like, he's and I go he in. He has still, his pants yeah, down, yeah. and he's like, he's holding the end of his penis, like waiting for waiting for poop to get in no, here. So and then I'm like. This thing. I go in, he's still by the ear, and I'm like, oh, now I got to blow my nose, you know, allergies. I go in there, and, like, I get out, and I'm like, get the fuck out of here. And he finally leaves. I'm like, yeah, I think I'm going to piss now in the ear. And and the whole time, you know, I'm just always like, no one walk in. Please, God, don't walk in here. It's such a weird, like, You know what it is? You've built it up so much now. Yeah, it's in me. It's It's part of me. It's part of me for life. It's the same. If I'm drunk, though, I can go into a urinal. I'm just, because you're all, like, loose. You're not thinking about shit. But it's much easier if I'm wasted. <laughs> have you ever been to like really a festival drunk. or a concert or anything where they have like the big piss trough? Yeah, I can't use oh, those. Oh God. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the old Yankee Stadium. Also, it had probably that. doesn't help that my soft penis is nothing like my hard penis. You know, if I yeah, maybe oh. if I were in a grower, I don't know. Maybe there's some psychology <laughs> yeah, you there. Just, but I think it's you more just in like, the mind. Yeah. I can't do it. It's prep before you go in there, you know. Come on, come on, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like a. It's just weird. I gotta be. It's so hard to like when you're in fucking junior high or high school. It's like I can't explain this to my friends. They'll fucking destroy me. You know, it's like yeah. I. This is not something junior high boys are ready to talk about. So I just have to hide it my whole life. And yeah, I've been it's a very shame. Very good at getting around it most of the time, but there's been times where I'm like. Oh my god! Like I'm gonna fucking bust because I just went in there and now it's like, well, now I have to wait like a regular amount of time to go back in the bathroom, or at least like ten minutes, or my friends are gonna be like, "Dude, you were just in the bathroom. Yeah. What are you doing?" I'm like, yeah. oh, no, no, I'm like a, you know, I'm just like this outcast, like this real. It's really tough for me. Peen, you know, I have to know this peen situation. I have to know the bathroom situation. It's like my parking. Like I have to know. Wait, so, how did you just use a? Uh, a stall the whole it every time add up. sam it doesn't add up it doesn't add up why a normal person would that doesn't have this would not just no like no i others. i think yeah, i do have that but i just avoid it by using a stall you do have it though yeah but you don't but don't you think it's weird like if you go in there, there and like someone's like i'll go us. with you and then yeah, like then you go into the stall like, and like, you okay, don't I'm have going to in the stall well now. no because she has no social stall. Yeah, awareness. no, like I, I go like, hey, yeah, I'm going to use a stall because if I'm mid piss and someone fucks with me at the urinal, then I, you have no like recourse. Adults don't fuck with you at a urinal. Yeah, yeah, you know, adults are supposed to not fuck with people, but people <laughs> Actually, get killed by adults all the yeah. time. Right? Adults are like, but I'm saying, like, what people. if you're only with your friends? 
and you're out. Oh, like, yeah. Like, I do this thing. No, where I'm I, more like, likely to get. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm never at. Yeah, more. I do that to my dad. Yeah, exactly. Too, like someone shoving you or doing something yeah, to you. Like that's gonna happen funny. more with <laughs> a friend than a regular. Dad, doing it with like your parents. That's the worst. Like my dad's like, yeah, let's go to the bathroom. Like, oh god, I'm not ready for this talk, Dad. I can't tell you the weird <laughs> machinations of my penis in my mind and how it all. <laughs> I never, I never got the whole. Uh, it's called pee shyness, you know. There's like a piss like thing. culture out there. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, while we were at Creator Clash. They had that huge wall of urinals, and when I walked in, I think it was like Omid, Devin, and somebody I else. I didn't even see urinals in that bathroom. The one where the were... guy was on the ground? No, 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 no. It was... That bathroom was perfect. Only stalls. I'm like, Always. I don't have a single excuse to be used. It's just what they, God, what I people are that. using. Well, it was probably then a bar or something. It but is I remember hard, they were like lined up, and they were had they had gaps in between them. They they had a oh, urinal a in between them. To be a man order, that could have camaraderie at the urinal and yeah. joke with my friends, and we're all pissing. Well, that, yeah, they were talking about like you know urinal etiquette, and then they're like, "And we'll see where Sam comes, where he's gonna piss." And I walk in, I just look at him, and I just went into a stall because yeah. I'm like, "Why would I even?" Yeah, well, that's this is fair it's a point. little room with but, a lock on it. Like, why yeah. wouldn't you use it? If exactly. you were given but, the option between places, pissing on a what wall, if there is Sam? What or if in there a locked is room? One stall, as many bathrooms have, and it's locked, and someone's shitting. And oh, then well, there's a then, guy yeah, by the I, urinal. Oh, yeah, I wait. One open urinal. I'll wait. You wait? I'll wait. Really? Yeah, yeah, I'll wait. I've done that before at bars where I'm like, I really, even with like being drunk, like, I'm like, yeah. I really can't piss with all these dudes. Like where it's like 15 yeah. lined if up. If it's and too then, crowded, I can't. Yeah, no, I'm like a no dividers. Yeah. There's times where it's like, yeah, you, you know, you're like, I don't want to crowd this guy. You know, like I, it's better. It's more well, normal see, for me to wait. Right I'm not now. even worried about that. I'm worried about I physically could not piss next to this guy. Even like if I no, go I into a stall and there's not- someone shitting on either side. It's like it's gonna take a second. Yeah, no, I'm not really worried yeah. about that though. But it like makes it so yeah. like my thing is like yeah, <laughs> yeah. Know, it's like, okay. yeah, yeah. I know what you, <laughs> you mean. Know what yeah, I mean? <laughs> or I'm like yeah, like whoo, a lot of room in this stall. Like it's cozy in here. Why wouldn't I use you know, it? Like honestly, Sam, but it's all lie. Anybody who can just like go in there, walk right in the middle urinal, and just rip a piss and just start like making these noises and shit, I don't trust you. You're unhinged, yeah. and I, I can't that's, deal with that's that. that comfortable with That's having crazy. their back to a room and loosening their asshole muscle and just pissing that's, dude like, you're not what you're making yeah. shit i'm not that's worried weird. at least i'm not worried about goddamn it that, that's what i'm worried about i'm not worried about bandits grabbing me up no and it's not bandits it's asshole. just like you're in a vulnerable position There's, you're li- people piss in public so restrooms psychotic. yeah all the you are you're like a Fucking nut job casing out every exit and every place you ever That's go. That's my concern. Is I, I it's a, it's in a moment where I have to dedicate no, like you're a shy thirty pisser. seconds, thirty seconds to piss. Made this I can't do off. Is that what it is? I'm a shy. Uh, so pisser. I feel like I feel like you're just a shy. No, pisser, I am you, a shy pisser, but my reasons are different than you. You are, are you, like John Wick. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. I'm just. It's like you have like I can't like if you come in and fucking like go like ah there's a whatever like. I'm checking my six. <laughs> in a bathroom, you're in the middle of pissing. I can't just get up and you know walk how out. See those lock in a stall. You're almost more vulnerable because they bust that door down. You're caged. Yeah, you're, that's you're, true. You're, you're yeah, hit cage. me in the back of the head. I fall yeah. into my own piss. Yeah, yeah, like that door pushes in. Like you're probably fucked if they. Well, kick that if door that's in. The, if that's the case, I mean, <laughs> like go unlock your front door to your house. Like no, you're the one. There, there's with a stall. It gives fucking... you like a second. You know, there's like a second that they they could. You know, they'd have to break I've, that thing open. No, that's not my. I know that's I not yours. That's mine. It's a security people. issue. <laughs> I, I have a hard time you have, loosening your entire up life to let piss out security if, issues. Like, if there's someone like, behind me. Like you, this fat little kid, you thought when you were a child, someone's going to grab you up, okay? Yeah. You no, could piss okay. free. Anyway, you could probably piss in the fucking middle of the room. No, look at your dick, dude. Yeah. But <laughs> me, cute little kid like me, I got to be real careful, but... That's why I've told you before my gym locker room when I was in high school, two urinals. Okay. The ones that go way out, you got to stand a fucking foot back right where everyone's changing and then two stalls, but the stalls don't have, it seems illegal stalls don't have doors and the walls are only about this tall and everyone's changing in front of you. So people would just sit there and take a shit in front of everyone and the teacher, the meatheads office is in the locker room and it's so weird because not only i mean 
a regular stall door doesn't protect the stink, but I swear to God, this is stinkier if there's nothing. <laughs> but, like, kids are just sitting there, like, shitting out their ass. Kids are pissing in front of everyone. It was, like, a literal <laughs> war zone for me in there. Like, I, I don't think I ever once pissed or I certainly never shit in there. But every yeah. soccer practice, I'd get bust out to the field. I'd be like, I'm so full. I'm so full of piss and shit, but I just, I'm not going to use that. Like, I just have to go in the woods. Do you under- understand how fucked school. we are if any of us gets into prison? Like, just having oh, to I just thought, shit no, in your stall knowing that you can see the other guy prison across is the, the bathroom hall. situation. That's like genuinely every yeah. time I think about prison, I'm like, I would not be able to piss. In yeah, this you got you got to like or shit. Or like, like you're in a cell with another yeah, with dude another and dude. you have like one toilet. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. yeah like there. um, like uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kill the biggest, toughest guy in there. And I'm going to be set with that aspect. But the pissing situation, not good. Not good. Yeah. I probably have to keep killing my bunk mates. You adapt. I got much better at it when I went to uh, college. See, college I, like, for me. Had to. It yeah. didn't. You it didn't. Like even guy? when I have to. He yeah, killed then, the big dude, and yeah, which is really impressive, guy. but he can't Love that piss movie. in front of everybody. <laughs> oh, you're talking about <laughs> yeah, you're the doing prison a hypothetical. Thing. There's a movie yeah, called The that, New Guy where he goes to prison and he's got to be up the big guy. I thought you were making a reference. No, to wait, wait. A niche what is movie that? I love. Oh, wait. That's Let's Go to Prison. Yeah. No, this is. Uh, I love that yeah, movie. movie. This is like an early 2000s comedy that's pretty bad, but so just one that I latched on to when I was a kid. That guy had no problem pissing, though. Oh, I don't know. I'm just. I guess we're all just a bunch of freaks. I bet Brian pisses in a urinal. He's fine. I feel like Brian would probably be into like a piss fetish or something. Yeah, yeah. He now he's not here to defend himself. He yeah, he probably. Yeah, tra- yeah, he's probably every time we go in a stall, he's like, "Damn it! I yeah. wanted to look at that guy's dick and get I hard." Wanted to see the pee get coming out of it. That's yeah, the exciting. I wanted, part. I wanted to see the. Yeah, <laughs> he's got. It. He puts saran wrap beforehand on the bottom. He collects him off. You should I'm ask him like the... how to like end that little dribble at the end. I bet he knows all about it. I bet he just fucking pulls up his pants and gets it everywhere. Yeah, or he pulls his pants all the way down, like to the oh, yeah. <laughs> around his ankles. Dude. Yeah, I it's had like that too. Freaky little bastards. <laughs> You're like... in third grade. Don't... I took a shit at my in-laws house and this is like the fucking worst thing that I've done in terms of oh. like, you can't explain it. Like if you dribble on yeah. the front of your pants, you can do like, oh, I wash my hands and get oh, some water. A hand on the front. Dr- or a hair dryer yeah. or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some yeah. bullshit excuse. Oh, the pants <laughs> like with the two dots dumb. on the crotch. I bought them like that. Yeah. My um, calico <laughs> pants or whatever. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I brought my pants down to my fucking knees. They were awfully high up, but I was like, I don't want my pants all the way down touching the floor. So I kind of like had them up at my knees and then I sat down on the toilet and when I shit, I also like pissed a little bit and I pissed down the ass of my pants. And so (laughs) when I pulled up my pants, it just looked like I had liquid shit going down my pants. Oh, nightmare. Yeah. And I was just like, I didn't even fucking, I can't explain, I can't say I like washed my hands and got just... You know, like water up my asshole or whatever. It was just the perfect line of piss. Where I it washed my hands, and then I had a really yeah. big itch. <laughs> even that's well, not even good. like when explaining it, like it's just funny. Yeah. And so I, I was just like, yeah, I just like shot piss onto the back of my pants. Like you sold them. Like fuck. Uh. Like own up to it. I mean, it's better than walking around and trying not like put my ass up against walls. I, as I'm I talking would just to yeah be like facing them the whole time until I made my escape, dude. There's, I would never Honestly, concede. I think that would be worse no. telling them what yeah. I peed. Yeah. So you're like you're like you have pee open pee out in my house yeah. right now, and I'm gonna let hey. you sit on the couch, dude. I'm sorry, man. I I fucked up, pissed on the back of my pants. I married <laughs> it's kind of your funny, daughter. Though. Scam, scam, just go home. Yeah. Just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't know. I think leave. it's funnier to just be like check uh, out what just happened. Isn't that embarrassing? But I it's uh, fun. being like brutally honest about certain stuff like that. It's like can be very endearing and funny and like a good truthful experiment but in that in-laws house man, probably fucking dude they, they already rag. are like not too yeah, hot on me so fair. i'm like you know i piss in the back yeah, of my own pants like isn't the worst dating, thing I've done. i wouldn't yeah but if yeah. yeah that's too late it's too late you're too dug in yeah i you ever like uh you know after you like maybe you came and then you don't piss for a minute and then you piss and it like whew, shoots out somewhere wild and like sometimes maybe it's like you go somewhere you're like you don't even anyway you know sometimes your dick you start pissing it just shoots somewhere my one of my biggest fears 
is because you know I've had it before. It's like I'm in my own home. I shoot a wall. I'm like, oh shit, I gotta clean it up. But like being in a public restroom and pe- someone shitting next to me and I shoot piss on their foot <laughs> I, I on once said, like I once said like a rocky start where I like hit the seat everywhere and was splat I was like whoa and then I'm like or, you know like you're like pissing with a boner so like some weird's going on with the system but I've always been like because I you know I'm a stall pisser I'm like always so fearful of like lift off i'm like what if i just pissed on that guy because he'd have to say something like he would be very angry or he'd be like oh <laughs> like or am I, and then sometimes i think like what if that happens to me what if i'm sitting down and a guy starts pissing next to me, he shoots it on my fucking shoes have you seen that video of like the, the guy i think it's a guy standing there pissing and he's in a stall and he takes a water bottle and he sprays his foot with it oh, as if he's yeah, pissing. Yeah, and the guy like freaks out yeah. and he like slips on the piss on the yeah. water and he falls on his yeah. ass like you see his bare ass yeah. at the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like that but accidental. And they're yeah. sitting so they can't like, it's just gross. Uh, it's just like, I don't know. It's yeah. a crude episode. It's real. Yeah, there's real a lot brow. of piss, pee, well, dried up cum. Piss fetish talk, fans yeah. is a big day for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, Sorry. <laughs> Brian's gonna have a field day listening back to this one. Yeah, he's gonna be upset he missed it. I, 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 I never said a single way, word for, for the audience. I forgot to tell him. <laughs> he's he's so out of the Wait, loop. Would it be funny if Stolt I haven't talked to him in like weeks? I have no idea where the hell he is. What if Stolt cut like footage of Brian from the last one, just no <laughs> audio, and just put his camera? over there like he's move here and you he just over yeah. and, then, and then just put a static <laughs> yeah, like five minute clip or something <laughs> yeah, that he yeah, loops like a, a loop where he like yeah. blinks and everyone saw it maybe yeah. clicks a pen or something and and actually you know what go ahead and do that stalt and then that's the grand reveal brian is fake this brian yeah. that you've been yeah, seeing this, this whole time moment, yeah he's People are gonna be like, why is brian not said a word <laughs> <laughs> i will <laughs> We could have, I wonder how long it would take people to know. We could have yeah. Brian do the ad read for this one and be like, what the fuck? Like he only showed up for that. I do. I wish he had. I mean, he wouldn't have done. Oh, he's, it's, he's here in spirit. Yeah. Here in spirit. Uh, well. You want to end it? Let's do it. What? How long has this been? I can't, there's Two no timer hour, on three this Three hours and 24 minutes. Three is hours? Is that long for you guys? How yeah, long do you normally go? That is quite long. We normally go. We've been trying to you know, go two hours. Like one hour, 20. No, we haven't done. We've honestly been. Not, I wouldn't want to say a hot streak, uh, but we've been more consistently doing long episodes. and le- Like we haven't had like a mid ground where we, you know, back in the day, we would have several episodes where we're like, cut, like scrap it. <laughs> yeah. We haven't had that in a while. Or well, like, we've also been like, having a lot of repeat stories that eat up a lot of time. That well, seems, that's good. Yeah. Because <laughs> Aqua hasn't heard them. So we tell them that's why we keep <laughs> yeah, having guests. So we can tell them the same story. Woo! And then I the miss listeners, a lot of episodes. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> I've seen a bunch. I, but I, I honestly, I don't know if I've ever talked about the pea shyness thing on here. Cause if I have, you, stayed silent sam you weren't like me too you're like huh? yeah you freak yeah f- but no aqua i could and then I next time you bring it up i'll have him. a different take on it uh you've got real low p energy you've got <laughs> <laughs> yeah, low, p. low t low yeah. p i got it all yeah that's why people have my viewers keep saying get a diaper i don't know if i could just piss in front of i don't know how it is with virtual <laughs> audience i've never tried it is it like pissing in front of a no person? it's hard it's hard i've Done. It, Excuse you? Yeah. <laughs> what? I've done. It's hard to pee in front, like on stream, into a bottle. Why did you pee on stream into a I bottle? I tried. It didn't work. I attempted. Why? <laughs> like, like, oh, uh, like oh, just like sitting there, like. No, yeah, because okay, like, so there was like, there was that joke I was gonna do. This was like 2018 or whatever. We were gonna stream Tarkov, and then I was gonna uh-huh. have um, two bottles. I was gonna take one, and I was gonna fill it up with apple juice. And put it under my desk. And then the other one I was going to have, I was going to, you know, it was just going to be a full ass thing. I was going to drink it. And then I was going to, when, once it was empty, I was going to be, man, I got to piss. I was going to piss in it. Well, and you wouldn't was, actually, for this bit to work, have to piss in it. Right? I wouldn't have to, but I mean, granted, it would make a lot more sense. Well, at if, that point, you should, might as well just drink the real my, piss. If you're well, <laughs> no, I was going to drink the apple juice. Yeah. yeah. It, was, it was the end goal there. And then I never did. Um, I. <laughs> I had a big, uh, it was like, if I get 10,000 followers, I, I make a lot of grand statements that I can't back up. And one that somehow, 
where it's like none of my current viewers I feel like were there, but it's like word gets around. And I was like, when I get ten thousand followers, I'll. Uh, I was like pretty infancy streaming, so I was like, that's an impossible number. I'm like, I'll stand up and I'll just piss my pants, like on oh, camera. Yeah, that's right. I remember and then I was like, well, guys, that's like, of course I'm not really gonna do that, but all everyone remembers is me making this grand <laughs> statement, and then. For months, people are like, where the fuck is the piss? And I, like, genuinely was, like, getting to the point where I'm like, I'm going to have to do this. And I think it was, like, Z Chum or someone was like, dude, go get banned. Like, if you just stand up and piss yeah. your pants, like, you can't do that on Twitch. Or, no, I think it was Kings. I think it was in my chat. I'm like, you definitely I was like, Kings, that. is that cool? Like, can I just stand up? I'm like, as long as my dick is now, you just see, though, the, like. The stain. Yeah, what's wrong yeah. with that? Uh, it's not allowed because it's disgusting. They have like a bodily. <laughs> yeah. Well, they thing. removed yeah, my people pee. People have like emote. puked and stuff. But those are it, if you make yourself throw up, that's banned. That's how oh okay mean. yeah. But if well, you like, if you're just sick and you're like, mm, I think even if you're like sick and you throw up like at your camera, it's probably not allowed. Yeah, but I don't know. Coding my weird. camera yeah, and yeah. you see shit like trickle down. <laughs> you like, clearly don't yeah, try to like throw up. Like what if I just. Turn. Well, I've already stated that uh, sometimes I just piss my pants, you yeah. know, because I'm a drunkard. And what if I just. Like Liam Neeson, I, yeah. all those pictures. Yeah. What if I. You guys ever get up from Wait, gaming what? and then your pants look like those. Liam Neeson? No. There's like a 50 pictures of Liam Neeson just at bars like shit face. There's just a wet like piss stain no down way. his leg. Really? Look up Liam Neeson piss pants. There was a Twitter I, thread right. of like, yeah, it was honestly like 50 pictures. And it's just him on the sidewalk and like wherever the fuck he is, Dublin or some shit. And he's he's, he's like the reverse of us. Like he can yeah, just piss fuck? anywhere. Dude, that guy just pisses he's himself. He's free. And, and it's it, ultimate half freedom. the pics, he's just like, like oh women are like, God. can I have it? your picture? He's like, whatever. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like just the people uh, asking for a pic. And he <laughs> got this right, you stink. Why are there so many instances Damn. of this? Dude, it must just be like a problem. Yeah, got, something. But he has enough bottom. money that he should yeah. be able to afford Bucket, a goddamn like gym like sock for his penis yeah. or something. Like, well, that's a, another thing. Like, I'd really he doesn't know the hose method yeah. or something. I don't know. If I were to start yeah. pissing my pants on the stream, I'd want the initial piss point where the tip of your penis is to be like halfway down my leg. Uh -huh. So <clears throat> I probably I don't know, I have to tie a weight to my dick or something to get it. Down Just there wear baggy pants so that there's some hang time between yeah. the end of Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm pulling them out. <laughs> wear Jinkos, <laughs> and all of a sudden, like, yeah. this is hitting Guys, like I normally wear these. Yeah. I normally wear You just can't see me, but I love the Jinko jeans. I love them. I love them, dude. <laughs> there's a pair of those for sale at a thrift store near me recently. I was like, uh, do I just fucking? But they had them for sale for like 120 bucks. Oh, that's, like, no, yeah, that's like, way too much. It's like, I, it would be kind of funny, but I like, can you even sit in <laughs> Are those. You like, kidding me? Yeah. Are you kidding me to do a whole stream and then be like, all right, guys, be right back. I need to go get my food. <laughs> and then you get. <laughs> I got fucking has Jinkos. Are got you my kidding? textbooks in my back Dude, pocket? Aqua, you need to get some. You have the perfect build for Jinkos. I think it would be funny. Is he yeah, a tall skinny guy? I used guy to wear them. I used to wear them as a kid. Laying around somewhere, you could still squeeze them too. I only wore them on the weekends though. <laughs> I had the Jinkos, and then I had a wallet chain that I wore oh, on the weekends. Man. I I wasn't like confident enough to wear them to school, but man, on the weekends I was the shit. Have you oh, seen yeah. the, the, the like new age wallet? chain like it, i've been seeing it pop up more and more like the tr trendy guys what what the new thing is it's like uh what are those oh. called like a carabiner or whatever a clip with like your oh, all your that. keys and shit on it and then clip it on the front of your pants i and put it on the back it sucks because i'm like that actually looks like one it does look kind of cool maybe i'm just getting brainwashed it by the internet cool. it looks kind of cool you know and it seems Hexloom. mighty convenient <laughs> but yeah it's like totally become like a trend so I, am I opposed Wait, to like following the trend? Like not at all. A climbing carabiner with keys on it? Yeah. And That's then, what, like, like every it. dad has. Well, I'm saying, well, dad core is, like, obviously. I mean, yeah. people, I mean look at my fucking like 12, shoes. People, 15 years, well, though. Well, some things take a while to catch on. I put them on the on. back, and then I shove them in my back pocket. Well, that's so sweet. they're not, like, well, that'd loose. That'd be mighty inconvenient. Yeah, what do you, when like, you back sit? your ass oh. up to a door, and then. Yeah. If I sit down wrong, I don't it's, know. It's I'm just saying, pretty. listen, you see me at TwitchCon with that. I, I've been doing it, yeah. too, for like 10 years. It's, oh, I've, I've been always doing that.
I think okay. it's a great idea. So, I mean, yeah. what's the alternative? Just putting all your keys in your pocket That's or something? What I mean, I who needs that That's many crazy. keys anymore in this day and age? Really, I think feel like those. Some I feel like those people get extra keys that they don't fucking use to really fill that thing up. Because I've got like two keys. It's not about the amount of keys. It's about the about the clip. I do. I don't have it here. Okay. I do have a cool. It's like a. It's. It's a keychain on one end and then a clip on the other, but I don't really know what yeah. you clip on, but it's like a thing of fabric and it says That's bad exactly boy. That's exactly what I have. It says, oh, it says bad boy. Mine doesn't yeah, say mine that. It says bad boy, That's which cool. is pretty cool. But then I broke the All clip. Right. So, When I used to work at some apartment buildings, I had one of those janitor key things that like it clips to your belt and then it has all the keys and you you keep them in your pocket, but then you pull it out and, yeah. you can, and then let go. And That's it, cool. Oh, uh, yeah. Shooting back. I thought that thing was badass. Dude, those, that's, that's probably... You could be ahead of the trend on that because people got these and it's like, bring back janitor core. Yeah. You know? <laughs> janitors are cool. Janitors look. are, they yeah. wear those back. People wear those just like overall things now. It's like. I You had a story about this that I think was like really similar to mine, but I don't think I've ever told you this. There was a kid in high school that graduated and then he was kind of like popular and he thought it would be cool if he became a janitor at high school so he could stay there and hang out with the kids and he thought That's he was the creepiest thing yeah. you could do. And yeah. he was like, he would like try to hang out with the other kids. He's like, hey, oh, guys, I got to go clean the upstairs bathroom. I'll be back later. All right, later. What? And we're like, dude, we're you shit fucking. on the bathroom floor. Can you get up there? <laughs> yeah, hold, on. hold on, ladies. I'll be back. <laughs> it was just so strange. We we're like, dude, fucking go. Like, you, yeah. you left high school. Go be a janitor at a college. Yeah, go fucking <laughs> be a janitor anywhere else. Goodwill hunting or something. Go fucking. Yeah. And it's fine to be a janitor, here. but have yeah, a that, gap. Yeah. Have a like a yeah. four year, five year gap so that anybody that's at the high school has no idea who you are. Yeah. Yeah. Or just be one at another high school. Yeah. <laughs> Don't come back to the same stomping grounds. Be like, oh, yeah. uh, remember we had that home ec class last year together? It's like go over to the clean the trophy case for your names in one of them, shine yeah. it all the time. Hey, check that out. Check that out. <laughs> Who's that guy? Show me a little janitor name badge. That'd be cool. Like, That'd work on me. Cool Rico. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, man. Man. Anyways, well, yeah, that's the end. Yeah, now we are ending. Aqua's getting okay. tired. We but made him talk remember, too much. I mean, this is it's pretty late, late for it's me like now, too. Yeah, I've been going to bed.